Right, again. I've got two, oh, two Le Pink extra wide back in. Here you are. Now, if I'm gonna go on to the other side. I'm gonna go on to the other side. Bruce, Bruce, I'm moving. Bruce, I'm moving. What color am I gonna do first? Pink one first. Right, this is extra wide backing. Oh. Oh. I've got no clippy things to clip it onto. Hey, where's Elliot? Is he in? Is he asleep somewhere? Or is he making more coffee? Oh, he's not here. He's not here. He's, well, he's not in here. He's, I thought he was in with you. He said to me all day, I'm going to be next to Kat, Katrina, all day showing her what to do, how to do it. She's done brilliantly without him, hasn't she? But he's not here. I wonder where he's gone. Anyway, look, it's 108 inches wide. And it should be 13.99 for half a metre. You buy it off the bolt. Right, here we go. Have you got the music? 11.99, right, for design. Oh, look at me. Not in the market still, John. 11.99 for half a metre. It's cut off the bolt, especially for you. It's 108 inches wide, 274 centimetres wide. Oh, yeah, Michelle says, oh, gosh, another native light, light ordered. I think I have one in every room. Uh, oh, please stop the music. Is that you replying to that one, Kat? Uh, we're trying. Uh, Julie says, morning, John, love the show, but sending messages, but they are not coming through. Julie, I've got it. Julie, I've got your message. Do you mean you've sent them there or did you send them there, Julie? I've got you on here. I can't see it anywhere else. Marina says, love the new studio. Looks like an extension of our lounge. Stage right desk has cold lighting and not enough front lighting. Oh, OK. I'll pass it on. Rebecca says, morning, John and team doing a brilliant job. Nicola says, you're very shadowy. Princess says, one desk, the lighting is dark yellow and the other desk is white. Oh, is it? It's just, they're the same lights. They're going to iron them out, Bruce says. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. John, you're marvellous and doing a fabulous job. My apologies for moaning about the sound, but now we've got music. Why? <laughs> we had to move. That one got sold. We had to move. But we're in now. Now, if, if you could see, if I could tell you right now. So behind this wall here, there's a lovely green room with um, uh, yum yums. Uh, well, there might not be any yum 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 Jeff because Elliot was helping him, wasn't he? Elliot was stuffing them down his face like they were going out of fashion earlier. Then we're in this studio here. Then out through, through that way there, there's Primal Living, which comes on at five o'clock in the afternoon. It says Millie and Poppy and Nick. Toby's on there all the time, isn't he? And what's that lovely girl? Rosie. Rosie's on there. Then if you go through that wall there, well, at the moment, that's a dressing room, but it won't be because it's moving. Through that wall there is Jewelry Maker, which during the morning. So Jewelry Maker's on now, just the other side of that wall. And then they go home at one o'clock and Hobby Maker come in. Uh, on the, and then the next, no, 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 no. The next one is the museum, the Gemology Museum. And then beyond that, there's Gems TV. So we're all, and there's a corridor up here, right? A glass corridor up here. And you can go up and watch up there. So people can walk along and see all the different studios working along there. It's fantastic. There's a ca canteen. Well, there's a room with... There's a toaster. Oh, there wasn't... There's no toaster. Are you sure there's no toaster? Yeah, no, I've smelled toast all morning. But, uh, she looked in the upstairs one. No, no, but did you not get the great big one downstairs? There's vending machines, there's a fridge, there's, there's a thing to do hot water. Yeah, there's toaster. I thought that there is a toaster in there. That's the big one with about 20 tables in it. And what's lovely, it's all along one wall. There are little coat racks. And it took me back, back to primary school because everyone's hung their like, sweat, sweatshirts and their hoodies all on there. There's a lot of very handsome men working in this building as well, doing all the hammering and everything like that. Anyway, should we move on? That's the pink one for 11 99 There's only four and a half meters of that. Thanks, Kat. Right, I remember they only stay at that price till midnight tonight. Colour? Green next. You know the price that we're going to. Look, look, look. 108 inches wide, cut off the bolt, special view, 100% cotton. 11 .99. Only till midnight tonight, though. Only till midnight time. Trudy says, yeah, uh, Drag Race was disappointing. Uh, Princess, they're working on the music. They're working on the music. We don't know where it's coming from. Nobody knows where it's coming from, unless it's just... Is it Cat's... Um, iPod just gone off. Is it called an iPod? No, not you singing. I mean, your, your theme tunes. You know, your favourite tunes. No? Anyway, don't look at me. 
Pam Minihani says, good morning, John and team. I'm sure the Gremlins will be sorted out soon enough. On a positive note, it looks great on my phone. Thank you very much indeed. Is it on telly then? Is the, is the, um, have you started watching it on telly? The new West Side Story. Oh, I haven't got Disney Plus. How can you afford, how can you afford Disney Plus? You've just, I don't pay that, I only pay that much for all my channels, just, anyway. Studio sounds amazing. You need to organise a tour. Oh, uh, Kate, we'd only fit about two people in. That's the problem. Competition price, maybe. Maybe. Now, I was in Jewelry Maker the other day, and I was watching, I was listening, and one of them said, oh, do you know what? I saw Elle this morning, right? You know Elle with the blonde hair? She's gorgeous in real life. She's complete. She was talking to me. I kept looking at her thinking, you're so, I mean, she's a good-looking girl anyway, but in real life, she's absolutely stunning. She meant to hear me, because she's on the other side of that wall. Uh, anyway, um, somebody in there was talking about studio tours. I was like, oh, talk yeah, yeah, you see, look, there, there we go. There's boys walking past. I don't know who it is, though. No, it's the good looking lads who did the hammering. Anyway, Winifred and Alicante. Morning, John Crew. Well done, sorted out the gremlins. Welcome to the studio. I have to watch you on YouTube at the moment, but working fine. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Duke. Uh, Thank you. Um, uh, oh, I have so many things going on. Hi, John. Loving the show as always. Please say hi to my stepdaughter, Hannah, who is watching with me. Hello, Hannah. Now, you know, Hannah, our Hannah will think it's us we're saying hello to now. Hello, Hannah. That's Jane's, what did you say, a daughter or a granddaughter? Thank you, Kat. Oh, missed. Right, now. The yellow. Very bright, this one. Very bright. I'll tell you what else. I, oh, Bruce's music's gone. Music's now gone. I'll tell you what didn't arrive. The stools. Oh, we need the pregnancy stool for me to sit down in the last hour. Uh, right, not that I want to get pregnant. 11.99. Pineapple, this one's called. Pineapple. It's very yellow. Oh, no, Sue. TV picture quality is awful. Um, I don't quite know why, because everyone else seems to say it's all right now. Um, oh, Julie, sending them going across the bottom. Oh, Kat's got an awful lot on her plate, Julie. That's probably why she hasn't put them through. If you drank, you'd need to drink after they show. Uh, I hope there's room for a piano in the new studio. Derek, there's not a, <laughs> Derek, there's not room enough for a chair, let alone a piano. But if, we, if I sneak into the next... One day, maybe tomorrow, we, I might sneak... Oh, no, at the weekend. At the weekend, right. I'll, I'll show you what's here, and I'll show you the comfy chair and everything on this side. And Have we got a steady cam on the shoulder? Have we got one of those? The cat's looking at me like I'm crazy. Uh, TV pitch... Oh, I've said that one. Um, quick! Break something so the handsome one can fix it. <laughs> uh, Denise says there's no subtitles. I've got subtitles. I've got subtitles, Denise. It must be yours. The sound's working. The sound is definitely working. The subtitles are definitely working. And apparently, well, the Facebook's working because I'm getting them. I'm watching on Facebook. Anyway, anyway, I'm not having any more negativity. I'm only doing positive messages from now on. 11.99, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, right. What are we going to do next? Oh, well, Delphine will be here in a minute. Let's do some wadding. I've got to do that thing in a bag because I've got to open it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right, I've got to keep that out for Delphine, haven't we? Is she doing um, a plea care in the next hour? Here we go. 80.20, this is cut off the bolt, especially for you. 80-20, uh, wadding, it's about, uh, how many inches wide is this one? 244, 96 inches wide. Mm, Julie says, morning John, TV pictures okay, sounds okay, looking good, love the show. Shelley says, good morning team, loving the new studio. Viv says, the fabric colours are a little more true to life. Yeah, and yet the cameras are quite old. Uh, we do love you and the team, says June. My pleasure, my pleasure. Anyway, uh, this is wadding, 8020 wadding. That's your price. Well, 6.99, so it should be your price. Anyway, 6.99. It's a really lovely way of buying your wadding because if you can buy as much on, because you know if you buy like a queen size, a king size, you've got some left over. This way, you can just order the size that you want. There we go. Thank you, Susan, for your lovely message. It, they will get it all sorted. They will get it all sorted. I have faith in Bruce. Remember, we have a competition every single hour if anybody buys. So when will we announce that winner then? Tomorrow. 
Okay, the golden ticket winners won't be announced, but the ones who win from the hour, <coughs> where is it? If you buy something this hour, one of you will win this, electric scissors. It's not, uh, is it not? It is now. Look, there you go. Look, it's all in there. I'll sign the box. Where's the, where's the what's it? Where's the what's it? Oh, oh, oops. Oh, nobody told me that wasn't a wall. <laughs> right, this here, this pillar, this very strong pillar, it's a loose. Uh, that that's a friction pen that'll wear off I'll, I'll do it i'll do it in the break i'll sign it in the break for you a uh, message from jackie i have to look over there john have you lost weight you look much slimmer well done jackie it's these cameras i told you i look much thinner I'm, i haven't lost weight i'm nearly as fat as elliot now elliot came into my dressing room when i was semi-dressed this morning and he went here aren't you brown that's what he said when he walked in could you get me a friction pen please no not friction pen a uh, uh, sharpie type pen and and what was the other thing we were looking for Elliot for a minute ago? You weren't here and you weren't in there and we were shouting oh, you. Yeah. It's all right. Did you not have to talk back in? Go and get me a shopping. Good boy. It's his last day tomorrow. Woo! Yeah, we're going to run him ragging, try to lose a few of those stones off him. <laughs> 6 99 6 .99. What, what? Oh, he's got to be... That's, that's something definitely wrong. He's got to be wearing a suit in his new job, apparently. Be like, um, I won't say what he looked like. Six nights, I'm sure he looked very smart. Keep going through, keep going through. Right, now I've got to do this very quickly. Pink cushion, brand new today. Brand spanking new today. Let's just put that over there. Brought this in for Delphine, but she's not using any. Half the stock's gone already. Oh, I know what I wanted. We wanted you to hold the other side of the um, thingy. He's not got the right clothes on to go on telly. Right, you ready? Are you? Are you going to look at the... Look! Wearable wrist strap pin cushion with a bumbly bee. $7.99. Oh, no, hang on. It's better. You would only put it in that hand if you were left-handed, wouldn't you? You'd put it on this hand if you were right-handed. There you go. There you go. That's better. There you go. I'll model it. It's like when we used to do, look, like when we used to do jewellery. So, what, what? Ten left. Ten left, that's all. I'm just going to sign the box while you're there. Multitasking. Yeah. That's my, like, like. Look, there you go. I've signed the box for you. Whoever wins this, this is the one you'll win. Look, I don't know what they are there. Oh, that's where the, that's not a fork. What's that called, a plug? Anyway, this is what we're talking about. 7.99, look, we've got to go, haven't we? What time is it? Oh, no. Oh, yes, now, Liam, was it Liam? Was that man Liam that was telling us what we could and couldn't do earlier with the steam? You work here, I don't. Well, I do now, but. Is it Liam, the man that told me about the steam earlier? Not, not, not Munch. No, Munch isn't in yet. Right. I, I'm not really prepared for this, so hang on. Right, this, there could be, there could be an issue, right? So the, the man, the nice man who was doing, I think it was Liam, was saying, what's that? I'm not using that iron, are you? I said, yeah, I'm doing it in my first day. He went, no, you're not. No, you're not. Anyway, we've got steam, we've got steam sensors in here. Oh, that was him just walked past. We've got steam sensors in here, right? Right, before I do anything, in case I lose you, let's do the graphics. Let's do the art graphics, right? This always costs £299. You've already got £50 off, right? It'll be on split pay, right? Now, three of you won this, won one of these during the birthday week. Three of you have got this, right? Right, look, right, right? 299 was supposed to be an introductory offer with 50 pounds off, right? Now, today and today only to celebrate being in the new studio. Oh no, this isn't gonna work. I can't do my demo cacks, there's no overhead camera. Anyway, the price is going to £299. 
269 pounds, taking 30 pounds off. Right, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I can't do my demo because we've got no overhead camera on this desk, have we? No, I can't move it because it's plugged in here. So we'll, next time, next time we'll do it. Next time, but I'm gonna show you this first of all. Right, this is where we could shut the whole of Gemporia down now. Are you watching, Liam? Is he watching? Right, ready? I'll step back. Look at the steam you get on there, whether you're steaming curtains, whether you're steaming clothes, whether you're doing your, uh, put, put your shirts on a mannequin or a hanger, steam it down, steam your curtains, uh, mattresses, steam your mattresses. Also, it is the most brilliant. You'll tell you what, Cap? I can't, Cap, I've lost you again. I've lost you again, can't hear you. Right, yeah, yeah, what a brilliant way. You're getting your 50 pounds off. You're getting your 50 pounds off anyway, and for today, only 30 pounds off. Well, we didn't set any alarms off, did we? Normally, I would get a piece of cotton out or a piece of wool out, press it for you, show you on the overhead camera how the creases come out. I'll do that for you tomorrow. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Can we ask Hayley yeah. if we can do this again tomorrow? And then I'll do it on that desk, and we can do the proper thing from the whole thing. If there's any left, oh, if there's any left, we'll do it tomorrow, I guess, well. We'll ask Kaylee especially, because then I can do my proper demonstration on it and everything like that. It does come with a little trolley. It does come complete with the little trolley, so you can move it around your house, have it under your ironing board, whatever. At 269 pounds. I know. It's brilliant, isn't it? 30 pounds, another, so you're getting 80 pounds off, basically. Getting 80 pounds off. Make sure you check out though, because I've only got limited numbers. I've got single figures. Yeah, single figures. Uh, okay, if you've been wanting for a while, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant way to get it today. I'm, I might not, right, okay, I've asked if we can do it tomorrow. They might not be here tomorrow, and we might not get permission to do it tomorrow, uh, but I'll still do a demo tomorrow if you've bought it today. So if you want to buy it now with your 80 pounds off, then please do, and then I'll do a demo on it tomorrow. It comes from directly from Juki. You only pay your 3 95 post and packaging. Right, loads in baskets. It could sell out. Oh, it could sell out today. It could sell out even without my demo. Even without my lovely demo. Right, we're going for a break now. Oh, 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 we're not going for a break. Okay, okay. What, I'll fill in then. Okay. What, what a cat. I can't hear you. Coming up in the next hour. Delphine's coming up. She's going to be doing this. There we go. Oh, she sent a picture in, but I've got the real thing here. So the panel, you'll be able to make this cushion, but you'll also, you'll also, what it is, is it got the printing on it, and then you can cut bit. Actually, there's no cutout bits on this one. There's only embroidery on this one. I'll find it, because she won't have done this. The, the. Anyway, it's gorgeous, isn't it? That's coming up in the next hour. She's also got, we've also got, she did a Highland cow. Have you got a picture of that or do you want me to show it? Okay, she's, we've also got this that she did on the birthday. There we go. We've also got the panel to do that and the embroidery thread to do that one as well. Um, I know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you already got this because we sold them on the birthday day, the first day of the birthday. And you know the early bird? The early bird, there's fewer than 20 of those left. Right, we're going for a break now. Oh, it's, it's the other presenter coming on now. There's another presenter coming on after the break. Oh, there we go then. Uh, we'll see you straight after the break. I'm not used to doing these hard counts. We'll have to change that, won't we? Uh, we'll see you in four minutes from now.
Didn't even get a chance for a drink of water in that break and we've got floor manager and everything. I know, I know, I know. It's not our fault, it's not our fault at all. Right, okay, so Delphine is here. Oh, I thought we were doing the two boxes. Anyway, I'll wave to you. You look like you've been on your holiday. On that, go back to Delphine. Look at you, you look like you've been on your holidays. Oh, I can't, it's put a bit too much money. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I, I think it's just our monitor. It looks like that, that um, top is fluorescent. Look, look on my monitor. It does. Looks like it's fluorescent, doesn't it? I turned off and sat down and hunched over. So oh, no. You need to steam me, John. Well, I've moved it away now. A bit, a bit too... <laughs> do you know what? Somebody did that to me once, and they tried to steam an outfit I was wearing while I had it on. I was like, you can't do that, you're burning me. Anyway, 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 new project. Uh, do, do you want to chuck me that cushion? Oh, I'll chuck you. Ready? Ready? Yeah. There we go. Uh, so we're going to be doing this this hour. So I'm going to show you everything that's for sale, and then we're going to get on with the demo straight after that. Uh, so isn't it gorgeous? Very spring-like and stunning. Very simple, very effective, very gorgeous. Right, OK, so here we go. I think you know what it is. I think you're right, Kat. The, remember, I keep saying I can't hear Katika. She's coming through Bruce's microphone. That's what it is. Yeah. Right. Look, look. Oh, no, I haven't got an overhead. Have I? So I have to hold it up for you. There you go. So the panel comes in three sections, right? So this is the first section, which is your main daisy. This is your second section, which is the back if you're going to make a cushion. And then this is your third section with different size. Now, are they all daisies? Because they're different flowers, aren't they? Some have got more petals than others. Some have blown off. Fourteen ninety nine that panel. It's gorgeous, hundred percent cotton, machine washable. Now you're going to ask me how big that square is, aren't you? Y yeah. I'll have to. I'll measure it afterwards for you. We'll find the tape measure for you afterwards. Oh, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> right. Hang on a sec. Let's just do this. Uh, there you go, there you go. I've got it, got it, got it. So it's 19 and a quarter inches that way. No, no, it's not a telefib, telefib, telefib. It's 19 inches that way, and it's 18 and a quarter inches that way. So it's not, it's just slightly off square that one. Are you going to be using that during your demo? No. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's beautiful. The colours are stunning. Oh, you can't see it, can you? The colours are stunning. It's like ombre through. Beautiful. Have you gone right real close to Bruce now? Oh, so you've gone suddenly really, really loud, as though somebody's just switched you on, unless you got overexcited. Anyway, that's the panel, $14.99. $14.99. Loads of you in for that. Now, we've done a... Uh, embroidery thread set now I've kept them in the bag I know this doesn't look all, uh, uh, just because today it's just a bit chaotic today so in this set that Delphine has picked for you you get a bright yellow you get a mid green you get a lime green you get a kind of clotted cream color and a soft oh you can't see can you I'll keep uh, put them on Delphine's desk over there oh there you go it's on the web you can't see the colors there can you have a look on Delphine's desk Poor old Bruce, he's uh, first day with us, he's been put through, put through his paces today, isn't he? Yeah, new gallery for Bruce and everything. Oh, you can't even see them in the bags anyway. But that's fine, there are five embroidery threads, we'll stick to the ones in the, uh, on the slide. You don't need those, do you? Brilliant. Right, we've also got, we've also got from the birthday show, Delphine did a Highland cow. Now this one's slightly different. So this one here, you get the, 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 the cow picture. There's no instructions. There's no, instru there's no instructions. The, you get the picture. And then you get all those different fabrics for you to cut out and embellish as much as you like. Right? Right. Delphine, will you hold that picture up for me in front of you? Oh, there she is. <laughs> We've just given away that. We've given away that. Right. So there's that. This is what Delphine did with hers. If you go on the Facebook, there is on the Facebook fan page. There's Delphine's put close-ups of the picture there. But that's what you can make with that panel because you're going to do a plique on that one as well. A lot more applique on that one than you are on your daisies one. Okay. Um, what date did we do that, Kat? 
oh, that's right, 28th of February, the first day of the birthday. So you can go and watch the demonstration on that if you want. And again, there's a there's a, um, a bundle of embroidery threads. In this one, you get black, brown, green, and then three glittery ones for 10.99. Do you have a still of that one? They're just going to bring you still rather than try and look at it in the bag. Hang on, we're just coming. Now. There you go, there you go, there you go. There's all the different colours that you get with that one. Picked for you by Delphine. Right, okay. So, that's that. Now, the other thing I want to say, I'm going to do all the sale things before, before we start the, um, uh, the demonstration on the, on the cushion or anything. Right, now, if you also remember on the birthday show, we launched these. Now, uh, they're not available individually today with us. Are they available on the website individually? Right, okay, so this is a bundle we've done where you get one for free. Now, uh, would you like to show the slide of what you get? Thank you, Bruce. So you get a Hexes one, you get a, a two and a half inch strip one, you get a fat quarter one, and you get a five inch square one. You are getting the Hexes one completely for free. They come in these boxes. This is how they'll be delivered to you. This is how they'll be delivered to you. Obviously, you're going to get all four because it's a bundle. Do you say they're not available on their own? The only one that's available on its own on the website is the Fat Quarters. Now, would you like me to show you these? No? There are only nine available. I need to open one, surely, to show you the picture of the cake, because you can't see it on there. Which is the one you'd like me to show most? Oh, you don't know what the number of five inch squares is. Okay. Well, there's the heavy, heaviest one. It's not that one. Not that one. Will the five inch squares be the heaviest one or be that the fat quarters? We're just finding out for you. But within a second, hold the line caller. I'll see if there's any messages. Love in the Highland coup, says uh, Karen. Jill, 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 Jill. What is it with this negativity? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I'm selling the things, the demonstrations in a minute. Now, now. Right, what's what, what? I'm just going to open these, right, and show you. Isn't it funny? It's the one I said it definitely. Oh, I am U 87 Brilliant. Here we go. Would help if I could open it. I thought they had those strippy thingies on them, these. <laughs> there are I can't get this one open. Yours will be easier to open at home. I think this one's been put together. What is it Jane Greenoff said? With elephant spit. Elliot, have you got a knife or something? Elliot's going to open that one. Well, you're on shot. Well, Elliot's going to open that one for us and we'll show you. But you get all four of them for 54 97 But you do get... You see, even Elliot with his muscles, he can't even do it. Yay! Was I pulling in the wrong place? Yeah story of my life <laughs> right here we go I just need you to see these because you see how beautiful the prints are look I'm only going to open this one this is your five inch scroll oh of course you can't do that can you? <laughs> are we going to be getting an overhead camera on this side or not there you go look 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 there you go aren't they gorgeous oh they've sold out they've sold out if you all checked out they've sold out They've sold out. Right, Delphine has designed us this lovely um, daisy cushion. Oh, oh, uh, let me tell you, let me tell me, tell you, there's needles, there's needles. Um, I'll quickly put them through. There's a kit of needles here, pack of needles here, in which you get l leather betweens. You get, oh, I, I keep putting them out thinking there's overhead camera, I can't show you this. I'll t there's a picture, there's a picture. You get leather betweens, hand uh, beading, tapestry, sharps, straws, chenilles, darners and embroidery. There they all are. You get all of those for £13.99. We're not using the machine this hour. Even I picked it up and put it on the table. Delphine was like, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Right, OK. Shall we, Delphine? <laughs> hang on, put, go on to Delphine. Right, 
Shall we have a hug, Delphine? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. oh, you give the best hug. Thank you. And say, wait, Jill, Jill's like, why aren't they standing together? Why aren't they standing together? have to wait because at Sound Street what we do is we show you what's for sale and then we come over and we do the demo. You have to move over though oh. to make a bit of room. Um, anyway, <laughs> isn't it lovely? It's so nice. It's it's lovely. So lovely. You touch each other enough. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm all flummoxed now. <laughs> well, we're not used to be. And we, I'm so used to sitting over there and you over yeah. here, aren't I? And everything like that. Anyway, uh, should we make a cushion? If you want to. Am I in the way here? I might have no. to be back. No, bit. no, this is a really I nice I can help. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a pressing mat? Yeah, OK, that's fine. I'll, I'll be holding you your pressing You can hold that, yeah. Lovely. This is lovely. It's, 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 this is lovely. I know, I know. Get on yeah. with it. Oh, God. He's so bossy, isn't he? Do what? <laughs> you're bossy today. I know, I've got so much going on. I'm cat <laughs> shouting, cat's overexcited today. I, I think you're amazing though. You are a true professional. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't say that. Anyway, you met a handsome Scott this morning, I believe. I did. And you didn't know he was our boss, did you? No. And were you rude to him? No, no. I was just sat in the corner in the gallery, just minding my own business to stay. I was just staying out. Yeah, of the <laughs> best morning. way to do. And he offered to make me, get me a coffee, and I thought, lovely. Oh, that's nice. So, and then I, I, was like, I said, cat, I was like, he's that? She went, that's Scott the boss. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got he, he yeah. Scott is over the manager over us jewelry maker and primal live uh, hobby craft hobby craft that's right hobby hobby maker <gasps> <laughs> it's one of those days you can afford how lovely I'm in tears says oh, June yes. oh June don't be in tears June when we see you we'll give you a hug as well uh, so Scott yes Scott is our boss over all hobby maker jewelry maker and sewing maker that's what I'm going to remember it like that Get on with it. Get but, me out but of yeah, this situation. But yeah, he was so nice. He made me a brew. So yeah, that's it. no, he went and bought it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, he went and bought yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, with the sugar and everything delivered to me when I was in my little corner. Oh, very that's nice. nice. Very nice chap. Anyway, what are you going to do? How do we do it? Oh, How do we make it? It's just really easy. Is it? But it's, it's so gorgeous and it's, it's lovely. It's, it's fresh, isn't it? Well, that's what I thought. I thought, you know, new studio, new beginnings, you know, spring's in the air, isn't it? So yeah. I thought I'll definitely do, need to do something that's a nice, simple, pretty project. But it doesn't have to be a cushion. You could make it into a bag or something like that as well. So because the panel's so big, um, if you got two, you could make, you know, like either side. Oh, yeah, but, oh, but the thing is you can make it outside of a tote bag anyway because you have the daisies on the other side on and the then other just side. align it with something yeah. else, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, so there's there's loads of different ways of putting this together. That's why I didn't have I didn't have to do instructions because it is just so simple to put right. together. Right, OK. So, yeah, so that's the finished finished one. Can I just say I like this? I like the way it gets ombres the down. Ombre. It's nice, yeah. isn't it? I was inspired by a biscuit tin. Were you? Yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, oh. Now you can't be looking up there. I know, I know, it's going to be distracting. There's, there's, there's a <laughs> corridor, a glass corridor up here, you see. Now I can't see it where I am. I can't see it from there. But you see, oh look, there's a man with glasses waving, <laughs> Delphine. Wave back. Um, no idea. No idea it is. <laughs> Anyway, 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 uh, I can't see it from that desk, but Delphine's standing this way. It's just that you can right? see it. She at can the see it all, you see. Yeah. yeah. It's not Munch, no, it's <laughs> something important. He's got his own office. Andrew. Oh, that's Andrew, is it? Oh, that's tall Andrew. We know tall Andrew. No, no, he sorted it all out for us, didn't he, this morning? Yeah, he's brilliant. Right, go on. <laughs> Anyway, so you get It's going to be like that all day today. <laughs> you so get we? a panel, you've got a square. No, around. biscuit tin, biscuit tin. <laughs> yeah, I was just by by biscuit tin. I just thought it looked pretty. Anyway, and also it's it's trying to. Oh no, I love it! I love it. How it's like looking off into the distance, you know, with the sun and yeah, yeah. But bear with me. No, I yeah, am. I am. Yeah. All right. So we get the panel. Right. Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. Yes, please. Right. I'll put, <laughs> shall, shall just move that out of the way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's swap. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll tiptoe. Uh, le love daisies. I had the giant ones as my wedding flowers. Fab to, see, fab to see you both having a hug. Thank you, Kate. Right, OK. So there's your, there's your main... So, oh, I see. It's very different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So this is that's what I mean. It's really, really simple. So I've given you the option, if you wanted to, you can just do some embroidery over the top of this. Or none whatsoever. You could just make this front piece into a cushion or, if, or whatever okay, you want to. Would, uh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And then you've got the other square which is here with all your smaller daisies on. Yeah, and also ombre. Also ombre, yeah. So again, you can either use that as a back of a cushion, back of a bag or whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then you've got extra daisies to use because I saw that you were having a bit of a pick on it to see you couldn't see where the ones that I'd sewn on or not. Oh, no, because I couldn't figure out, but now I've seen this, yeah. I can see there's loads sewn on because yeah. actually you've yeah. been a bit Oh, well, that's frugal. good then. I thought that's good that you didn't notice. No, no, it's brilliant. Yeah. 
And also, I was trying to pick them off, and they wouldn't come yeah, off. Well, don't pick no. them off. You no. ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, so how do we? Where do we start? So, for for that one, all I've done is cut around the main square, mm -hmm. and which I've now got. So, I'll just shift that out. Of the okay. Way. Move that out the way. And I'm just going to put this one underneath a I a pressing mat. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm just going to explain. Or oh, come back into shot. I'm just going to explain that that telly's put me off. You see, because that's just a kind of random on there. This right. If you shop in the nine o'clock hour, which is this hour, one of you will win this Ombre Wovens V and Co quilt. Quilt kit. It sold out. Now, the reason this is your prize is the box. We couldn't sell it because the box is damaged, right? There's nothing wrong with the quilt inside. Look, there's nothing wrong. Look, the quilt pack. Oh, look, it's gorgeous. Oh, that's lovely. Right? Somebody who shops in the nine o'clock hour will win this kit. They'll win that kit. How much is it? About hundred pounds it was. About hundred pounds it was. Sorry, I just have to put that in. No, that's lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right. So I've cut my square out. I've just put it on the pressing mat. I don't know if you can see that. That's yeah. Right. And then you just get your bond web. Right. And you put it onto the back of the big daisies. Right. And you cut them out. Okay. And then you put them on, press them on, and it's it. Okay. What's the time? It's Twenty past. <laughs> yeah. There's <laughs> lots of degrees. So what I wanted did to do. Did you use all of them then? I did, and also it, I've also used some of the smaller ones as well. So what I want to try and get with this one is to try and create a little piece of art as well as it just being a cushion. Right. So. Whenever we think about doing a picture like this, you want to have the larger flowers at the front because, uh, you know, at the bottom, because that's going to make you think that the flowers are at the front. Yeah. And obviously, the further away you go, you want them to be a bit smaller. So if you just do that, well, that's close up, isn't it? It's oh, close. okay. All right then. Yeah. Just bear I with. don't know these things. So I'm going to have all our different. They're all different sizes as well. So right. You can just play around with a different. So uh, layer. these got bond web on the back, have they? Yeah, I've already peeled it. Oh, off. you peel the paper off. Okay. Yeah, the early bird was a brilliant early bird today, wasn't it? And um, the um, bond web. So then you can just play around with where you want them to go, but don't be afraid to let them overlap a little bit because that's what you want. Because at least then it looks like they've, yes, yeah. they've been pushed back a little bit. There we go. But I'm going to, with this one, I'm also going to show lots of different stitches of how to. That, yeah, no, that's right. Will you, when you go home, when this hour's finished, will you put onto our Facebook fan page? the picture of that yes because Pete, I know you're saying oh you can just place them down here I know as well as you at home some when you get it home you go oh wh where did you where did she put them I don't understand it whereas um, it'd be nice if we just took a picture of this and showed it wouldn't it yeah okay. I'll put, I'll put, I've got a couple of um, progress pictures F so brilliant, I, brilliant, yeah. brilliant so I don't know where I'll put them on that one. Oh yeah but again you can put them just, wherever you want can, to put them can't you put them wherever I like yeah but you want to have it quite busy down here at yeah. the bottom. You mm -hmm. want it to be quite busy, and then it, it goes smaller. Yeah, it goes smaller as you go up. There must be a, a word for that. Going smaller. Graduate graduates. Did no. I put one on that end? Oh yeah, I did. There was a little one you put on the end. No, uh, was it that one? I thought it was a medium sized one you put that <laughs> in. But anyway, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. So there oh. we go. So I've, I've put those in an awkward position. I'm just going to lift that up slightly so you can yeah, see yeah, it a little bit it. better. So I'm quite happy. I'm going to commit to those. Oh, are day. you? Before you've done anything else? I am, yeah. So I'm going to commit to those ones and okay. then I can move around a little bit. So already, I don't know if this is how my brain works. Already I'm starting to see it getting a bit more depth where they're definitely closer. Yeah, to Yeah, definitely, me. definitely. Uh, if you're on the phone lines, there is a small queue. I saw the call centre yesterday. Chloe took me on a tour. They're in this building. The call centre are in this building. Uh, morning all, love the panel, great to see you standing next to Delphine, lots of love from Dee. Thank you Dee. I know. Won't last. It feels really strange though. It does. It when does. They, you see, when we did Sewing Quarter, this was the, what we, the, the norm. norm. Yeah. Then of course when I came to join Sewing Street, it was during mm. the pandemic and everything. So all to, we, in Sewing Street we've never stood next to each other before. I'm just thinking, what if I'm doing something wrong when I usually give you a look to say help? Yeah, well in that case, like, if you suddenly see me going like this, well, well, just look at these kits over here. <laughs> right, the okay. So is that like with a little bit of a kick? Yeah, or that's or fine. A, that's like, fine. Just mind where you kick. <laughs> oh dear. hundred have gone already. hundred of these have gone already. Congratulations. So... And all I want to do now is fill in a couple of the gaps. Yeah. You'll see I've got... <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I once did that. CL was on. CL was on. You know, CL would do dressmaking and everything. And she had... I'll just explain. 
she had a uh, tailoring thing and I went, oh, I'll just get rid of that bit of blue thread. She went, that was my tailor tack. And I, oh, I thought it was no. a bit of blue thread taken out of where she was going to do her sewing to and everything. So I'm very wary about taking things off I'm like that. I'm looking forward to actually being next to you when we're actually going to need a bit of help. Are you like, going to help us and do stuff? Of course. You're going to do a bit of sewing? Left I might not do sewing, but did you see my patchwork? Oh, very impressive. I very couldn't impressive. believe it. I you couldn't believe it. I know, your point. I couldn't believe but it. I'm also, do you not, have you not done patchwork then before? Uh, no, I have, I have, but not very much i did I, when the, when, you, when the um uh, covid first started we made rainbows a bargello rainbow and i did yeah, that so yeah. i can do so sewing i can do sewing sewing yeah. but patchwork uh, was new to me when we went to sewing quarter so i can do it but it hasn't been my fault i haven't had time either have i yeah, and then yeah. I, it was really weird the other day I, I was the absolute last deadline for my book and I thought, well, I'm going to make a patchwork instead. <laughs> so I didn't do my book. How long does it take you to do it? Oh, uh, three hours. Oh, check you out. Well, and done. I, well, no, you see, I did have, I didn't cut it out. I had a cutter from Hobby Maker, a, a thing to cut the fabric. So all my squares and all my half square triangles were all cut by my Gemini Maker Maker from Hobby Maker, you see. So I've cut all of those out in no time at mm. all. And then I placed them all out on the dining table. The cats messed them around a yeah. few times. If you look, there is one mistake, right? As okay. in, I've put two fabrics together that shouldn't have been together, and I don't know how I've done that, but that's all. Oh, I'll have to have a look later. Yeah, no, I'll point it out to you later. <laughs> right, okay. So, I'm just going to add a few more. I'll tell you what, you can, if, if I've got a bit you can start helping with already, don't you? Yeah, what do you want? You can start peeling the backs off these oh, little ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, all I'm doing now is just filling some of these bigger gaps. Yeah, I'm just looking for a pin. Like so. Oh, message from Trisha. Good morning, all. Lovely to see you standing next to each other. Loving the panel. Popped into my basket. Now, Trisha, Trisha, if it's in your basket, make sure you check out, my love, because they're absolutely flying out. I don't know how many we had to start with, Kat. Okay, and how many have gone? Okay, nearly half the stock's all gone. Check out your baskets. Yeah, yeah, check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. Well, there's only five rolls of bondaweb left as well. I'm just going off to find the pin. I'm not sure where the box of pins <laughs> he's went. Off, he's off, he's oh, there. thank you. Okay, so all I've done is just filled in a few more gaps. It's just it, you can see how easy this comes together. It's really, really. This is probably one of my most simple projects, actually. Yeah. And then you just fill in with these little ones. Yeah, put them wherever you like. You can put them wherever you want, John. I'm still taking the backs off. You need nails, really, to do this, don't you? And then you just all you want to do then is with these smaller ones. I said you don't need to cut the um, the smaller ones from the panel, but I just think it looks, it gives it another bit of. Bit I am listening. Depth. I can't concentrate and listen at the same time. <laughs> um, did we bring? I was just thinking. Did we bring the vacuum with us? Oh no, that's all because Delphine, you know how she throws things on the floor. I do, I do throw things usually, but I, think, <laughs> I can see Elliot looking at me as if to say yes. Elliot's does. leaving tomorrow, he doesn't <laughs> care. Oh, it'll be your last day with Elliot today. I know, I'm really sad. Have you brought him a present? No. No, no we but haven't I'm done a whip round or anything, yeah. and I'm not joking, I'm not saying it because Elliot's standing there. I'll have to do him a very special one, I've got something in mind. It was even, <laughs> his leaving due yesterday got cancelled. Was oh, it? they've moved it. Oh, nobody told me. It's just, well, I didn't turn up, isn't it? And where are we going? Playing darts somewhere, weren't we? Darts? Some of these haven't got back in zone. They ha Well, they might have fallen off. OK. Look at him concentrating. <laughs> they can't see me. Bruce doesn't cut to us. Look, he stays on the project. His little face, look. <laughs> You're very handy. Uh, oh, he's thrown up oh, the floor, no. look. Early bird sold out. Oh, that's got nothing on it. Right, with, with, uh, Kat's saying she, she's got some pictures, but she's struggling with them because she's on a new system and she doesn't quite know how it works <laughs> at the moment. There we go. So when you've actually got them all on, you can, if you want to, go round and stitch them on individually right. with a blanket stitch. OK, but hang on. If you sew, if you cut these off... These are off the backing bit, aren't they? Does that yeah. mean there's nothing left to make the back of my yeah, cushion? I only use this? a tiny little bit. So this is what's left of the back. So if you were making an envelope back, oh, I cut it from you'd, you cut it from the bottom. But if you were making an envelope back, just get maybe a fat quarter of like a pale blue or white, oh, yeah, okay, and okay, just okay. for the other half. So you can still use it for that. But with the one behind me, I just used it to make another cushion, maybe yeah. a little complementary one. Okay. I'm concentrating, sorry. <laughs> I was actually thinking, the aircon in this studio is so much better. 
It is. But it's, it's, cold. Cold. it's a bit cold. I can, I, a guy can reach it. It's only over there. It's next to Cat. All Who's these way? Yeah, it's up there, but the, but the switch is over there. All these little yeah. daisies are just appearing on my left side. There you go, I'm finished now. He's done now. Yeah. There you go. You're done for a little bit now. Oh! Oh, a balloon's <laughs> I've just burnt. Look, they didn't pop, look. Oh, oh that one did. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologise at home. The first one just went like that. There we go. It's all right, isn't it? Thanks. You just want to fill in the gaps like a little jigsaw. Yeah. I haven't done many. No, you can't put it up there. Oh, I'm why not? not? Well, it, well. All right then. No, no. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm loving you both working together. Got my panel and skeins. Have a great day. But best of luck to Elliot. He needs it, I tell you. <laughs> uh, from Neve in County Clare. Thank you. It, yeah, he's going to so be shocked, isn't he? When he gets a proper job, when he goes to a proper job, he said it's so easy here. You're all being such troopers today. Well done to all the team from June. June, it's our pleasure, my love. It's our pleasure. I just realised I'm going to have to clean my teeth, aren't I? Uh, every day I say I'm not buying anything else. Delphine comes on and that's it, straight in my basket. So lovely to see a bit of normality with hugging. Thank you from Penny in Monmouthshire. Is Monmouthshire in Wales? Yes. Borada. Borada. Jochen Val. Jochen Val. Good morning, thank you very much. Good lick. No, no, no. Good luck, I think we need <laughs> Susan. Good lick and best wishes to you, Elliot, for your future. Yeah, well done for all your work at the studio. Also, what a lovely cushion from Delphine from Susan. Oh, that's Oh, nice. thank you very thank much. You. So then you can either choose... Are these finished with? Yeah. Oh, I feel bad just throwing them on the floor. It's right, Elliot can hoover on his lap. We have a, don't we have a cleaner? Oh, we have a cleaner. We have a cleaner. That's oh, it's right. posh now, isn't it? Yeah. So, you, like I said before, you can actually choose to sew around each one individually with a blanket stitch or a uh, zigzag stitch or whatever you want to do. But with this one, I thought it would be pretty to do a bit of hand sewing for it. Okay, then. Now, did you put anything on the back? Oh, I, sorry, have you stuck those down? Yeah, yeah. I've stuck those down. It's a good job I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, is there, uh, did you put anything on the back of it? I used a bit of... I did use some H640 right. on the back, but you don't have to. You we haven't got you it do, here today. It's in to the old building, it. but it's on the website. So you can choose to quilt it or you can just do it without. It all depends on how... It, obviously, with it, how many layers you want to go did, through. Did you put so. the H640 on before you started your hand stitching? I did, yes, but you okay. don't have to. Okay, perfect. So, so if you want to give it that puffy, puffy finish, if you do that, we put yeah. the H640 on and then do your hand stitch. Just give it that little That's bit. That's it. But if you, if you're new to hand sewing and you want to do it in a hoop, do it do it this way first. Oh, are you, oh did you do yours in a hoop? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 but if you want to do it in a hoop. Yeah, but if you, if you want to do it in a hoop. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do it. I thought we'll start off with a few French knots. I love this panel. Yeah. Added to my Delphine collection. I'm going to make a cutting mat tote. Still waiting for my Highland cows, though. Jackie, that should be there by now. I'll have a word for you. The call centre's upstairs. I can ring them. I can call them. Morning. Love to see you both working together. Have a fab day, Vanessa in West Midlands. Thank you, Vanessa. It's just because she looks really tall on the telly, doesn't she? Well, I, I, I usually don't have my shoes on. I'll have my shoes off on the, on the next one. Oh, yes, you're even short on the next yeah, one. Yeah, because I can't sew with my shoes on. Huh? Can't sew with shoes on? No. 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 Uh, 640 <laughs> graphics are in. Um, no, because I saw 12 foot tall Ruth on with her guest on Hobby Maker the other day. And Ruth's this tall. And the guest, I think it was little Linda, wasn't it? It was this tall. It was very funny. Oh, we haven't got, we got any really tall. Janice ones? is really little. Yeah. It's a big Janice. Sally Ann Harrison's very little, so you're better, but they know that because they know me from Sewing Quarter. I don't think we've got any tall ones, have no. we? Vix, Vix isn't tall. Oh, small, yeah, Vix is very small. Jane Greenhouse quite tall, isn't she? Yes. Message. Morning, I will miss Elliot's smiling face. He's a oh, different oh, he's... Elliot than we know. I don't think I've ever seen him smile. <laughs> but wish him all the best in his new job and for the future from Glynis. Oh, that's nice. Don't you'll have him crying soon. No. No, he looks really happy today. He looks fat, did you say? No, so I'm fat. so happy. <gasps> Elliot, I'm so sorry. He looks really happy. Well, it's because he's leaving. I know. He's been up half the night. What time did you come in, Elliot? Five. Five o'clock. Because when Five I, I yesterday, I just said, so it's my day off yesterday, and I thought, I, I, feel, I just feel a little bit comfortable going and just making sure everything's all right. Walked into the studio, and I took a picture. These weren't here, because they were on the set in the old studio. Um, there was nothing, it was, and they, what are you doing? Something fell over then, didn't it? They've worked so hard. They've worked so hard. And then Elliot said, oh, I'm just going to use the cameras and do camera angles. And, and Chloe said, no, you're not, because you're using the same cameras as 
um, primal living, health living, whatever it's called, right? And, um, so he couldn't do any practicing with the cameras, couldn't plug them in or anything like that. So we're all right now. He was in this morning. He's got one confused. Oh, it's disappeared. One's, one's changed, doesn't it? That one there is not right. Yeah, that one. You've moved those round. How did you do that? Um, there's, but he, cause he, he's got a wire and he's got a plug, but they don't go together. But apart from that, he's done a good job, hasn't he? <laughs> Yeah, that you were walking around this morning and going, Whoa. well, I can't say what you're actually saying, but you were saying, where does this wire, you had a wire in your hand, you were asking everyone where it goes. He doesn't even remember that. Anyway, carry on. Anyway, French knots. French knots, please. <laughs> ha, hang on, are, are they all stuck on then? They're all stuck on, right? Yeah. No, no, they're all stitched on. You stitched every single one on as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But you don't, like I say, you don't have to. This is the beauty of this type of project. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, but if you don't, because the bond web doesn't last forever, does it? No, but I mean, so you don't, no. So Sorry, I've confused you completely. <laughs> so you don't have to hand stitch them on. You can machine them if you want to. Okay, yes. But I just thought it'd be nice to do a bit of hand sewing. No, 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 but lots of, lots of people do, the, do yeah. these, um, the, do these uh, projects as pure hand sewing, don't they? And so. I also think when you see cushions in the shops, etc., you you see the odd one or two that have got a bit of embellishment on, you notice that the price is always higher. Oh, gosh, yes, it yes, is, yes um, definitely. Oh, OK, more. then. So what's, what's your angel policy? Can people rate these to sell them? Yes, absolutely. There you go. Yep. So you're raising money for a charity or mm -hmm. a bazaar or a school or raising money for yourself to buy your next Delphine project. Mm -hmm. She doesn't mind you making this, selling on a craft and making some... No, more. and like I said, just by adding... You know, even just it's the odd French knot here and there or, or a couple of buttons or any type of embellishment, it's always going to put the price up yeah, exactly. on pieces. So mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, spring's come in, so there's more craft fairs. You know, and if these are really, really simple makes. So by making these and lining them all up on your craft store, they look gorgeous. They look gorgeous, yeah, yeah. and they will sell. So uh, uh, at what time? Cat's also saying is you could put like if this is Elliot's leave in present, you could put Elliot good riddance or something like that on there. <laughs> he's yeah, gone. He's gone. Do, so he's not there anymore. There's lots of really pretty sayings, aren't there, for both spring and autumn. Well, all the seasons really. And you can yeah. do a nice little spring saying there. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's lovely. Isn't I it? just. Uh, it's one of those things going to make you happy when you if you have it yes. in your bedroom. You wake yeah. up and see that first thing in the chair in the corner yeah. of your bedroom. You can think, ha think happy That's thoughts. That's right. Aren't and you? it's fresh and yes. clean and so yeah. yeah. So and I think it's important. They always say, don't they, the first few seconds as you wake up, don't be listening to the sad news. Have happy music on. Get up and smile and things. Mm -hmm. That'll set you up for the rest of the day. Yeah. So, nice and pretty. So, we're right. going to do a few French knots. OK, you so, do that then. Well, are you going to do some as well, John? No. No? There's only one needle. I'm just going over here. <laughs> so, to do a French knot, you're going to come out from the back. So, I've already put, I've done a... Um, I've done a knot at the bottom of the of the thread. So this is uh, the skein of thread has got six strands of thread on it. So with this one, I've separated the strands into three. Yeah. So the reason why I've done that is because I just wanted the French knots to be a little bit smaller. Uh, if you prefer, on the bigger flowers, you could do use all six uh, threads, so the full skein. And as you go up to the smaller ones, you could maybe like go down to maybe a two skein. Yeah. And what that's going to do is create more texture and by mixing up all the different sizes. So don't be afraid to, to mix up different thread sizes so you're going to come all the way out yeah make sure it's all the way out and then you're going to get the end of the thread as close to the tip of the needle as you can yeah you go up it one two three times around mm -hmm. and then you push it in pretty much where it came out and then you put the tail all the way now through. how do you stop it knotting there <clears throat> i always find that i when i pull them through sometimes it knots too early well you've done it wrong yeah, I have done it. Okay, I'll let you <laughs> so carry I'll on. So I'll show you again. So you want to try and go through the centre and then just like do a couple around. So you don't want to cover all of the orange bit. Just do a couple in uh, the yellow uh, French knots in the centre. And then what this red circle do, the red orange circle, will actually make those pop out a little bit more. So if you want to, you could also add a little bit of uh, metallic thread or something like that. That will make it uh, stand out even more as well. Or even if you've got some gold thread, that would also look really pretty. So cool. three times round, yeah, as close same. to where I came out, and then put it all the way through, and perfect French knot. So, I, so once you've done a couple, you'll be well away. Then you can do do loads of them. There we go. So three times round, close to where you came in, and put it all through. Do you want to have a go? No, no, I'm listening sure. to you. So there's visitors in the gallery. I'm trying to listen to you. They are. <laughs> so Who? Wayne, Wayne. Get him out. Chuck him out. Chuck him out. 
Yeah, the picture of me dancing at Vix's wedding, it's with Wayne. It was when he was good looking. Oh, yeah. oh here, here he comes out. Wayne, just so you know, is a senior producer at our sister channel. Oh, he's changed now. Manager. You've lost weight as well, Wayne. No, I did. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> You're allowed in. This is gorgeous, Wayne. Oh, oh Wayne. welcome, welcome, welcome. This is welcome. Wayne. So, what are you now then? Uh, sales manager and Gemstone buyer. Oh, is that why you don't text me anymore? I text you all the time. No, exactly. This is Delphine, by the way. Nice no kissing, you. you won't just met. Okay. Just met. <laughs> You'll we see Wayne a lot, because his okay. office is upstairs. Okay. I live here, basically. This is why it's lovely being in this building. <laughs> this it's brilliant, isn't oh, it? Oh, I can You can hear it. All right, all right. Go off, go off. All right. See you later, Wayne. No, take care. <laughs> Wayne, you wouldn't believe this, but Wayne's girlfriend is the most gorgeous she's uh, why she's with Wayne we, do, we just don't know and they've got the two most incredible Wayne now your, your kids now they're so beautiful you know they're, they're all grown up and everything but they're both stunning they both look like models they're incredible he's got a boy and a girl and they look gorgeous completely gorgeous anyway that was Wayne Sorry about that. So Duffin. that's Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> I've just met You'll Wayne. meet everybody like this because Vix is Vix is working this afternoon in the studio next. Yeah, she says she's. Hang probably. on, no, she's on hobby maker later, isn't she? So she'll be in later to do her prep. There we go. So I'm just going to do it one more, yeah. and then I'll show you on to the next one. So, yeah, mi mi mix up all the different sizes, and then when you go to the smaller ones, just do it once. So, yeah. I think I'll switch to. But when you okay. do the, the smaller ones, do you just do you less? Because how many three you've got all six threads through on that one, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so, uh, well, I've already told him that. You were busy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so I said, do you have a six? I tried to stop Elliot packing away, that was all. Yeah, so you'd oh. have six so yeah. you'd have the six gate uh, six threads and for these i've done three right okay but the smaller you go you were uh, just um yeah there's so many messages coming in should we do a few of them quickly uh good morning both love to see you together love the panel got my highland coup earlier in the week looking forward to making it love for oh crystal she's the one she's in you know she's in um dynasty oh wow she's the actress from dynasty watches yeah Anyway, hi John Delphine, nice to see you together. Great panel, Delphine. Wishing Elliot all the best and good luck with everything you do from Laurie in Suffolk. Don't know where he's gone, actually. Don't know where he's gone. chat, probably. Hey, he'll be making another coffee. Uh, I can't sew with shoes on either, says Nicola. I'm always getting funny looks at sewing workshops. Lovely to see you both get, get together again. We've never been together. This is our first time. This is our first, first time. First time ever. Got my panel. Enjoying the interaction between John and Delphine. Thank you for cheering us all up from Claire in Dumfries and Galloway. Thank you, Claire, my love. I'm sorry I have to look over there to read because the writing's too small over there. I oh, know, I'm sorry. The camera focus is fantastic. <laughs> Cat, camera focus is fantastic. Uh, love to all. Best wishes to Elliot in the future from a cat. Now, what's the D mean? What do you think the D's means there? Uh, in the future, D's. Collection, Cardiff, Bonadard, Jock and Vow. So many messages. He was making coffee. He was. He's going to cafetiere. You need to rinse that <laughs> mug out. Anyway. And the cafetiere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Messaging Joe. Morning, John, Delphine and team. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen, sorry. The cushion will make a great Mothering Sunday gift. It Good luck, Elliot yeah. from Joanne. Yeah. That camera there that I'm looking at is going all over the place. Pauline's Miss What? Oh, Pauline, Pauline, you can win this. And all you have to do is buy something, right? And you can win this, right? Now, the box is a bit damaged, that's what I, I did, but there's nothing wrong with the quilt kit inside, look. It's not even been opened, this one, look. So somebody who buys it every hour, this hour, so anybody you bought in the eight o'clock hour, your name will go in the hat for the electric scissors. Anybody who buys in this hour, the names will go into a hat for this present. There's a different present for all five hours today. So if you buy from Delphine in this hour, now you are up against stiff competition because hundreds of you have bought this hour. Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds you bought in this hour. Message from Anila. What has John eaten this morning? He's full of energy. It's nervous energy. I've not had anything. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. I could do with um, a Starbucks, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah, one last time. I'll give, I'll give him the money. I'll give him the money. Hi, gorgeous cushion. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> gorgeous cushion. If you are machine blanking stitching each daisy, what colour thread and what size would you suggest from Sue? I would use your smallest setting and your, on the stitch. Right. And just a, just a white. Just a white thread will be fine. Or even just like an off... Like I a do a, a silver. Like a oh, very, very... No, no, I don't mean glittery silver. Not a glittery silver. I just mean like... um really really soft mm. off-white hint of silver yeah. on some of them because mm. you've got your gorgeous highlighting around the edge and I'd also do a little bit of um, 
zigzaggy stitches I'd in there. Also, well, I'd, I'd say it is the ones that are closer to me. Yeah. I'll do in a in a light stitch. Right. And then the ones that are further away doing the darker stitch. That's why yeah. she's at, you know that's what she does. Uh, right. <laughs> Was that, did, was there a picture? I suddenly saw a picture then. Here you go. Uh, first one, here you go. Oh, hi, John and Delphine. This is my Oliver the Owl cushion I made. Love all the Delphine's patterns from Tracy. It's gorgeous, oh, that. Oh, bless her. That's lovely. I think I saw that on the fan page, actually. Did you? Yeah, well done. Well done. And the second one, morning, John and crew. Sounds like it's all coming together in the new studio. Only just. Delphine, you are an inspiration. And this quilt was put together with scraps of my stash. Hope I've done the cow job. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah, even see the, the cow rain from a very sunny bath. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, well now, it, Bruce, just something for the future. When we do those, are you able to show it on this telly here? Because I can't read that that far away. And I'll need it on the big... Don't only do it today. Don't need to do it today. Yeah, thank you very much. Poor old Bruce. He's had all these demands we're making. Oh, it, it did. It showed up, though. Oh, did it? Yeah, he missed it. Missed it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll read this one. Good luck in your new studio. We love watching from Jane in South Yorkshire. Thank you, Jane, my love. We love doing it, believe it or not. We love being here. Good luck in the new studio and to Elliot and his new job. What will Toad Street do without him? We'll fly, Emma. Oh, was it? No, not Emma. Devon. Devon. <laughs> the what? Yeah, yeah, that old studio was his studio. We have to fumigate it now, he's gone. I tell you what, I went in yesterday because there were a few things not here. It stinks. I, I don't realise how much it smells. Remember when we really? arrived in the morning? Because in COVID, we had to open all the doors, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, because you order up the doors. Always had the door open. It was always right? freezing cold. No, no, no. <laughs> but now, I went in yesterday and it was shut. The doors were shut and there was, there was something festering in that. I've got to go in there, pop in later. Oh, well, yeah. Paul's there, but... <laughs> Uh, it smells of rotten milk and it smells of turmeric. Turmeric, however you say it. Turmeric. Turmeric. Does it? Turmeric. And do what, what? Okay, be, please be careful. There are so many people got this in your basket. Do check out. Remember, you have to check out before the top of the hour because your name will go into the... Oh, now, that's a point, Kat. So, it... Uh, she doesn't know the answer. I was going to ask, if you've got this and you check out at 10 o'clock, do you go in the 10 o'clock competition or the 9 o'clock competition? Oh. oh, so it's what hour you buy. So if you don't check out till 10 o'clock, you'll go in the 10 o'clock hour competition, not this one. Right. What are you so, doing now? So, you know when you uh, said earlier on, obviously the bond away won't last forever. Yeah. So you, if you have a hand stitching on, this is what you've got to do to keep it all sewn okay. down. All right. So I'll show you this bit. This one. So all you're going to do is, again, because I wanted to create a little bit uh, more depth and texture on it. So the ones that are not um, the ones that are part of the panel I didn't really sew much on them right because I wanted them to appear further away yeah. so the ones that are closer I've added some stitches around right so all you're going to do I'll show you what we're going to do we're going to do three stitches right on each petal okay lovely but it's your it's your panel you do what you want if you want to zigzag yeah. it on you zigzag if you want to if you want to what's it raw edge you can do raw edge as well yeah. can't you you can do whatever you want really so all I've done... I'm How many try. threads have you got in there then? Uh, six, but I would usually use three. But okay. I'm just separating them on there. I thought I might get more in the tangle. Yeah, okay. So you could go, you just... Oh, crikey, I've got a bit of yellow stuck underneath. So all, you, all I've done there is on the end of each petal, so I've done a straight stitch. Nothing, yeah. There's nothing fancy here at all. So two long ones and a short one. I'll show you again. Yeah, do. And you, you I've suddenly realised I've got about 100 messages. Can I see the panel again? I'll, miss, I'll show you in a second, Valerie. I'll go through everything again for you in a minute. Lisa Lamb says, what two sewing stars on the same screen? Back to the way it used to be. Hurrah. Um, morning, gorgeous John Scott and Delphine, Wayne and all the fantastic crew. Lots of love from Christine. Sue says, have you got a different camera? The, oh, no, no. It's all, it should be fine. It should be fine now, Sue. Uh, but it was not nice to have to clean the loo this morning. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it for weeks, to be honest. Uh, Delphine is the queen of the French knot. Sewing Street wakes me up, certainly sets me up for the day, says Jan. Beth says, loving the new studio, looking forward to seeing it myself. Uh, Jose, uh, oh no, hang on. Julie says, all the demonstrators will feel strange with the presenter at their elbow. It will, it will. Les says, I love the cushion panel, it's so cheerful, I had to buy it. Amanda says, good morning all. Uh, Carol says, at least we can giggle as you both, oh dear, you both look so poorly. No, we're not poorly, we're fine. Adele says, morning, John and Delphine, lovely to see you together, have a fabulous day. No, of course he's making his own. 
Oh, the boy, that focus puller is a bit sharp. You can tell the studio is bigger. You're all echoey. Actually, um, Jan, the studio is about a quarter of the size as the one we used to have. Um, only one overhead camera, yes, but there will be two. There will be two eventually. Uh, oh, everyone must have worked hard. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Could one use Trapunto yes. on bigger flowers? Yes, absolutely, definitely. Another thing I thought was yeah. re really nice. It okay, now before we go any further, people don't know, somebody oh. might not know what Trapunto is. Okay, so I actually did Trapunto with you, didn't I? You did. Uh, I don't know when, recently, wasn't it? Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you'd do, if I was had a piece of um, wadding underneath this, and then I was going to do the sewing, uh, you, can, you can quilt that as normal, but if I wanted one or two to stand out a little bit more, you'd put an extra piece of wadding behind the flowers that you wanted to trapunto. Yes. So trapunto is basically, it means stuffing. Yeah, Italian. Uh, Italian for stuffing, yeah. Well, I don't know if it is Italian stuffing. Don't no, no, it is. I've just written about it in my book. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so then what you'll do is, so imagine this is the extra... I, I can get... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> it's been so back imagine this is, it's got wadding all, all over yeah. it already. This has already got a backing on it. Yeah. So say if I wanted to, you can just about see maybe trapunto this flower here. I would put another piece of wadding big enough to cover that area yeah i would then sew around the flower as normal and then with a pair of applique cases as ideally you would trim away all the way around the edge yeah so that makes that bit yeah. more poofy, doesn't it? Yeah, so there's, there's some over there. Oh, brilliant, that's a wadding, thank you so, so much. And then you, and what thank it will you. do, it will make it more 3D. So, yeah, so with something like this, this works out perfectly, actually. So the more the, the thicker your wadding, obviously, the more it's going to stay Yeah, if you there. use a lofty one, if you use the yeah. polyester one, that's even yeah. better, because it's got more loftiness to and it. And it's easier it? to cut away. Yeah. So you, and then you cut away as close as you can to your stitching, and then you continue to quilt, and then it makes it all 3D. But that's I did do a Chapunto demo recently this is your 80 20 by the half meter uh, there so right that's how we do that so then you go around all of your the ones that are again you don't have to this is what i did all the ones that were cut out all the applique ones you do the sewing on the ones that are not the ones that are on the panel already printed you don't need to sew right and i think it's almost like when you get dressed for a night out you can have you can over it accessorize oh can you, you? What, so, more is more is more no less is more yeah. so it's almost what do they say you should get dressed and take off two things oh, not your clothes you know what i mean like if you can overdo it okay you? so the same with so sewing. you don't be mutton dressed as mutton that way no yeah. no so if you do if you sew around all of it it might it's be too much it's too much yeah, so you can yeah, overrate. Bruce is a little bit worried about what you said because he only wears a t shirt and jeans when he goes out. <laughs> no, I think it's more for, for, for the ladies. For the, like, no, he might. He wears a pearl necklace. Um, anyway, 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 what I was going to say to you was um, our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, they have seed beads. Wouldn't some beautiful. Lovely. They, they do yeah. the dip, those different kind of ombre kind of colours in the golds and everything. Yeah. Like, they'd be nice as well in that really sense nice. bit there, wouldn't and they? And like I said, just by adding a few little embellishments makes it. The, if you're going to sell it, definitely, yeah, definitely. more high end yeah. people will are more invested. So yeah. I'll show you how to do the stems. And again, all I've done with the stem is just filled in a few. Oh pieces. yeah, and you've added some as well. Yeah, so I've added a couple. She just threaded that live on telly. There's so many messages. So many messages. Let's do some more then while Delphine's doing this. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Uh, morning birds received my Bailey dog kit yesterday Ooh. my first Delphine pattern need to watch back for tips great to see you both together from Emma in Derbyshire thank you Emma my lovely just take your time bada da John and Delphine sorry just ordered <laughs> this lovely panel I've never been able to do French knots but I'll keep trying to sue yes do do it's worth it they're easy easy people they're easy once you get used to them that's what it is yeah question from Claire uh, cheeky question if we spread our order over a few of the hours we'll be able to tweet yes well, no, you will be, you will be, uh, because if you buy, it says anybody, you buy, so, if you, so basically if you buy one thing in each hour, you go into the draw for every hour. Of course, of course you will. Yes, of course you will. You'll need to check out on each one, because it, it'll, be, it'll be the computer picks up when you check out. But you only pay one PMP, it doesn't matter. So if you bought something, you've missed the eight o'clock now, the nine o'clock one, you've got about seven minutes to check out. And then, of course, the next one, check out in that hour, then that, yeah, good idea. I forgot to press my record button. Will this be on YouTube later from June? Bruce? Yes, it will. It will indeed. 
Nah, never mind the seed beads. I've got some tiny citrine nuggets. Ooh. I could add this to make this lovely and sparkly. Andrea, that would look gorgeous. I wasn't going to get you to buy gemstones to put on it, but yeah. So all I've done is added in a couple. Just Where's your green? I can't see where there. green is there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just makes it stand out a little bit Yeah, more. let me just get this one down as well here, because what you've done down here is you've done little fronds, like little... Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, well... Yeah, you, you can check on that uh, one there. Like that. There you go, yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so what were, you, what were you calling them? Fronds. Fronds. I don't know if that's the right word. Branches, branches. That'll do, yeah. Branches, yeah. little branches. Yeah, so all along the bottom. So I know you can't see that, but I just go... I sometimes no, of course go a you bit can see it, no. So, and I've also, I don't know if you can see in the centre, I've actually gone around one or two with some... Can just push you see it forward that? a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Also, around one or two of them, I've even done uh, some more... Uh, that reminds me of your bumblebee center. on the legs. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. No, 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 I don't mean your bumblebee. I mean your... Um, dragonfly. Dragonfly. <laughs> so, you knew what I meant. But, but, only, but again, only on a couple. And I've also gone round the little daisies. With just, again, they're just little straight stitches. There's really nothing... Now, cat. No, 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 cat. Which has just talked about don't over gild the lily. Cat's going to make organza ones to put over the top of Lovely. them. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah, oh, yeah. But cat's boyfriend smokes. You want to smoke near organza? No, you don't. And then sometimes if you forget and you go near it with an iron, that's oh, bad news then. Yeah. So. She doesn't do her hiding. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got anything else to do because I've got to re recap everything. No. What are you doing no. in your next hour? I'm doing a quilt. Okay. Will you be hanging it up before you uh, go? I think it, yes. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Now that's one thing yeah. we didn't get around to doing. We haven't got the we haven't got the thing tang. The, so we'll just have Cat and Elliot holding it here for the hour behind us in the next hour. <laughs> not you. We've got. It. You're not the only cat anymore. Anyway, we'll see you in an hour's time. Yeah, Thank you very I'll much you indeed. Come back with me. <laughs> We look lovely on um, YouTube. Do we? I know we look a bit weird on, on these screens here, but look, we look quite lovely on YouTube, look. Oh, it's stopped now. Oh, it's stopped. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, let's do this then. Let's do this, let's do this. So the one that Delphine was just working with is this panel here. Comes in three sections, look. So we've got that section there, which was the bit Delphine just worked Oh, come on, John. That bit there that Delphine worked on. We've got that bit there, which is where she's cut out the daisies from, but um, you could use that as the back, as an envelope back. And then these are the daisies she's cut out to embellish the whole of the cushion with. That panel is £14.99. <clears throat> Make sure you check out. There's so many people. There's 40 odd people haven't checked out on that. Make sure you check out as uh, yours. And also check, check out because you've got four minutes, right? You've got four minutes because if everybody buys in this hour, your name will go in the kitty. No, not the kitty. What's that thing called? Tombola to win this gorgeous quilt kit. Now the box is damaged, but the, the, the thing inside isn't, look. It's beautiful. Look at that rainbow of fabrics. They're woven these, woven fabrics. Worth about £100 this. One of you will win that, so if you uh, shopped in the 8 o'clock hour, your name will go in the hat for the electric scissors. If you shop in the 9 o'clock hour, you've got that one. I don't know what the 10 o'clock hour one is, we'll, have to have a, we'll see you in a minute, won't we? Right, now the embroidery threads that we use is this kit of, how many are in there, about 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, I'm not going to get them out, Bruce has got a little picture to show you. There you go, 5 threads for £6.45. pence. Now, if you were watching on the first day of the birthday, Delphine had this panel. Now, I need to tell you, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these sold, right? Um, so then you've got the cow. There's the panel there. And then if you watch, go back to YouTube and watch. It was the 28th of February. 28th of February, Delphine did it. What you do is you use all the squares and the leaves and everything to cut out to make the picture as embellished or not embellished as you want it to be. That also is 14 99 Right, um, now I'm being hard counted. How long have I got? Oh, I can go, I can go. Right, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's coming up in the next hour. I can't remember. It's a what? Oh, Easter kids, we will see you back here. There'll be no Delphine, just me on my own. I'll be back here in four minutes from now.
You're a bit early. I'm still plugging my lamp in. Hang on a second. I just want to show you because I've got... Oh, it won't reach. It won't reach that far, Elliot. I've still got some available, right? Here you go. We're just learning where all the new plugs are and everything. Hang on. There we go. Look, 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 look. Can you see it? I've got how many? Five of the black left and ten of the whites. Four-way split pay. Four-way split pay, look. No, hang on, that way. Like that. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay, there you go. There's the white one. Right, see how. Moving on then. <coughs> There's so many messages. Is it anything... I don't know. Yeah, Christine, there's a, there's a giveaway in every hour. There's a giveaway in every hour, look. Yep. So, in the 8 o'clock, if you shopped in the 8 o'clock hour, which you've now missed, you, your names will be in the hat for a pair of electric scissors. If you bought in the 9 o'clock hour, which you've now missed, you could, could win the woven. Uh, if you shop in this hour, somebody will win this. Now, I have no idea why... Oh, hang on. Is it... Has it been opened? Is that why this one's here? No, I don't think this has been opened, you know. No, look. Brand new. Brand new quilt. You could, so somebody, somebody who buys in this hour will win this. So all you have to do is buy anything, anything from this hour. So I've got panels, I've got belts, I've got of a fabric bundles, all sorts, one of you will win. Say that again. Oh, you see Delphine, don't, no, she can't win it. Because it's like family and friends and whatever, work colleagues can't enter. Cancel that order, Delphine. Right. Right. No, 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 oh yeah, now, so I suppose if you, now, what happens if you come in and buy Delphine's panel from the last hour, but in this hour? You're in this hour. Right, let's do some, Oh, golden tickets, completely forgot about golden tickets. Five of you, when you get your bundle, your parcel home, make sure, I don't know where it'll be hidden within your, within your um, parcel. But yeah, the warehouse got them, we haven't got them. They're gonna put one of those in different parcels, right? In it, on it, will be a um, code that is uh, exclusive to you, right? You need to email the address on the ticket saying, this is my code, I've won, this is my thing. And we'll send you a studio sample. Now, I don't know what it'll be. Could be a quilt, it could be a bag, it could be a soft toy. What else? I don't think they'll do the clothes. No, the clothes won't. They won't be clothes. Um, well, I'm looking through the shelves, you know. Anything that any of our designers have made. Right, okay. Right, so let's start this then. Um, fabric bundles. Okay, hang on. Which one do you want me to start with then? Okay, but it's not a bundle, do you say? Okay, so I'm starting with the bundles, but this one's not a bundle. So these are just by the half meter. I've got two panels. We love this. Now it is Easter fabric, April the 17th, I believe. So you've got a good, what month date is it? We've got, oh, you've got a month and a week, you've got five weeks. So this is a, oh, I love this. This is a panel. This is the one Elliot going to his new job. Do you remember this when we launched this, Elliot? This is Elliot arriving at his new, uh, uh, oh yeah, I've got a thing here, haven't I? Arriving at his new job. Hang on, I haven't got enough. Oops. There you go. Look, this is Elliot arriving at his new job. This is Elliot's new boss. <laughs> saying, welcome, welcome, Elliot, to our new... And there's Elliot with all his worldly goods. He's nicked from the street. I brought my own chocolate. <laughs> brought my own chocolate, he says. And then these are all his work colleagues. This is, this is the lady in the canteen. These are the people. This is his team, because he's arriving with a fully-fledged team, isn't he? Oh, he's gone off for a coffee. Nine, nine, why is that only 9 99 Why is that panel only 9 99 <laughs> Lovely, it's so cute. I love this gingham around the edge here. Got that, but uh, no, I haven't. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, okay, so that, that panel is available still. Oh, look, these are the people he's left behind. So there's Hannah saying, bye, Elliot. 
That's Elliot on his way with his little hat on. Then this will have to be Cat. Oh. Aww. That's Ian from Buying. Oh, no, because Ian from Buying fancies Hannah. So he would, that would have to be Hannah and Ian from Buying there. And that would be somebody else. Anyway, moving on. That's one panel. The other panel is this one here. Look at this. I'll hold it up, first of all, Bruce, if that's all right. Oh, there you go. There it is. There's your panel. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely big squares. $9.99. Let me pop it down on the table for you. What are you going to make out of it? Cat's going to make Easter coasters, because they're a thing, aren't they? Which has everyone round for a, a Easter egg hunt in her, on her balcony. Uh, Ghislaine says, thank you very much. Uh, no, she doesn't say thank you very much. She says, morning, John, you're doing an amazing job. Good luck to Elliot. Oh, Elliot, you're getting so much love, aren't you? Gorgeous. There's a lot of into love, he says. <laughs> Not in a good way. 9.99. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Fabric by the half meter now. Right, hang on. Oh, so this is like a border print, this one. No, no, it's not a border print, it's just a stripe. Now, what you've got to remember is the stripes go like this. So they, they go down the fabric. So if you're thinking of making a skirt, you're going to have to think about cutting it that way, that's all. But look, how cute are these? There again is that lovely gingham, which is sold out. Bias gingham. Oh, actually, let me turn it that way up. There you go, so you get a good idea of the picture. Oh, I've gone a bit sniffy suddenly. Hmm. 749, must be Elliot. 749. It's all right, it'll be gone by tomorrow. Oh, isn't it weird? weird? What, what? Am I going to miss you? I'm going to miss you like. I can't think of the words. Yeah. He's shaking his head like that. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back. Cut off the bolt for you by the half metre, £7.49, 100% cotton, quilting weight. Mm. Oh, lots of people bought a metre of that today. Would you make a tablecloth? No, I wouldn't. Look at this, though. I would make a lovely 1950s frock out of this one. £7.49, half metre, 100% cotton. Now, it's quilting weight, dressmaking weight, fabric. Oh, I thought Elliot was coming around to hit me then. <laughs> Pinafore, oh, there you go. Pinafore or dress for a child going to an Easter party. Why a child, Fran? It could be a grown-up as well. This reminds me of my maths teacher, Mrs Gilmore. She used to wear 1950s frocks in fabric like this all the time. Was it, it wasn't in the 1950s, obviously. No, of course not. At £7.49 for half a metre. Gorgeous, beautiful. Got a lot to get through this hour. Cat's making me go faster. Little chicks now. Here you go. £10.49. Cute little Easter eggs. Little Easter chicks on that one. <clears throat> All of these would be good for little Easter projects or indeed uh, children's dresses. Fabulous. Next one is like a lilac key with the icons on. Beautiful. 7.49 for half a metre. 7.49. And then finally from this collection. Look. Oh, it's the Ian and Hannah fabric. <coughs> yeah, she's, look how she's leaning away. Your breath smells, Ian. Oh, He did what? Beautiful. Yeah, he was an hour later than Paul, though. Right, that was that bundle of fabric done. Little pack... Oh, cat. We need to... We've only got seven of these left for Living in Loveness. Two ninety-nine little flowers. 
Uh, morning, John and team. Keep up the good work and good locality and new job from Rosemary in Buckinghamshire. Rosemary, thank you, my love. Send you a big kiss. Elliot says thank you. We kind of went, thank you. Like that. He's getting all emotional. You'll be a wreck tomorrow. What day did you start your new job? On Monday. I will all come and visit. I'm not working Monday. I'll come and visit. Yeah. He, he keeps telling me he's got a Costa Coffee inside the office. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yo. Seven left. Seven left. Seven left. She's going to ask something now elsewhere. Where would she say? I can't hear you because they're chatting. Right? Right, yo. This is a bundle. So you get half a metre of the chicks, half a metre of the sunrise, half a metre of the chicks on green. I haven't seen this one. Oh, the bundle sold out. Sorry. We can do them by the half metre, though. Bundle sold out. I'm going to start with this one because this is gorgeous. Cockerels in the sunrise. I thought it was a muffin. It's, a, it's an egg for collecting It's a basket for collecting eggs. I thought that was a muffin then. Oh, shh, shh. I can hear. I can hear you. Yeah, don't know who it was. At 7.49, half a metre. Beautiful. Break of day, it's called. I've never seen this before. Moda, it's brand new. Brand new. It's lovely. What's the quote? That's the quote, because they always have a quote on Moda, don't they? Design, oh no, that's not it. No, no, it says design that takes you home. But there's normally a quote on mode. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 7.49 for half a metre. That's your chickens. Then we've got little baby chicks on green. There you go. Oh, that's nice, because it's very fresh, that one. Little girls' dresses. Oh, cat's going off for a lunch break. 7.49 for half a metre. Remember, anyone you buy, you only have to buy half a metre of this and you'll be in the competition, <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> to win the ancient Gallade. A whole quilt kit. For, uh, how much is it worth, that quilt kit? Have a look. Anyway, moving on. Then we've got Sunrise on cream. It's lovely, isn't it? It's what, Kat? I keep losing you. At 7.49, for half a metre. That quilt kit's 139.99, the prize for this hour. We'll be announcing them all tomorrow. It'll be me and Catherine Wright here tomorrow. Seven forty-nine. You're not in tomorrow. I am, but I'm the other channel. <coughs> oh, you're swapping, swapping channels. Oh, very nice. To keep you on your toes, isn't it? Right, yo. Then I've got chicks on lemon. You'd be on. We'd be in that studio there, next door there. Oh, Bruce is jealous. He wants to leave as well. Not leave, leave. He wants to go to the other side. They're nice on the other side, apparently. Here we go. 7.49. Mode a day of... Day of break. No. Break of day in yellow chicks. £7.49 for half a metre. <gasps> Wait till you see the next one. Oh, my word. This screams Art Nouveau to me. Or maybe Art Deco. Moving on to the Art Deco, maybe. Have a look. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Look at the green. The green is so fresh. This is um, just called green chicken. <laughs> the chickens are actually white. Now, there's a name for those chickens that are all white, aren't there? Oh, not many eggs in the basket yet, then. Well, there won't be, because are they not, aren't they all boys? Oh, I'm not very good at ch chicken genealogy. Stuart would know. It's a big parcel arrived for Stuart today as well. It's not an egg. Oh, is that what it is? Right, here we go. Then we've got green. He'll be sitting at home waiting for it. What do you bet? Oh, this is nice. What are these plants here? Pe right now, hang on. It says pea fowl. Do you think that's what it means? 
Pea fowls would be chickens, wouldn't they? There's no chickens, are there? Yeah, pea fowls are birds. I don't know why they've called that pea fowl. Is it the right code? 164. Yeah, it is. Oh, thanks, Ken. Got then the, a different colourway coming up next. Here we go. It's the pink. This is pretty, this one. Look, lovely and soft. This is delicate. This can make a lovely blouse, this one. Message card. I am scared of chickens in real life, but I'm loving this fabric, especially the cream one. They're beautiful, aren't they, Kate? Then I've got one more sunrise to go. Remember the, the um, mega bundle sold out? Just got them by the half meter now. There you go. Here's your sunrise. Sunrise. Sunset. Sunrise. What film's that from? Sunrise, sunset. Uh, Seven pound forty-nine for half a metre. This one's called mustard. Mustard. Okay. Right now we're doing cushions. I haven't got a yellow one. Oh, this is yellow. This is yellow. So please go away, I'm reading, it says on here. When was this done? I can't hear you, Kat, hang on, go on. 21st of February. I just got the instructions already on the, on the panel. So, so for 14.99, oh, it's Sun Fiddle on the Roof, is it? Thank you. Oh, who sent that, sorry. Janine and Lynn. Oh, and Claire. And Sue. Lovely show. Nice having a new studio. Oh, um, Susan. She said the lighting's ageing you. I know. And we're sorting it. We're, it's very, very bright. We've just got to get through the next few days, then we'll be fine. Blind for ageing me. Wait till when your Lando's on. They'll think they've brought, you know. What was that film with Ursula Andress? She. Anyway, look. So the instructions are there. Then you've got the handle, you've got the cushion front, the pocket front, the pocket lining. That's too good for pocket lining, isn't it? And beautiful. I mean, you, I'd swap that for a piece of fabric in your stash, to be honest. I might not have please go away on mine either. It's not yellow, it's called mustard. Completely exclusive to us, but it is called mustard, this one. Don't know why I put yellow. And why reading has got a capital R because it looks like Reading. So it looks like the yellow cushion from Reading. Yeah, go away, I'm in Reading. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, anybody who lives in Reading. I don't know if, actually, I don't know if I've actually ever been to Reading. Oh, if Kat wasn't a Wilcox, she'd be a Reading. Yes. Which colour next? Blue next. Oh, they've got different writing on them. This is much better. Shh, I'm reading. Much better. That's bag of chips, isn't it, that? I don't know how bag of chips made it to the final. I really don't, but there you go. The what? I know. The winner. Oh, well, I can't say, I can't say, I can't say, I can't say, because people might have watched it. Well, I can say who I thought should have won it. No, um, the boy from Thailand. Yeah, he should have won it. Right, this one is called Blue Reading. Instructions at the top, then you've got your uh, cut cushion front, your handle. I live in Reading, says Lynn. Lynn, which one are you going to get? The mustard, the blue, or the purple? Purple. Ah. Yes, she lives in Reading, Lynn does. Oh! It's my iPad, my iPad. Stuart came on the other day, the day we were doing share, you know, the shared shift, and he went, how come you get this posh iPad and I get this cheap old manky one? And I said, because I bring my own in from home. Here's the purple one. What does this one say? Just one more chapter, love that. 
Oh, well, mine's, the thing is, mine's got very, very short chapters. So mine book, you can pick it up, read a few pages and put it away till the next time. Sally, hi John, I'm making the yellow one at the moment and I'm using the panel with the words on as the backing piece because I agree with you. Oh, there you go. It's a lovely colour, beautiful colour. You put it at the back and then you won't see it. Make your pocket out of this one. Oh, Tracy, Tracy, we can't show your message because for some reason, when it comes up on here, <coughs> it's got your full address. But she said she lives near Reading and it's a lovely place. I'm sure it is. I've never been. I've never been. I don't, I don't even know. It's in Berkshire, isn't it, Reading? What'd you say? Berkshire. Yeah, Berkshire. You don't say Burke. It's Berkshire. 14, 19. Right, Joe, where are we going next, then? I've got some panels. JXUU14, NSUU36, JXUU14. Flower of the month, Easter, daffodils. I bought some lovely daffodils yesterday. What, what? When's what? You've missed St. David's Day. It was last week. And it's, I tell you what it sounds like. It sounds like you're in a different room. And then if anyone else speaks, like if Bruce has to speak to Catherine thing, I can't hear you at all. Yeah, you're shouting. You're overexcitable. I'll let you, I'll let you be. I'll let you. How many coffees have you had? How many cartons have you got in the fridge? Oh, you know, there's a fridge as well. Okay. So this panel, you get the daffodils, 12 by 12 here. And then you get your two and a half inch strips that are 43 inches long. Like, now, Cara, yesterday, Cara was doing the same as this, but with a cat, wasn't she? And it was a pretty short hair, which is like my cat. It's lovely, everyone here smiles and waves, everything's very nice. I don't know who they are, but they all smile and wave. Well, we didn't have anybody in the old studio, did we? Anyway, moving on. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing away. Remember, everyone who buys in this in this hour and this month, I was going to say, in this hour, your money, your, your name will go in the in the kit. In, I'll start again. Everybody who buys this hour, your name goes in the tombola, and one of you will win Ancient Glade, a K facet quilt kit worth one hundred and thirty nine ninety nine. I know, and it's brand new. It's brand new. Right, I've got a panel of ducks and things for Easter. Why not? Oh, okay. I don't know. Don't buy this. I'm not even going to show it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Oh, no. Right. Okay. And you can. It's fine. It's fine. But uh, if you've bought this, right? If you've bought this, have it. Well, no. Because if, if you want instructions for a table runner for free, you can do it. It's 19.99. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous um, panel. Look, it's two and a half inch square, uh, two and a half inch strips. You've got stripes, spots, flowers, um, rainbow spots, gingham, Easter eggs, chicks, rabbits, all sorts on there. 19.99. So that is that NSUU36. That's the panel on its own. However, if you buy this, you get the panel and you get the free instructions. 19.99 oh no a bag of chips look good look, look good in the final and he was he what as yeah in the final and he was good in um the quiz game thing uh anyway look you get free you get free instructions on this one who's that from elaine 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 tell me about it can I can sound like that? Is that better? There's a very loud humming noise in here. Yes, yeah, very loud humming noise in here. 1999. Beautiful. Do you get these for free? So if you've already bought that panel, you won't get it. If you use this code U06653, then you'll get the pattern the patterns for free. 
And Janice, oh, actually, Janice was in recently. It was the day I was on, um, it'll have been something like the 25th or the 26th of February. 26th of February, I was on Jewelry Maker and I'd left my shoes and I had to run in to the old studio to pick up my shoes. If I do that now, I won't have to worry about that, will I? Right, where am I going next then? Right, I've, is it these? Ow, ow, ow. Back in for what, Cap? Oh, for the table right now. Oh, it's too good for the back in the table. But look at the price. Look at the price at Lilac. Bruce is just coming to you now. Elliot's putting him off. He's trying to make, you know. Just like the old days, Elliot putting everyone off. 3 99 it's Poplin. This is Poplin, right? This is Poplin, so it's a slightly lighter weight than your um, quilting cotton. Beautiful. Right, okay, that's that one. Now I've got it in green, or lime, or chartreuse, is it called? There you go. That one's your lime. Laura's what? She loves the new one. The what? Oh, the music. Yeah, we don't want music. Thank you. This is lovely. Three ninety-nine. No, no, we don't want music. Yet. Finally, the yellow. What's the matter, cat? Three ninety-nine. Yeah. Cotton poplin, cut off the bolt, especially if you buy the half meter, it's three, nine, ten. Elliot, I just need you to know you're the loudest thing in my ear at the moment. Yeah, so sit away from the microphone, my love. He's pretending he's a producer. There you go. Yes. It's fine. Um, I'm going, no, I've got one more thing on this table before I move over. This was on with Helen Newton the other day. Oh, have we? Hang on, I'll find the other one when this is out, when Bruce is looking at this from upstairs. So what you get, you get a huge piece of white fabric. Two, no, Elliot, you've gone loud again. Two metres of the blue, half, no, two metres of the white, half metre of the blue, and then a panel, look, which you use, it's huge, look, to make that. Now, uh, that picture, yeah, that picture was the one that... Um, Helen Newton made. You're making yours with a blue border. Blue border, right? I've got, oh, it's there. I've got it with a pink border as well, if you want it, but this one here is the blue border. So it was the, what date was this one then? 22nd of February, 24th of February, 24th of February. That's that one, okay. Mm -hmm. Or you do it with the pink border. Same day, just a different colour. The panel's exactly the same, so you don't need to open that. You get two metres of the white. You get the instructions with all the templates in it, look. Hang on. All your templates that you need in there. Plus your panel, which I'm not going to open because it's the same as the last one, but then have a pink border. That's that one. Then I'm moving over to set two now now there's no overhead so i might come back if i need to do an overhead shot right what am i doing over here oh dear what's happened look cat it's got that's about 10 of me Ooh. maybe it's just my um i'll check them for oh no it's fine here but on the, on that monitor Right, it's gone all blurred it's like 10 of me in a row i'm like a tiller girls you know like this so i'm dancing like that what am I doing first? Look, Elliot. Yeah. Elliot can't, can't, Elliot's eyesight's so bad he can't see anything wrong with it. Food. That's fine. It's not fun. Oh, no, hang on. Elliot, count, count, there's a big boss. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I'm curtsying to my big boss. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Colin, everybody. Colin's our big, 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 big boss. We shake hands. We can have a hug if you want, Colin. Yeah, you know, just... <laughs> we see now that I said about tall people, didn't I? There you go. How's Hello. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. They've got a few little glitches. I know. Sorry about the glitches. We'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, we will. It's fine. What are these? They're for your bag. When you make a Lisa Lamb bag, that's they your strap. Smashing. And they're double-sided, so you can have the stripes. That's or you can brilliant. Have, I thought it? they were braces. Yeah, we could make you some. <laughs> right, great show today. Thank you very much indeed. It's lovely and busy. Thank you very much. So you'll see more of him. Now we're in the building. Now we're all in the building together. Uh, all in the big family. Great. What? Great. Oh, thank you. He'll say anything. Right, come on then. Come on then. What are we doing first? Chaps. Oh, straps, straps, straps. We need to get this one sort of. Right, here we go. So this is gorgeous. Or oh, oh, we could call them Colin's braces. Lisa Lamb's watching, actually. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't show those two together. Oh, they are. Both of them. What? For $24.99. Oh, I can't show them because they're, yeah. Sorry, thanks. Cat was waving at me. I couldn't quite figure out why. Uh, good morning, Colin. Oh, Christine fancies Colin. Right, okay. Look, 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 look. So that's your, that's your zebra side on both of those. But this one here, one Colin just picked up. You've got your Aztec -y or Enderbelly village on that side. And then got your, what's the matter? Which one? No, no. The wrong colours for that cat. Anyway, so that one's double sided. That one's the same on both sides. Look at this. Uh, the thing is, though, look at these, right? Look at the fixings. This is what's lovely about Lisa Lamb, the thing that Lisa Lamb uses. They are incredible quality. Look, absolutely beautiful. Now, they're not yet, they're yellow gold coloured. They're not rose gold coloured, just so you know. Oh, there's Lisa Lamb. She says, hello, I'd like to see the straps on Colin's braces. Well, Lisa Lamb, if you can make them. Lisa didn't make them, but she sourced them for us for her safari sling bags. No, sling bag. I'll be doing it in a minute. I've got, I've got a kit and I've got the pattern on its own. Uh, and one is enough, says Michelle. Oh, Michelle, what? One is enough. Well, Vix is watching. Um, I don't know, is she watching in the building, do you think? I'm looking to see. She, I thought she'd appear up there, like like Evita. Oh, yes, yeah, she could come in a big white ball gown, a tiara, and sing Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. I think you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Can you see it? Are you able to see it? Look, can you see up there? There's nobody there at the moment, but there's a glass corridor that goes to the offices. And what Cat thought was the canteen. <laughs> but it's just a table with a kettle, that one. Right, OK, so there are your straps. Let's do the whole kit next. Now, what day did she do this? Oh, I know. This was the zip gate day. This was zip gate. 27th of February. Oh, no, of course you haven't. <sighs> no, no, I'll come over. I'll come over. I'll come over. Bruce, sorry, I'm coming over. Oh, Bruce is gone, is he? Right, OK. So, look. So, you get the instructions. Instructions, very thorough. You get this beautiful teal canvas. You get this pink. Now, is that just our regular cotton? Feels fantastic, right? Then you get this uh, magnetic clasp. Oh, hang on, it's in shot. Can't see. Yeah, there you go. Then you get the two straps. Then you get the zip, but you get two zip ends. One with a heart on it and one with a circle on it uh, they are gold they're gold colored they're not real gold and the zip's gold as well there the zip is actually nylon you're so over it don't iron it i don't know what is it with cat today does she think she's producing somebody who's never presented before <laughs> go on the two straps on their own, $24.99, whole kit, $49.99. And have we got a picture of the finished thing? What, Lisa Lamb wearing it? Here we go, let's have a look at this then. Oh, it's, it's different fabric. Oh, hang on, I can't see that. Okay, I can't, that's why we need to have them on this screen, because I can't see that. 
Um, so it's the blue bag with the zebra strap. She's got some manky old jumper on, isn't she? Was that before she got ready for the show, do you think? Six left, six left, six left. Can do, I can do that while I'm here. Six, could do the instructions on their own. She'll be at home. Oh, hang on, she might have sent me a message in actually about the jumper. <laughs> Oops. Stay with me. Right. Ready? Instructions on their own, nine, nine. No, 9.99. There's pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of instructions. Gorgeous, 9.99. Oh, now I don't think Colin will like that very much, Sue. She says it's like when young Mr. Grace. <laughs> So if you, have you never watched Are You Being Served? Oh, cat. The pic was taken as soon as the bag was hot off the sewing machine, says Lisa. Oh, lucky she wasn't in her pyjamas then. So nice of the boss to come in and we agree you are being a true professional. Oh, thank you. I'm only doing my job. I'm just standing here shouting. Uh, Dawn says, loving Sipgate. We love Lisa Lamb. Suzanne's got a day off. Happy to tune in live for a change. Dawn says, strange set. Why is it strange, Dawn? She's got these, they're fabulous, she said. Anyway, right. Come, oh, no, I'll say where I am, I'll say where I am, I'll say where I am. Stained glass window panel next. Oops. You get the instructions, and then you get the stained glass window. Oh, yes! The what things? I've got nothing. There we go. 1999. There's three different things I think can. That will make that. Oh, it's Namba Makes. It's Namba Makes. Oh, now I've got an exclusive announcement. Ready? On Sunday afternoon, Amber Makes will be appearing on Hobby Maker. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that. Oh, Kat's got an exclusive announcement. Oh, the fix, fix has just texted. Oh, she's in Starbucks. Soy vanilla latte, please. Only small one. Small, small one. God love her. Well, how is she watching in Starbucks then? Other oh, coffee shops are available. Kat says no, thank you. Elliot's not in here again. He'll come running now. It's like when I shake the um, dreamies, I two cats, you can hear them jump off the beds upstairs and come running down. Oh, how's your kitten, by the way? Was she all right? Oh, cat, cat on the floor who you haven't met yet. She got a new kitten and she was here yesterday unpacking and she went, oh, I need to go because it's the first day my kitten's been on her own. And she was, is it she or he? She. She, and she was all right. Yeah. She was fine. She was fine. Oh, oh, now Kate's here. What does Kate want? Oh, she's come, she got an office, she got a desk here now then? No, no. Okay, right here, moving on. That's Kate from Marketing. You know, you see all the messages come up on the Facebook fan page going, yeah, message Kate, message Kate, that's her. She's in, she's in the bit. She got, actually, she's there, she can come in, Kate. Kate can come in, Kate can come in. Come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. <coughs> Our mum's watching. Her mum be watching. What's your mum called? Pip. Is your mum called? Yeah. Oh, you've come very casual today. Now, she normally wears a Tafta ball gown. Come on in. Oh, I don't have to walk away anymore. This is Kate, everybody, from marketing. <laughs> so when you see the messages on Facebook going, uh, this is where we are now. This is what we're doing. This is the competition. This is what, this is Kate. So you can put a face to a name, <laughs> name to a face. How are you? Thanks, John. That's this right. is a bit of a surprise. Go on. <laughs> She's lovely. She loves it. Yeah, when do you move over to your desk? Oh. The thing is that the, the desks that we've got haven't got plugs on them yet, you see, so we can't have sit down yet, so. Um, yeah, right, moving, right, moving on. What am I doing? What does that look like? Oh, yes, Amber makes block of the month. Here you go. Oh, now, this is new, right? This is new. This has only just started, right? Oh, morning, Kate. Nice to see you from Coffee Tracy. Oh, Elliot, you just missed a Starbucks order. Oh, did you got it? 
Anyway, one for what? Lovely to put a face to a name and a smiley face. There you go. Nice messages. There are. Are you texting your mum? Is she watching? What's your mum called? Pip. Pip. I, I thought it was Pip. Pip. She watches all the time. And if I need to get any messages to Kate, I'm, I say, Pip, Pip, tell your mum, tell, you, tell your daughter this. Anyway, this is brand new, right? This is brand new. Oh, don't take pictures of me when I'm going. Actually, do take pictures while we're going, because everyone's saying how this light's making me look really old. So make it, yeah, lovely, lovely. Do you know my, the Spice Girls pictures? Remember the Jerry Halliwell pictures? She did those. She did those. Uh, hi, John. I feel my Sow Street family has suddenly trebled, and it's great. From Sue, now we're here. Now we're all here. We can do this. You'll never see Paul, who is, I don't know what his title is anymore, head of merchandising. You'll never, ever see him, because he can't be, he can't, he, he walk this far, and from walking from that side of the table to this side, he'll have sworn. You see, so we, he can't come on. Barry, the bald, beautiful book buyer who blushes every time I speak to him, right? He'll come on. He'll come on. I rub his head like, cause, well, I used to. Because when, when you come out, when we used to come out the old studio, his desk was there, you see. So I'd walk past and rub top of his head. Can't do that anymore. Don't know where he's going to be sitting. Hayley, when she's back from a holiday, she'll see Hayley Bryant. Uh, and, and the lovely girls in scheduling, you'll see. They won't come on. They won't come on. Um, and, Oh, and Munch, my lovely Munch. My, is Munch in today? He is. He's not off till Saturday. Anyway, shush, shush. This is brand new. This is brand, brand new. It's a block of the month Amber Makes are doing. Each month is something to do with sewing, right? Now, let me explain it, because you get the instructions, and then this is the block you get. Now, what you can do is the instructions tell you how to make this block. He's, yeah, there you go, there you go. Right, so that block. So you can make that block, you see. You can make that block. So the instructions are here, the wood, the machine, everything like that, it's all here, the spool fabric. But also on the panel, you also get the finished thing here as well. So what you can do is you can make the block and uh, save them up. You can either make that with it, a wall hanger with it. You can make a sewing machine cover with it, which is what these instructions are for. Right? The sewing machine cover. Or you can use this one for the sewing machine cover and save that one there for the quilt at the end of the year when there'll be 12 different sewing themed things. And on every single pattern, there's an added bonus. And on this one, it's a little purse. You'll need a, a zip and some lining, but apart from that. To, now, how is this fourteen ninety nine when these are nine ninety nine? Oh no, how? How is that possible? Any instructions set? God, Kat's really on one today, isn't she? Where have you been, Kat? What have you been doing? I think Kat what Kat needs to do is come out and present for a day and then realise. What it, and I'll be the producer in her ear the whole time. Well, those of you who watch The Apprentice, right? This is what's what it's like. So I've got Bruce, who's very calm. Bruce is very, very calm and what's the word? Serene, right? Cats like this. <laughs> Constantly. He might not be. He might just be in shock at the moment. He might not be serene. Bruce will get used to it. Right, okay, so I've done that one. Let me just put that to there. So, right. so now I'm going, where's Munch? Oh, he's here. Is Munch? Oh, he's not dressed as the boss. Right, now Munch is. Now, look at him with his long hair. He's lost six stone. How are you, Munch? I'm well, how are you? Oh. Now, let me just explain why I called him Munch, right? When he came to work at Rocks & Co, he was much heavier. And, and for how have you grown then? But he was really little, right? And he was very excitable. Like this, I said he was like a little munchkin, and we called him Munch. That just stuck, right? Then he's grown. He's now, what are you now? What's your job title? Uh, Planning and content manager for Hobby Maker. So he set up the whole Hobby Maker, basically, right? But, uh, and so he's, he's in charge of all the producers and everything like that and everything. So he's quite important. So I come in and go, where's Munch? Where's Munch? And they're like, who's Munch? Who's Munch? Liam. We have to call him Liam now because he's yeah. a boss. Anyway, so he's lost six stone. And um, it's all going really well, isn't it? It is. Really I, uh, I um, tagged you in my, because I made a little quilt and I used my Gemini die cutter to cut the fabric with. Oh. And I said I got it. From, well, I didn't get it from Hobby Craft. Hobby maker, hobby maker. <gasps> Sorry, I'm rubbish this, aren't I? Hobby maker. Anyway, go, he's going now, he's going now, I've said that. That's Munch, everybody. That's Munch. He, he, he was, used to do, he had the title, what were you called at Jewelry Maker? Senior producer, but they all called him um, Lord of the Gems or something like that. 
Bad boy of JM, that's what he was called then. Now, hang on, hang on. Oh, you're all right, you're all right. You've still got 15 minutes to go into this competition. Lovely seeing everybody, such exciting times. There was me thinking you wafted round in silk and caftans. Oh, she's talking about Lisa Lamb, not me. Uh, Claire says hello to Kate. Kate's lovely, said Lisa, very friendly to work with. Derek says, Katrina has a kitten. We want photos. What's she called? Uh, what's your cat called? Skittles. Skittles, Derek. Skittles. She'll put a face, she'll put a picture on the Facebook page later. Oh, and Bruce, the calm, serene one, came up with the nickname of Bad Boy of JM for Munch. If he thinks, if he thinks Munch is a bad boy, then that's, that's worrying, isn't it? Where am I going now? Lamb instruct. I'm going to come back. I'm going to stay there, stay there, stay there. Going to come back on my own. Right, there you go. Luna Lamb instructs. Now, this was one that Delphine designed for Stuart's birthday because he's got lambs. Well, I'm going to be in the right place. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nine, nine, nine. I love munch, says Davinia. Aww. Uh, love meeting the whole family. I like Soak Street in the new studio from Claire. Claire, when we get rid of all these gremlins, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, munch looks great. What's his weight loss secret? Now, he walks every single... Now, now you, let's put things in perspective. Cat, my producer, has got a brother called Jeremy Joe, right? Jeremy Joe and Munch were flatmates or housemates for how many years now? couple of years now but you see munch has bought his own house but it's fallen through and they and jeremy's moved in with his girlfriend so munch is now having to live with his mum and dad till his house is sorted and jeremy is obviously living with his girlfriend in bourneville now i can't remember where that was going but anyway yeah oh that's right he walks every single day and i'm i, I don't know how he restricts his diet i'll ask him but i've seen it we go out for curries and he's still drink he's drink, still drinking Oh, he used to eat pasta every day, apparently. Anyway, Luna the Lamb, 9.99. What, uh, what will be next? I've got Liberty Rainbow Play. I'm just going to get bring them and bring them over to that table. We're learning a lot from today. Until we get the next camera, I think everything's going to be based on this table, isn't it? So there we go, Luna Lamb, 9.99. Beautiful. Now, this, this is so popular, I can't tell you. Right, I haven't got the rainbow anymore. This is the rainbow. Whenever we do this cushion, right, it sells out. And Sally Ann can do it week after week after week. And every time she does it, it completely sells out. And guess what? So let's start with the blue version first. So that goes there. That goes there. So what you get is you get your calico, a meter of your calico. You get the full instructions, look, full instructions of how to do it. Now, what date was the best one for them to go to, to look at the um, demonstration? But, but then, did she make the blue one? Oh, okay, 25th of February, did you say? 25th of February, so now this one here, that's your backing there, beautiful in blue, this one's called. And then they're all your blue, these are, these are spare, these are all your blue pleats on there. It'd be lovely on denim, wouldn't it? be gorgeous done on denim. Or a blue linen, maybe. But then I like the calico, you see. I like the calico as the background. Very interesting technique. You do need to buy some, uh, is it Bozal she puts in it? No, it isn't. No, it's one you have to draw on. Oh, okay. At 19.99, she normally uses, um, he, oh, you can't see it because it's got, she normally used, used Thermaland last time because she says you need a one that you can draw on because you need to draw all the squares on, that's all. Beautiful in blue, 19.99. So for now, hang on a go, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you get all of that for 19.99. So you get a meter of calico, plus right. Okay, so this is 9.99. Meter of calico, what six pounds? <coughs> Five pounds, say. That's 14 pounds. So you get the whole that panel for a fiver. Dorothy says, "Is the machine covering now?" Right, Dorothy. The pattern is you make it to your size 
of machine. So in the instructions, you have the block and then it tells you how much fabric you need to eat, add to the sides to make it to fit your machine. So you will need to, I think she said you need to buy some other fabric as well. And she used the, um, some of our fat quarter bundles to make the piping and things, the binding and things like that. But you make it, the, it's not a particular size. You measure your machine and then you make your, your panels the size of your machine. Ooh, lucky you if you've got a new Juki. Right, okay, let me just give that to Kat. Oh, hang on, loads of messages for Munch. Let's have a look. Hello, Munch. Sue says, Foir. Nice to see Munch. Well done for the weight loss, says Laurie. Wish I was young again. He can't. Do you know what, Laurie? He likes the older woman. All his girlfriends. It's so funny because he's la when we knew him before, all of his girlfriends used to be like much older, like, my, like kind of my age, right? And then he put a picture on Facebook of like going, this is my new girlfriend. And we all presumed it was the, because it was like a, a mother of the bride and a bridesmaid. And we all presumed it meant the the lady, the older lady, and it, was, it wasn't, it was the young one. So we're all a bit shocked. Anyway, he's looking for a new girlfriend. He is looking for a girlfriend at the moment. Um, Cat, be careful though. Misty the kitten was a girl until she, oh yes. So June's got a kitten, right? And she's called uh, Misty, right? And then she took it, I think it was a girl, took it to the vet and it was a boy. So just be careful, it might be a little boy. Uh, uh, Julie says, it would be lovely to see a photo of the warehouse staff. Oh, blimey. I, I think the warehouse staff, they, you can't even get in the door. It's shut, it's locked, you can't get in there. That, that has to be locked for, um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> the gold center hasn't got gemstones in it. It's, um, what's that thing called about uh, GPDRF? No, uh, what's it called? Like secrecy, like secrecy addresses and phone numbers. It has to be locked, that one. You can't just go wandering in. Uh, Debbie says, hi, John, I've tuned in a bit late today. Do you like your new surroundings? I've got a better picture on Facebook that I've got to tell you. I have to say, my Facebook's really good, yeah? L um, very, oh, Rosemary. We're working on it, Rosemary. I'm not reading out any negative comments. Though. We're working on those. Uh, Michaela McKayla says, Morning, John. Loving the new studio. And Munch is cute. How old are you then, Michaela McKayla? Um, hey, well, I'll pass these messages on to him. Right, I've now got the pink cushion. Oh, look at the time. Go, go, go. Pink cushion this time. So you get your calico. You get your instructions. And then you've got your pink. There you go, so that's your fabric spare, that's your back of your cushion fabric. They are your uh, pleats and their spares. 90, and remember, you've got four minutes to check out in this hour if you want to be included in the draw for Ancient Glade. Oh, that's no, right, that's right, there you go. Bruce, that's our first day today, me and Bruce, so it's all, we're still learning. He's doing a brilliant job though, isn't he? Most people can't keep up with me. Most directors can't keep up with me at all. Anyway, so you will, uh, if you've got about four minutes to check out, if you check out the next one, your name will go in the hat. Way! Where do you think you were? Jewelry maker? Ancient Glade. That's worth £139. Brand new. But there'll be another pr um, prize in the next hour. So after the break, Delphine is here. And, and oh, it's a quilt. She's making a quilt. Uh, we've got a picture of it. No, we haven't got a picture of it. All right, then. We will see. Am I all right to go? Uh, we'll be with you, with Delphine, in four minutes from now.
competition. So first of all, I need to tell you about the golden ticket. So anybody who buys today, when your goods arrive, make sure you check inside the package, right? Because Warehouse have got these golden tickets. There you go. Five golden tickets. Warehouse have got them. Now, on those golden tickets, there is an email address and there is a code which is exclusive to you. What you need to do is you need to email in to the email address with your code and somebody, your, a prize will be sent to you. Now, the prize, don't know what they are at the moment. It'll be something that a designer's made. So you might get a Delphine wall hanging, you might get a soft toy, you might get a quilt, you might get, it could be anything, it could be anything, it could be lovely. Now, can I just tell you, last time we had golden tickets, we sent five out, but only three people claimed them. So have a good rummage in your bag, just in case, have a good look to make sure that you haven't lost the golden ticket or anything. And we don't know who they go into, because that has to be random, the warehouse just have to put them in like that. You see, so we don't know who's they've gone into. Anyway, that's that. But also, the other competition today is in every hour. So if you bought in the 8 o'clock hour, you're in with a chance of winning electric scissors. If you bought in the 9 o'clock hour, you're in with a chance of winning the woven quilt. If you bought in the last hour, there was the Cafe Ancient Glades. Now, if you buy in this hour, <clears throat> in the 11 o'clock hour, if you check out during the 11 o'clock hour, right, one of you will win this, right? <coughs> Excuse me. It's called <coughs> the Checkmate Quilt. It's called the Checkmate Quilt. There it is. Guess how much this is worth. Guess how much this is worth. £249. Now, I know I've got an overhead, so I'm going to have to show you this, but in the box, right, this one has been opened, right, you get your instructions, but look at all of this fabric. You get all of this Tula fabric, look. There's loads of it, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. I oh, just not my microphone, sorry. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Look, I'm still going. You get all of this fabric. Even if you don't make the quilt, you've got all that fabric. It normally says, normally says, hang on. No, uh, 13 and a half meters. 13 and a half meters of fabric you get in there. I oh, know, incredible, isn't it? Right, that's just the prize. That's not what we're making this ad. That's the prize. I'll just put that there. I'll tie that up in it. Delphine is here now. Now look at this. This is the quilt. Now I haven't got I haven't got a thing hung to hang it up yet. Look. Okay, look, there you go. I know it's not lit at the front of the desk. I'm sorry. There's the top. The blocks are huge, aren't they? Absolutely huge. Right, so this quilt kit is here. It's called Cottage Core. I'll put it there for you. It's called Cottage Core. 189.99 uh, split pay split pay six I have to look have a look 63.33 it's a great big square it's 217 by 217 that's the size of it it's gorgeous now I'm going to open this one show you what's inside this one there'll be hang on how much fabric's in this one hang on 11 over 11 meters of fabric in this one here we go here we go, it's, there it is. Brand spanking new today. Beautiful, let's just have a quick look at this. Oh, beautiful, fresh picnic. I'd call these picnic. I'd call these picnic fabrics, wouldn't you look? So you've got pink gingham, you've got kisses, you've got grey gingham, green gingham, floral, little sprigs on the green, flowers on the taupe. Oh, lovely, rich pinks. They're lovely, aren't they? Then you've got your flowers on your cream. You've got more gingham, more of that. Oh, there's loads of them carrying on. All that fabric, ele over 11 and a half metres of fabric. Beautiful, 189.99. Right, before we go any further, Fix is here. Here she comes. I've got to apologise, Delphi, because Kat said you didn't want a coffee. No, I'm good. I've got two, two hours now, so I'll, I won't be able to hold oh. it in. <laughs> you all right? 
We're good. Uh, yeah, it's like a rabbit in headlights this morning. What day will you be in? <laughs> uh, Sunday. she will be in on Sunday. You'll be on the graphics there. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> it's exciting. Oh, no. It? Right, now hang on. Where are you this afternoon then? Hobby maker. Right, and where are you on Saturday? No, nowhere. That's wedding, singing. Uh, no, jewellery maker. Oh, okay. We swapped. She asked me to swap. I thought she was going to a wedding. Then Sunday here. Fine. Go on. <laughs> get off with you. Hello, Vic, says Claire. Hi, Claire. The quilt is absolutely gorgeous, says Princess. What about products being sent directly from suppliers? Might there be? Oh, the good question. Okay, no, there's no golden ticket. Good question, Derek. I've just been told now. No golden ticket if you buy from a dropship. The only thing, but hang on, did you find out if they were going from, from those or from them? Okay, so you won't be in with a golden ticket on the native lighting or the big steam iron, or the big steam iron, because they're coming straight from the suppliers. Good question, Derek. Anyway, back to this, back to this. All of this, 189.99. I know it's fantastic, isn't it? All that fabric. Now, let's go and see, Delphine. Is it difficult or is it easy? No, it's not difficult at all. Easy peasy. Okay, and what do we need to start then? Uh, oh, you want me to go straight to it? Yeah, go straight to oh, it. All right, okay. So you're basically doing, it's almost, you, you, you just got to sew on one diagonal. That's I am it. listening, I'm just tidying up my desk while you're petals, doing that. To create little to create little petals in the centre of the quilt. So the instructions are really, really simple. So. Um, you've got all of your um, your, your cutting uh, instructions here as well and obviously the diagram so that it's really really simple to follow and so you've basically just got to make these it's not half square triangles because you've also got um, well, I suppose it is but it's just this one's a little bit longer because it's on a rectangle so we'll talk you through and how to do that then you've got all of your uh, your placement guides here so it's really really simple I tend to work mainly by um, I'm a visual learner, so I always need to have these, um, to have the, the the layout diagrams. I tend to follow those more so than the actual writing itself, and I've managed to do it just by using those. So, so really, you've got like double of the instructions with both the text and lots and lots of pictures. There's two colourways. Uh, you've got the pink and the green. So, but it's exactly the same for both. Okay. So really, really simple. My, um, uh, the, obviously you should have more battery in here because normally my battery lasts for the whole show and I'm now being told I've got no it, battery. It's probably exhausted, John. It's probably, it probably like you. all the yeah. messages. Yeah, exactly. I'll get the pl I'll plug it in in the, in the break. So, yeah, so the instructions are really, really easy. I mean, it says intermediate, but I'd say you could do it. If you've, if you've could done I a little do bit, it? so. Well, yes. Beginner. Because you've been doing, well, you did all, you sewed all those squares. Yeah, together, yeah, they were you? half square triangles as well. Yeah. So yeah, really simple. Oh look, he's criticising me now. I can get no, 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 I was just kidding, because they're not half square triangles, they're something else, well, aren't they? Well, sort of. They are a little... Are they flip and stitch, or are flip they...? Flip and stitch, yeah. yes, that's the word, yeah, flip and stitch. So really, really easy. So you, yeah, you could do this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so I'd say beginner, if you're a beginner, really, really good. And the colours are lovely. That's like a crushed strawberry mm. colour, isn't it? That pink is lovely. I couldn't think how to describe it earlier. So, all you get, you'll, uh, so do all your cutting. If I, I recommend when, before you do any cut any uh, into the, any of the fabric, get a load of best press or uh, starchy fabrics before you cut them. Right. It just makes it a little bit easier and it's they're a lot easier to work with. Uh -huh. So you're going to take one of the small triangles and onto the rectangle. Right, hang on, so that just, you need to just move over. Mm. Oh yeah, there, there I am. There oh, so go. I'm on this one now. Yeah. Okay. Well no, that's that, that one's <laughs> the one where you're looking where it's going to be. That's what oh, we call it's preview. Changing. Yeah, that's preview. That's <laughs> that one there is what the people at home are seeing. Right. I've no idea what that one Ignore is. Ignore that one. Ignore that okay. one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, I know, but people at home don't need to know that, Elliot. Elliot's telling us what it is, but it's no good to us. It's we all don't changed need to since I was last in. <laughs> anyway, mm? <laughs> it's changed since I was last in. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. I'm, now yeah. I'm with you. Right. So, as you can see, I've got a drawn line. So, from one point to another point. Yeah. So, all you'll just use is a pencil just to draw that on. And what, I need, what you need to do now is to make sure you sew directly on that line. But make sure you've got the correct orientation. So, if I just put these down here. I don't know if you can see, or I can put it over there. <laughs> yeah. There, there. Always going to take some getting used to. It is, it is. And uh, so just make sure that you've got one going one way and one going the other way. Does it tell you how many to do, of how many it's, you have to make? Yeah, exactly, exactly right down. But I, whenever you make a large quilt like this, just make enough to do the one block first, just so you get used to it before you go straight into cutting it all up. So okay. make sure you're happy, because what if you did it wrong after one block? Okay, so I'm just going to chain stitch. So you say it's on the line, because lots of time we don't sew on the line, we sew by the side of it. Yeah. This is on the line. This is it? on the line, yeah. 
It sounds like there's a bus. You know, like when you're in the bus station. And can you not hear it? It sounds, if the air conditioning bit suddenly made more noise than it normally makes. It sounds like a bus in here. You can't hear it at home, that's fine. <laughs> can you hear it? No. It's a, do you not hear that? No. Oh, OK. I'll buy you some cotton tips for your birthday. <laughs> Some it's so good to see you both in shop, John Scott and Delphine Brooks. Well, if I could squeeze in a bit more, we've got a great big blooming machine on here. Delphine, in the next hour, is, is demonstrating talking all about the 720 because it's the one she's got. Uh, I'll just do one more. I can always add a few more if I need to as I go along. Um, Mario, it's being sorted. Don't worry, it's first day. We all have first day gremlins. It'll be sorted. So I've just changed, chain pieced all those together. Okay. Now you see, you know the thing I made, I chain pieced them, yeah. but then always had to keep going back to it, like, where was that one again? Where was that one again? You know what I mean? I chain pieced them. Yeah. I then was like, oh, which way round does that one go? So do check when you chain piece. <laughs> and so you then, you trim the stuff with a quarter inch seam. Yes, Becky Alexander, we're standing next to each other. <laughs> and you will be too, next time you're in. What you doing now? I'm going to cut off that triangle. Right. Do you so, press it or anything first? No. Okay. No. So just trim it off with a quarter inch. Right. I tell you, How can you not hear that? I, can't, I don't know what you hear. It was what, what can you it's hear? Like, remember in your bus, if you're in a bus station and yeah. you wait for your bus and the bus pulls up and it's just revving, it's just sitting there. Oh, yeah. I can now you've said it. Like a rumbly noise. Yeah, but it's really loud, isn't it? It's not really loud. Maybe no. it's just my ear. Oh, no, I'll tell you what. It's supposed to be even louder in there, and I can hear it through Bruce's microphone. That's what's really what it is. Yeah. I'm trying to help. Right, so you've done those. So, yeah, I don't need those. Right, yeah, thank you. <laughs> is your iron on? It, I hope so. Oh, no. I think it is. Yes, yeah, I can okay, see so a light. OK, so I switched it off, because we had to plug... Did you unplug the light, then? Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah I've got sorry. it back on. So I'm just going to open those up. Can you see that? Are you pressing to one side or are you pressing? Uh, yeah, I'm just pressing towards the triangle, just right. pressing onto the one side. It doesn't really make an awful lot of difference on these okay. ones anyway. Yeah, you might be able to see it, but you want to, with it, you sort of want to go with what's natural for the fabric. If you force it, it's, it well, you're just going to stretch it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, morning, John Delphine. Are the instructions for the quilt available separately? No, Norma, I'm afraid not. It's just the kit. It's just in the kit, I'm afraid. Uh, two more. Oh, hang on a second. When are you going to do that, then? OK, and what's it going to? OK, do you want £20 off this quilt? Would you like £20 off this quilt? You can... It won't show yet, because hayley has got to do it from where she is. Paul Haley's on holiday, and every day this week she's been having to send emails and everything. Uh, it's going to 169 99 It's a nice little surprise. OK. So now I'm going to sew these together. So I've pressed these open. So all you're going to do now is put them on top of one another. Make sure you've got the correct orientation, because what you want to create is that little triangle here. Yeah. So put them on top of one another. And that's it. I'm not going to pin. Just line them up. Mm -hmm. And then just sew with a quarter inch seam. Did you pin when you did your little patchwork? I pinned all the seams, only because uh, there were so many there were so many to match. I just put a pin through the actual seam. I didn't. So when it was a long strip, I didn't pin that all the way along. I just pinned just at each at a junction. Yeah. So I'll do that on the other one. Dave says I need a new board. Oh. Oh, ironing board. Yes, we know, Dave. We know. Oh, it was Jackie's yes. birthday. Day before yesterday. Jackie's birthday. Happy birthday, Jackie. This is clean compared to the one yeah, I've Yeah, new own. studio. Time for a new pressing mat. I know. We're waiting for our delivery from June Taylor. I know. I blame Susie Duncan. Oh, Christine, she missed the... F uh, you'll have to watch. Keep watching, Christine. It's a huge quilt kit worth 200 and how much pounds they give away this hour? 249.99. Uh, it's um, tulip pink. Tulip pink. So then when you open them out... So that point should have, should meet perfectly on that little triangle point and there. Yeah, I'll let you get away oh, with that one. Oh, he's going to be looking at everything now. You can't get away with anything anymore. Debbie says, <laughs> John and Delphine stood next to each other. Wow, forgot what it was like. Is it weird? Does it feel strange? Do you know what, Debbie? It feels really strange. <laughs> it does feel, it does really feel strange. very strange. 
Uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. Great, says, uh, Kathy says, great to see you standing close together. I'm annoyed. I thought that I'd set the tape to, oh no. You can watch on YouTube, the tape hasn't taped. It's her fault, not us. Dawn, Delphine, oh, that, you've worn this a hundred times and every time you wear oh. it, someone asks where it's from. The, uh, scamp you can and, say, you can say. Scamp and dude. Scamp and dude. Scamp and dude. I love, I, I tend to only wear scamp and dude clothes. I just like and what's special look. about them? I think there's some... Well, first of Because there's a, a, a flash or something on it, isn't there? Yeah, and, and inside every lining around the collar, I don't know if you can see it, but it says a, 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 a superhero has my back. It says what? A superhero has my back. Oh, so and it's all based on what? Yeah, uh, I believe it's. Uh, it started off as a charity, so one of the ladies that won it, I, I think it was son or her, she had cancer. Right. And uh, and it was to raise money for that. But they do amazing stuff for charity, so they tend to... Oh, you see... You know, especially for children. Yeah. For yeah. a lot of... Especially for kids' charities. Nice, it's really isn't it? Good. So, there we are. I've made the petals. So that's the, that's the only <laughs> tricky bit. The rest oh, is, okay. is just squares. You're just piecing it all yeah. together. So you need to piece it together line by line. So what I'm going to do is we'll do a line at a time because okay. each line is different. So you okay. need, so it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Right. So we'll start at the top, and I know I need one of these. So where's your layout? Is that your layout there? So this is my layout right, here. Okay. So I know I need four A squares. Well, you're not, we have to do this from the front because you're not going to be in the shot up there if you do that. So let me just tidy up a little bit so where which camera am I you're there? just doing it from the front and then we have to okay, show it afterwards so show. you need to piece together like this and then this ignore the price on the screen it will be 169.99 we can't crash it though it will be going to 169.99 so you just piece it together line by line so even though it's quite a big block it's going to come together fairly quickly so that's different oh you just said that didn't you all the lines are different aren't they yeah so all the lines are going to be different. So this is the equivalent of that top line. Trust okay. me. Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sure? Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to sew all those together, mm -hmm. right sides together. So mm -hmm. again, I'm going to chain piece. Right. So. You see, now what I did, can I just tell you what I did? Yeah, I'm not trying on. to take you away from you at all, because you're the expert, not me. <laughs> what I did was put that back down. Is that on the beginning there? Yeah. I went like this. So that one goes to there. And then That one the goes to there. That one gets it, and then I went to the machine going that I knew I had to sew down. Because yeah. the first yeah. time I did it, I put that down, went to the machine, sewed the wrong and bit. Of course you did. <laughs> no, 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 I did though, I did. And I was like, oh. Because I've got, the, I've got my half square triangle upside down or something like that anyway. So, um, anyway. Right. You do it how it suits you at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Lucy, it's being sorted. And Kathy's going to watch on YouTube. Why what? So long Got loads of messages come through. They're complaining. Look at us. <laughs> Sweetly <Don't> bum on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's what's up? Oh, on Facebook. On Facebook. All right. No, I haven't got them. I've read all those. I, I've, if, no, unless you've not been listening, I've read them all out. Got one now from Bernadette. Welcome to new home job. Bruce, cat, cat. Great to see Pip's daughter in the office. Who's Pip's daughter? Oh, Pip, of course. I'm so very confused. I'm very confused. Bernadette. Uh, yeah, I've got an hour to go in the lobby. Liam is so good to see him in his new body. Bernadette, how do you know all this? Anyway, I am sure Bruce has, a, has an amazing bodybuilding muscular body. How do you know all these people, Bernadette? Do you used to work here? Lots of love from Bernadette. As Bruce, and Bruce, did you used to be a muscle, muscle boy? Oh, oh I'm sending that. Okay, what do you mean used to be? Used to be. Yeah, no, Lucy, it's, it's first day. We're, we're getting everything sorted. Such fun having you close together. I know. Oh, he's come, Bruce coming out. Bruce coming out, everybody. Now, he's a bit tight. He's been here since five o'clock this morning. And he was an early, he was on the early shift yesterday as well on Jewelry Maker. So he's, he's had a long couple of days. Here he comes. Here we go. Hello. Come in the middle, Bruce. This is Bruce, our director. Now, you'll hear a lot, because Bruce, you're with us regularly now, aren't I'm you? Being with you all, the time. all the time. So, it's you or Charlie will be directing, won't you? That's the, the tag team there, rather than Elliot. So, are you allowed to show this? Oh, he is quite muscular, ladies. 
<laughs> he just flexed as I put my hands across his uh, logo there. Anyway, it's lovely to be with this is So this is Bruce, director. And you'll hear a lot about him because we don't know anything about Bruce yet. So we'll be finding out and imparting all the information. Yeah. yeah. And he's up, he, he does bodybuilding. So you're slowly meeting, oh, you're meeting all the South Street family. Oh, hello, Bruce, says Claire. Yes, exactly. Right. Done it. A message from who? John, you've only coughed once or twice in the studio. Maybe the aircon suits you better. Terrific show. It's because uh, lovely to see the two of you together. Mo, it's because as well. Last night I ate really late last night because I got confused with my days and my times and everything. So, but again, I haven't coughed as much have I today. There's a lot of fabric. There's a lot of fabric lint around, Dave. That I think. And there's lots of general because we've got builders in and things. But thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Like, right, which way you put? Doing Each them? row, press a different way. Okay, but you've pressed that one open, have yeah, you? Yeah, but that one's not going to meet anything, so don't worry about it. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah. And it will lie flat over them. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. That one, that one's pressed. Mm -hmm. I think what we're going to need to do, not today, not today, is have the machine further near at the end of the table, mm. so that because we're missing a few of these things because we're too far across on this one. There we go. So I'll just put that. Off. Right. So let's do another line now then. Okay. So I said each one's going to be different. So I know I need one of those. I'm seeing lots of familiar faces here. Used to see them on Jewelry Maker. Now at Science Street. Oh, is that right? Is that right? You have to meet Cat in a minute as well. Cat, Cat the other cat. We tell you, she's on cameras at the moment. When she comes off onto floor, I'll bring Cat in as well to meet Cat. So put them together. Follow your diagram. Do it row by row. It's a lot easier this way. So I've got all of my bits all cut out. Oh, Cat! Oh, Cat! Come! Are you? Ready? Can you come in? Can you leave that camera? Yeah. Right. Come on in, Cat. This is Cat. I'll move over this way so she can fit in that side. So this is Cat now, who is floor and camera and what's a, what's your job title? Multi-skilled operator. Multi-skilled operator. That sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah. So you'll be hearing to, now this now we're going to read. We, we've got because we, we've got Cat producer. We've got Cat multi-skilled, and then tomorrow we've got Catherine, who is our guest on tomorrow. So there'll oh, be a lot of cats confused. tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll have to think of what name. Oh, you've got purple hair. Not notice purple and green hair. Yeah, purple and blue and a bit. Very of nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. Anyway, go back to your cameras. <laughs> Thank you. That's Cat, everybody. Oh, I really need to lie down. After yeah, this. you are. <laughs> right. Right. I'm just okay. <laughs> just going to sew them together. Just sew them together. Okay, that's fine. It'll be interesting when we see the block coming together, won't it? Yeah, it, it comes together really quickly. Um, the price is going to change. The problem is $169.99. Your birthday, well. Oh, uh, cats, cat, produce cat's first gremlin. That's your first gremlin of the day. She can't change the price. You carry on looking at the same, so I'm just going to have a sip of my drink. Oh, he's having his brew. There you are. So line I can't line believe up. she missed you out on, on no, the features. No, like On I, the Starbucks run. I've got a weak bladder, John. I won't be able to stand here and... You're only here for... You're only on, oh, no, you're on for two hours now, aren't you? I just think I feel when I sit walking oh, well. to the studio, I've got five hours to go. Well, you're a pro and you haven't had babies. <laughs> I might have issues. <laughs> There's always time. John, I'm so excited. My William Morris kit has arrived. I'm scared to look in case I ruin it. So nice to see you all together. Best of luck from Maggie. Maggie, don't be frightened. <coughs> when I cut that, I don't know if you've seen my... Oh, the people waving. I don't know if you've seen my... Uh, you, oh, the last few days, Elliot's going to say, oh, John's going to be rubbish in the studio because he'll be so distracted by all the people walking past. I haven't been distracted once, right? Elliot's there on camera going, hi, hi, oh, hi, like that. It's nothing to do with me. Called transference, that is. Um, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. I kind of started to cut the things out thinking, you know, I'm going to make a right mess of this. Don't be frightened by it. And in the kits, there's always a little bit. Is there extra? You haven't made the whole thing, have you? Oh, there is loads, loads. But there's loads yeah. and loads left over. So do, don't be frightened if you make a mistake. And it's only sewing. If you make a mistake, you can just unpick it and do it again. My brother's a surgeon. He says he wishes he could do the same thing. Uh, thanks for introducing the viewers to the team behind the camera. It's lovely to get them to know them from Anila. And that's it for today. I don't think there's anybody else. You've not met Scott yet, but you can't see Scott because he's like a matinee idol. You'll all fall in love with Scott. I mean, he is, though, isn't he? When we first met Scott, when we were at Sewing Quarter, right, Hayley was like this. Every time Scott walked in, she'd go, oh. She'd go, oh, hello, Scott, like that. And she's old enough to be his mother. You know what I mean? <laughs> So we'll introduce them all later on. Another one, so. Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to press it. What? No, I'm just going to press it. Oh, you've got pre yeah. Yeah. She's got no shoes on this hour either. No, I've Oh, the tables are going up next week. I know, but I just, it's just sorry, it's just with the pedals. Do you sew with your shoes on? Yeah, uh, oh, uh, hang on. on, I sewed with flip-flops on yesterday. Do you? Uh, what day was it? No, not yesterday, day before. What's the matter, Kat? Your builders arrived today? They have. Oh. Yeah, they, they've, all the slabs are up. They've started doing all the digging and everything. Do they need to do foundations or does it sit on top of something? It's, um, yeah, so it's having, it's got to have a concrete base. And so then I've got the building inspector coming tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's all happening. So it's finally happening. Oh, I need, I really need, you see, I need somebody to come and fit a new kitchen for me. But all the kitchen fits I spoke to only do the kitchen cupboards. And I want somebody to come in and do the lights and do the, I want them to do everything. I don't want to have to start ringing, oh, can you do this? Can I get electricity to do that? I want somebody to come and do it all. No, I'm really, I'm really excited. Really. So are you still going to come and do? Cut I'll come the ribbon. When will be ready? They reckon about six weeks. Oh. I know. It's exciting. And I can kit it all out. So yeah, well, six weeks is going to be nice sunny weather as well, isn't it? I hope so, yeah. It's going to be really hot in there in the summer, though. Got windows? I've got it's at the glass at the front. The front is all glass. Right, and which and direction does it face? South. Oh no! And I've got two two V Lux windows in the ceiling. Oh, oh yeah. It's not flat roof then. It's yeah sloped, sloped. Just roof. gentle slope rather than a, yeah, a, yeah. a gentle Ooh, slope. Very nice. Yeah, so very very nice. Love the thought of unpicking surgical stitches. Oh Claire. Uh, hang on, my latest Delphine pattern's just arrived. That's 30. Shh. Oh, wow. Don't tell anyone, as they may suggest mediation. I think you mean medication, maybe, uh, for your addiction. Happy birthday to me, love Alicia. Happy birthday, oh, happy Alicia. Birthday. Happy birthday, my lovely. That's nice. Okay. Uh, Mr. June, I've still got my... Oh, I've got my John Scott panel and Delphine cow panel still at the stroking stage. Did you see that one that the lady... Met? I've forgotten your name already. She put me inside the window, like waving out from the window like that. So many of you got them. And yes, they are printing. They are going to be printing more up. And yes, we'll have it very, very soon. It's not going to be this week, though. So I'm presuming it'll be next week. Oh, it is. Cat knows already. What day next week, Cat? Got my panel next Thursday. Oh, thanks for letting me know. So the next row. Yeah, go on then. I'm listening. Oh, you're listening. I'm just checking. I can listen and the, look at the, the same time. The next row, it's important, this bit. Oh, right. Shh. Important. Because the centre of the red one. Yeah. Is, well, on both the green colourway and the red colourway, it's a slightly different fabric. Oh, okay. I can't get it out. The quilt's so too big. And we haven't got a grow, thing you can just about see it. So, the centre star, you'll, once I've done it, oh, you'll okay. put it all together. Oh, it's yeah, a, look. It's a different colour. But that look? Yeah, that's that's right. It's meant to be right, Yes. Though. Okay. Yes. You that's sure? Meant to, yes. Okay. Trust me. I'm trusting. Yeah. So, make sure that you pay attention to the... Um, that's oh, like so don't pick that one up by mistake. No, but yeah. you, you can. You just won't get the overall effect yeah. of the star in the centre. Okay. So make sure you pay attention to that colourway. It does tell you up here yeah. on the instructions, but make sure you pay attention to that Brilliant. bit there because okay. it is such so close and shiny. Oh yes, one little pale pink one start. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah, and also just a tiny little thing that means colour colourway two, not yeah. colourway one. Now I'm just going to sew them together. Okay, don't do it like that. Let's just sew them together. <laughs> Lovely machine. We're doing it in the next hour. 7.20. Elna 7.20. It's on pre-order. You get five Delphine patterns for free. I've opened my second parcel and there's a second birthday badge in it. Can I send it to someone who's missed out? Well, Maggie, put it on the Facebook fan page, my love. Now, it's not, it's not funny. You've got two. Um, put it on the Facebook fan page if you don't mind, rather than them all messaging us. You can do it. Somebody had one yesterday, and they said, she said, anyone who's interested, send your name. She sent the name, she put her hand in the, in the thingy and got one out. Also, do you know what's back in stock? We haven't got it on the show today. The native lighting torch into a table lamp. Oh, it sold out again. Oh, they had it on yesterday. Okay, that's fine. There we go. What'd you say, Kat? No. Is that a question? Does this come with batting and backing, Robert? No, it doesn't. It's enough for the front and the bind. I'll just check. Includes the binding. Includes the binding. That's not your price, though. You're going to pay £169.99 for it. It's huge. It's huge. How big is it? 217 by 200. It's over two metres wide and two metres long. How big's the bed? Not two metres, is it? It's enormous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
So how long do we go? Oh, you got ages. Got ages. Yeah, don't we'll go too fast. I'll turn my machine down a bit. And last one on this row. You not pressed anything? Oh yes, you have pressed it. You've got them, haven't you? I've been. And pressing. you pressed. See, I did that as well. I took my my. I was sewing on my dining room table. I was cutting out in my office and I was ironing in my dressing room. But you got your steps in there. So I got an awful, because they're on different levels as well. So I was going up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, two office, two here, stepping over the cat, stepping over wires. Health and safety wouldn't have been very happy with me. Oh, uh, hang on, Bernadette, are you and Bruce, are you Bruce's mum or something? Don't do low prices in front of our beloved Bruce. It's not a pretty sight. I love Bernadette. She's been on Jewelry Maker for years. He came here, Bernadette, to leave his past behind. He wants to leave all that behind him. Uh, I've just got... Yeah. Hang on. I've just got monochrome Leon, right? I'm at the stage of how am I going to do this? Oh, you'll be <laughs> fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That's Julie. Oh, Aww. you'll be fine. Just take your time. And remember, it's like when I said when I did that demo, it's not something that you're going to do in a day. No, exactly, exactly. Um, Just sit back and look at it, read, it, read all the instructions mm. first before you do anything. Have a cup of tea, read the instructions. Bernadette sends a love to Elliot. So to make sure I press them in the right direction, because you want to uh, press the seams in opposite ways, yeah. what I do is that I always have the the other block, the next one in front of me, turn it over, just double check to see where yes, they're Yes, that's going. what I was about to say. Yeah. When I got to the upstairs, yeah. I take the one before, yeah. after with me, and so I knew that, oh, that's going that way, I have to press that. Yeah. But then sometimes you have to turn it round to press it, don't yes. you? Yes, yeah. Right. It's, if it's Scott Stone, he's gorgeous, but married with a child, but we can't look. Oh, well, we can look. Where is he? The <laughs> something earlier should have been kisses. Oh, that's collection card. Yes, it is Scott Stone. What are you looking for? I've got it here. Here it is. No, it's here. Right then. Next one. Yep. If I get the back page. Okay, so I've done enough to create my the first part of the star. So one section. Mm -hmm. So that the darker piece here is now going to form the next. But then it's part of that one there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah, because it goes like goes like that. Oh, I see. You see? Yeah, yeah, got it. So not all the tr not all the stars are complete then. None of no. the stars are complete. Apart from the centre star, yes. that which is the one that's in the different colour. Different fabric, yeah. Got yeah. it. Happy? Yeah. Christine's Lovely. off to work now. Anne says, well, saying you've moved studios, seeing you've moved to and a few blips, first thing, the whole team have been amazing. Thank you for a great show. We haven't finished yet. Still got time to go. Oh, message show. Loving Delphine and John together. Great show. I've got the 720 Pro plus Delphine patterns for my birthday today. Fantastic oh, machine, says birthday. Jeanette. Oh, happy birthday, Jeanette, my love. Um, you've got a cast of thousands. No, what it is, is because we're now in the same building as everybody. So, like I'm saying, there's us, there's Primal Living, there's Jewelry Maker, there's Hobby Maker, and there's Gems TV. And then, oh, and behind the graphic. And then there's one upstairs which is those two in a cupboard, Amelia and the gingerhead boy in a cupboard upstairs. They're all here, nobody knows here. I keep talking about it and everyone's going, no, John, you're wrong, you're wrong. There is a channel, it's called Gem, I think it's called Gem Collector, right? There is, isn't there? And they're in a cupboard upstairs, right? And it's a boy, a, a boy with ginger, I think he's called Alex, is he called? Seems very, very tall. Cat's laughing at you. Am I right? <laughs> and then the girl's called Amelia and, um, Anyway, they get all the, everything themselves. You hear them unwrapping the bag, putting it out, answering the phone, doing the camera. They do everything. They do everything. Anyway, I've got to talk to you about this, but I'll do that first. So all I just need, to, just to make sure you've got the correct orientation of the two darker ones in the centre for this one. Otherwise, you're going to be doing a lot of unpicking. So make right. sure you follow it to a T. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So and then just sew them together. Okay, uh, Jacqueline says, I love Sewing Street. All the demos like being in a workshop and so educational. Right, I've got to talk to you about this. While Delphine's sewing that, I've got one more question. Love the quilt, I have difficulty quilting such a large quilt and don't want to send it away. <gasps> would you do quilt as you go on it? I wouldn't. No. It's, no, I wouldn't. There's too many pieces. Yeah. Really. Um, oh, 
the only thing I can suggest, who was the question from, sorry? Uh, Jean, Janine, Janine. Um, what you'll need to do, what you'll need to do, Janine, is you'll have to roll it and maybe only quilt in straight lines. That, I know this is a simple, simple but roll it so it goes through your machine like that. And by, we've got those blue clip things that you can hold the quilt together and then just go up and down, up and down. Oh, I know, you can do up and down, up and down, up and down. Then turn it all round and go up and down, up and down. So you've still got quilting going in all directions, but you're go, doing it in straight lines. That's the only thing I could suggest. But, or the 720 Pro has a bigger throat space. Yes, I know, but <laughs> she doesn't have to get you all of this. You can roll it up really tightly. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just do it with a thinner batting, like the, just use the 8020. The 8020 batting, yeah. Um, right, so that, was that the last question? Right, okay, so this is what we're suggesting for your backing. You need two and a half metres of this. Oh, hang on, where are we looking? I'm confused now. There you go. I'm staying here, staying here. Two and a half metres you need of this. 12.99 for half a metre. Half a metre, we cut it off the bolt for you. It's 108 inches wide. And it's got a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of fern print on it. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, there's no dots on the fabric, it's on the camera. That must be Elliot's camera. I'll put that down now. Yeah, put that down. I'm moving back now. Message from Diane. Uh, it, it is Gem Collector with Alex McKay and Emily Fox. There you go, that's the one I was talking about. Ever, I talk to people about it, they go, What are you talking about, John? What are you talking about? They're in a cupboard upstairs, a tiny little studio upstairs. And remember, this is not going to be 189.99. It's going to be 169.99. But we can't drop the price. We can't crash the price physically. Haley's going to do it later. Love in the new studio. Great to see you to be close together again. We'll be fab when the lighting is sorted. Hey, Margaret, we're working. I promise you, they're working on it. Working on all the glitches. When I came in yesterday, there were no lights. You know what I mean? That's how far we've come on overnight. Yeah, Bruce said you should have been here at five o'clock this morning. Then you'd know. And I had to face Elliot at five o'clock in the morning as well. That's even worse, isn't it? So I'm just going to double check. Don't look at me like that. Double Split pay will work out. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's confused me. How much? 56.66 is your, it's your five payments. Three payments, three payments, three payments, three payments. Oh. And remember, you've got 25 minutes to check out to be included in this hour's prize, which I'll show you again in a minute because it's hidden underneath the big quilt. There we go. And now, because I've already done a little bit ahead of time, I'm, uh -huh. ready, I'm ready to put all the rows together. Brilliant. So, although I do think my prep that I did at home, which was late last night, by the way, I think I've sewn one on upside down, so I'm going to quickly change oh, OK, OK, <laughs> we'll soon see, won't we? Put it all out. Yeah, which I have sewn slightly differently. So I can quickly do that. OK, well, I'll go over yeah. here and I'll do the quilt <laughs> kit again then. I'm over here, everybody. Oh, just give me a sec. Here we go. <laughs> it's all, it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. Delphine just doesn't want you to see her unpicking it. No. Right, so this <laughs> is the quilt bundle. It's not $189.99. It's $169.99. Or 56 66 three times, right? You do get over 11 metres of fabric in here, right? I'll show it to you here. All the different beautiful spring tones in the greens, the pinks, the reds, the creams, the beiges, all the gorgeous colours in there. Over 11 and a half metres, it's not, there's the quilt. It's, that doesn't do it justice, that picture though. It, um, there's over 11 and a half metres of fabric. <laughs> I'm just going to put that there for a second, I'll be back. The what, Cap? Yeah, 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 it's all, it's in the kit, it's just in the kit. Here's the quilt. You get all the instructions that you need. We are going to get the quilt hanger back soon. I'm not going to be standing like this all the time. So that's this quilt, right? And if you buy something and check out this hour, you also, it's massive, it's massive, right? You also get this, right? No, no, get name, your name gets put into a kit for this, right? This is called Checkmate by Tula, or, or by the fabrics by Tula. Should be 240, it is 249.99. One of you will win this. Oh, one of you will win all of that fabric and the instructions. The instructions are in there somewhere. There you go. And the instructions. 
It's incredible. Two four, say two four nine. Two four nine. That quilt is worth. You, one of you will win this. Now it will be a bit messy because I've just tipped all the fabric out all over the floor. But one person who's checked out this hour will win all of this. I oh, know it's fantastic, isn't it? Right, I'll put that away. Have you finished unpicking it? No, she's still yeah. unpicking. She's still unpicking. I get one. Oh, and golden ticket. Remember, we have golden ticket as well. So five people today. When your goodies arrive, make sure you check in your there you go check in your um packaging look for one of those it's a physical gold ticket like that it will have an email and a, a code that is exclusive to you on it right email the email address it says to you saying i've got my code here it is you will win a studio sample so it'll be something that could be a delphine quilt or a wall hanging or it could be a del uh, any any of our designers it could be something that they have made for the show and five of you will win that so please do look carefully inside your package inside your packaging when it arrives what's the matter right are you finished? I'm picking. Yeah, I'm there. Oh, done. no, she hasn't. I can come back to that, though, when you start talking again, so... <laughs> it's glorious, that quilt, isn't it? All right, I'll start sewing me rows together, and then... Um, Sue says, it's amazing how far you've come in two years and through a pandemic. I can't believe you've done all that overnight. Truly remarkable. On a different note, do you know which of Stuart's book had the Union Jack... Oh, I don't know, Sue, I'm afraid. He had that on, what day was that on? That was on Sunday. He had his books on on Sunday in his, uh, in one of his later hours, at like two o'clock, uh, no, no, not two. It's when he launched his fabrics. What hour was that? Was that 12? 12 o'clock, have a look at 12 o'clock. Linda, hi John and Delphine, great show this morning. Can only improve with the gremlins. Linda in Sunny Hall Church. What do you want, Linda? That's not her address. That's, that's where my dad grew up. Right, She's around the corner though. Oh, yeah, so I pick a whole thing. With scissors. <laughs> oh, do you not have a quick on pick? <laughs> not with you me, though. You could have asked Kat. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I just... Never mind, I, did I, 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 I Yeah, adapt and overcome. <sighs> Done. Right. Oh, crikey me. Right, right. You all right? Mm. You've only got an hour and ten minutes to go and you can go home. Oh, no, I'm 15. No, I'm going out tonight. Oh, you ain't going. Um, go for a curry. We don't go in, uh, Nick's taking me out to Stratford for dinner. Oh, is he? Because he couldn't take me out for my birthday. Oh. So I'm making, I'm dragging out my birthday still. Yeah, yeah, still. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so so where are you going me, then? I think we might go to the rooftop bar for cocktails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we think we go into Giggling Squid. Now, if you go, yeah. I know, I know <laughs> two people that work there. No, no, I know two. My yeah. friend Ju, she works there. <laughs> Juju, she works there. And her son. Alex, he works there as well. You're going to get us a, dis get us a discount. Well, I could. I'll try and ring if she's in. I'll ring her. <laughs> so, I sewed it on that way around. It needs to go on this way around. I'm right. just checking that they're... Um, yep, that's right. So, I haven't got to press the seams. So, what we're going to do, work from the diagram and just piece it together like a jigsaw puzzle. So, I know it doesn't go on that way even mm -hmm. though you'd, you'd want it to, I know I can't really move it around yeah. because that forms a perfect star, but we know that it's like a floating star. Yes. So that is actually the wrong way around. So even though it looks like it's the wrong way, that is the right way to sew it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go I can't hear Cat Cat's telling us something, can't hear her. So like okay. you said, if you, if you are quite confident, just line up the seams as you go along, mm -hmm. or like you say, when you did your- I, I you literally just put a pin through each of them, yeah. so then I knew, because the first one I did and it kind of came over, it was a yeah. little bit longer and I'd obviously not forced it through, it hasn't stitched through properly, that's all. So otherwise just buddy up the seams and just sew them together as you go along. So mm -hmm. I'll do that. So and just stop it there, stop it each one, just to make sure that they're lined up. Oh. Oh, well, my lights have gone off. I've got my light on. It looks quite dark in here on that bit. Is it all right in, the, in real life? Oh, um, I'm on my iPad. So just stopping just before each seam, making sure that they're not, they're buddied up and that they're nice and flat. Uh-huh. And that one there. And there we go, so we're going to the centre part now. Let's move that out of the way so it's nice and flat when you come to quilt it. Do what? 
So just making sure that your seams are lied nice and flat, so when you do come and quilt it, it, it presses better. Yeah. There we go. Nearly done. Because what you don't want to do is just start at one end and then just put your foot down and go all the way to the end, because uh -huh. it, it will push it out. Who's Bruce got in there? Who's in with Bruce and Kat? Engineering. Oh, okay. Well, it's coming to the very end. I think I've pushed it out slightly, but it's TV sewing, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be rushing it at home, so it's fine. No. So there's one. Oh, that's not too bad. No. I'll, I'll forgive myself. But in that, real life, you'd unpick that, wouldn't you? For, for real life, I would. I'll start from there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll get my next piece, which I know is this. Yeah, because you make this is the star that's a full star, isn't it? This is the full star, so yeah. you know that that all fits perfectly. Just give it all a bit of a check before you commit to it, and then again. How many have we got in stock? In, hang on, I start with. Okay, and how many? Okay, uh, almost half the stock has gone. Almost half the stock has gone. Remember, it's not 189.99 you pay. It's 169.99, which will make it 56.66 or something like that. It's really nice neutral colour, so it's nice for a bedroom, isn't it? I think it's like, I think it's like, I, I'm imagining sitting in the sunshine in the garden or in the, in the woods or in the, somewhere lovely, on the, in the meadows in Chester or something with a picnic and my friends all sitting on this. That would be lovely. Cat's only got one friend, so they could lie down on it. <laughs> and that's her boyfriend. Where do you come out, you come out with some funny line? Well, what did I say then? <laughs> That was serious. <laughs> no, it wasn't. She told me she only had one friend. She, she said it was Vix, and then Vix went, she's not my friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kat's my friend. Oh, Delphine, you're apparently your friends with Kat as well. Oh, no, yeah. she says Kat, no. Yeah, she's not your friend anymore. Now you've forgotten to ask for a coffee. <laughs> Is that Vix? Yeah. No, um, Kat forgot to ask you for it. No, I said I can't anyway. No. I'm trying to be good and not drink too much caffeine. I should. I should. You know. I'm going on holiday. Uh, what date is it today? Holiday. Where are you Wh going? What there? date is it today? Ten. Ten. So six months today, I'll be flying to Catalonia, and I want to be gorgeous and trim. I'm going on another holiday before that. I'm going to Spain before that. But when, didn't you do Caf well, Catalonia? Didn't you do that last year? Yeah, we're going back to the same house. Oh, lovely. Mm. I need a holiday. Oh, it was beautiful. Uh, Pauline, did you show everyone around the new studio? I'm at work, I'm going to catch a little bit. If so, Pauline, this is it. This is it, right? I, oh, we haven't got a camera. Um, Kat, can you just jump on that camera a minute? I'm sorry, Bruce, I'm not directing from the floor. I'm going to show Pauline the studio, right? This is set one. You ready? Follow me. Can you follow me? This is set two. Oh, hang on. No, here I am. This is set two. I'm going back now. Set two. Set one. Oh, sorry, Duffin. <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you walk in. And that's it. That's it, I'm afraid. There's a little space over there where Kat's working. And then over that way is Primal Living. And then there's the cameras and the big black wall. And then up there is the glass corridor where people can look down. Who Elliot's kind of waving to everybody who gets past. They don't know, don't know, don't know who they are. They just know who they are, just waves. There, so that's a lot better. Beautiful. And then to finish that top star, so I'm yep. going to sew that one off. Big block, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Be nice, like Kat was saying, it'd be yeah. nice to make cushions, but you would have nine end up with. You could make a smaller quilt and make it three cushions, couldn't you? Yeah, like do it's four how many, of these. How many blocks is it? Nine. Nine. So, so I'll, if you made four, I'll just put that into shot yeah. there. Look, if you made that as a lap quilt and then made those as like floor cushions, mm. that'd be nice, wouldn't it? The garden, it'd be lovely well, in the garden. Well, that would be even nicer for a picnic, then, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, because yeah. then you wouldn't all it would have to cram onto picnic, it. would be a picnic, wouldn't it? Well, it will be. We'll have Very scotch posh. eggs and everything. <laughs> Marks and Spencer scotch eggs. I don't eat them because uh, you can get vegan ones, can't you? No, it's got sausage meat in it. <laughs> she said scrape off the sausage meat. Well, I might as well just have a boiled egg then, might I? <laughs> I um, only brought one egg today because my egg boiling machine blew one of them up yesterday. And you I like your eggs? How many eggs do you get through a week? And, and it's my protein source, a lot. Well, there's two, I have at least two here every day, so five, that's wow. ten. Well, no, I mean, it depends how many days I work here, doesn't it? 
No, I don't eat them at home every day, but I do like egg and chip. Where what? Well, I had my breakfast. I've got my dressing room to sit in. Well, no, no, because there's somebody else moved in with all their bags in. Like, so my, I, was, I went in the corner. We all have to share, you see. So, no, it's not Vic's, because before Vic's arrived. In the break before Vic's arrived, I ran in and there was like, it's not Elle, because she was in there with me this morning. So it must be somebody from Gems, is it? They have, what time do Gems shift? Because they have different shift patterns to us, don't they? Yeah, no, they don't do seven till three, do they? So it'd be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it might have been the second Gems person. That's it, could have been, couldn't it? Oh, there you go, eleven o'clock. It'll be in then, then. It'll be in then, then. So whoever's on Gems, the second shift. Who? Oh, Ellis. Oh, I don't mind Ellis putting a thing. I knew, you know Ellis from Gems, right? I used to work at Ideal World with her 20 years ago. I wasn't, I wasn't a shopping telly person then. I was uh, an expert then. I used to be a guest in those days. I've just what? She wasn't born. Who wasn't born? Cat wasn't born in 20 years ago. How old are you? 20. She's 20, see? She'd have been being born when I was on Ideal World. <laughs> Go on then, Duffy. How many minutes you got? Oh, five. Go on. Oh, I can finish it in five minutes. Go on then. All right, I'll just carry on then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so actually, with I mean, I know we're joking around everything, but it's actually quite a simple really but effective. Simple. Yeah. It's a really effective quilt, isn't it? I can't read any Facebook messages at the moment because my battery's died. I'd have to get my lead in the break. Was it not under there? The lead? No, that's... The, oh, I could put that one on as well. Oh, now, um, whoever brought the things over from the, stu the other studio... The iPad that everyone else uses hasn't got a plug on the end of it. So Elliot's not, he won't care because he's leaving tomorrow. I'll tell Kat. Kat! Oh, she said to her, I shouldn't care. It's all right because it's me for the next three days anyway. It's me Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Vicks on Sunday. And she's a naughty minx, isn't she? She asked me to swap Saturday because I thought she had a wedding to do, but she'd get offered another shift on Jewelry Maker. No, yeah, no, no, but she's still got to do the Sunday. So she's taking an extra shift during the week, do you know what I mean? I'm just to get on on Hobby Maker. Uh, Hobby Maker today. Get through there. There we go. You don't know what? What fabric collection is from? I'll tell you, it's Brenda Riddle fabric. Let me have a look. Let's see if there's anything written on the selvages. It's Moda, isn't it? It's Moda, yeah, it's yeah. a Moda fabric, yeah. Hmm. Last one now. Go on then. Uh, cottage core quilt kit. Oh, uh, yeah, there's anything on the box. Does it say it in here? Yeah, I've got, I've got one of those. Oh, you've got one. Yeah, that's where I got Brenda Riddle from. That's funny, it normally tells you, doesn't it? Which block do you like best, the pink one or the green one? Oh, see, green's my favourite colour. It's lovely, yeah. isn't it, the green? I love green. I'd have everything green. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, remember earlier I said about we'll do the iron again tomorrow. We're not allowed. I don't know why we're not allowed to, but we're not allowed to again tomorrow. Okay, so um, the iron, just for today, the big steam iron, I was going to do my whole demo, but I can't, you see, at uh, £269. It goes back up to £299 tomorrow. A midnight tonight, actually, midnight tonight. So if you've got it in your basket, check out. It won't be £269 tomorrow. It's a big steam iron, dukey iron. You won't be able to see it from there, Elliot. That one, that one there, that one there. So you got getting it eighty pounds off, and it's already got fifty pounds off. We're taking an extra thirty pounds off. Oh, and also the native lighting, the four split pay uh, today on the floor lamps that we had today. The four that finishes at midnight as well. And then give it a bit of a press. That like said, this is TV sewing, so it's not my best. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. That's what I found. Just waft it. Keep it <laughs> Just moving. Waft. Yeah. So, do you want me to hold it up? No, no, I, that's fine because we. Oh, hang on. What would you like, Bruce? Hold it up. 
Don't zoom in. <laughs> Do what? There we go. There's your block. There's your block. Ooh. So yeah. you've got enough in the kit to make nine of those blocks, yeah. plus do a border of the gingham, <laughs> plus do a border of the pale green, plus bind it with the taupe fabric. You've got enough for the front and the, the, the Yeah, and binding. they always put in, so I've done quite a few of these kits, and they always put <clears> in loads more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We get 11 and a half yeah. metres of fabric. 11 and a half metres of fabric. Brilliant. Right, okay, Delphine's going to go off now because she's back on the next hour talking about the 720 machine, right? So I'm going over to this table now and I'll recap over here. So in this kit, it's beautiful, isn't it? Let me hold it up for you very quickly. It's huge, this quilt. Watch. Look, 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 look. Absolutely enormous. 217 by 217 it is. Excellent. Now remember, it's not 189.99. It's 169.99. The price will go back. The price will be changed uh, uh, sometime this afternoon. So when you by midnight tonight, when you when you uh, when the money's taken from your account, that will be at midnight. It will be 169.99. Still get split pay 56.66. Right, and you get 11 meters of fabric. You get all this fabric. You get the instructions. Everything you need for the front and the binding of that quilt. 169.99. And you've got about three minutes to check out because one of you who's bought this hour will now, 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 this is now this is right. In the last hour and the hour before, we sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. All three hours so far, we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers in each hour. This hour, there's not we didn't have a hundred quilts. So there's less, there's more chance of you winning. The probability, or is that what, what prob, would you just be called probability? Anyway, there's fewer people bought in the hour because obviously it's a bigger item. So you've got more chance of winning because there's fewer of the names in the hat. Just saying. Uh, one of you will win this quilt kit, right? It's worth £249. It's tulip pink. Gorgeous, huge, another huge, absolutely enormous quilt. One of you will win this quilt. But you have to check out your baskets. What's the proper time on your on your proper computer time? You've got two minutes to check that out because in the 12 o'clock hour, I've got a completely different price. We will see you. Are you ready? Back here after this short break.
where's the morning gone it's the last hour already now as it's a new hour we have another competition now it might be a bit deja vu-ish because it's the same prize that we had in the hour earlier but 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 so anybody it's a different one because it's the, the box is fine there it's just bashed up here uh, everybody who buys something in this hour so if you check out in the 12 o'clock hour doesn't have to be Delphine sewing machine it can be but well, you're not gonna get Delphine sewing machine it doesn't have to be the Elder 720 it can be anything you check out in this hour your names will go into a virtual tombola and one of you will win now the box is a bit bashed but inside the quilt kit is absolutely fine look beautiful it's a woven quilt kit I, ooh, I'd quite like this one beautiful isn't it look at the colors there and then your background your little stripey it's just done it's called ombre northern lights ombre northern lights is called and so all anyone who buys anything in this hour up until one o'clock your name goes in now after one o'clock if you check out after one o'clock you won't be in any draw oh you might be you might be because we've got the golden tickets today so what it is uh, anybody anybody who's bought today at any time in any hour from the website or from the show right there will be five golden tickets they're actual physical golden tickets that will be put into the actual parcel that your goods arrive in to so have a good rummage round to make sure it's there each ticket has an email address on it you've all got the same email address but each one has a separate number on it like a, a exclusive to you number what you need to do is email that number that email address and say I've got a ticket this is my name this is my address this is my number right and we will send you a prize and it will be a studio sample so it could be a quilt it could be a bag it could be a wall hanging it could be if you're a boob and prize you get a Wendy Orlando snakes and ladders in a bag you know and things like that we don't know what they are we haven't been told yet what they are but the five of you will win those prizes now do have a good rummage in your bag because I was told earlier that in the last time we did it there were five of you and only three people only three people um, called in their prize you know collect their prize so do have a good rummage in the package right so this hour this hour is all about the Elna 720 machine which uh, Delphine has got and she's gonna be taking you through the machine but before we do if you look on the website you can buy the Elna 720 at right this, right don't buy this don't buy this one don't buy this one uh, that, that it'll always be 1799 pounds it's that's it that's it that's it right my next door neighbor's got this machine she absolutely adores it right 1799 pounds split pay 359 pounds 80. don't buy that don't buy that because the, the graphics there you can see the graphics that that's just the machine we have a deal for you right you can get the, the machine plus five of delphine's patterns worth 49.95 oh hang on that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong get rid of that get rid of that sorry we'll sort it out we'll sort it out we'll sort it out that's not right somebody's done the graphics wrong on that one um so while we're waiting for them to sort that out let me also tell you that this is one of delphine's most popular patterns right and we thought with the jubilee coming up and with everything like that this is a gorgeous that is foundation paper piecing yeah. but it's simple it's simple foundation paper piecing and the way you remember that your uh, Union Jack pieces are put in the same order, the right order, mm -hmm. think of a windmill and the blades going round. Because if you look, this one and this one are slightly different to that one and that one. So there are two different versions, there are two different FPP panels. Just make sure the right one's in the right place. What we're going to do today, and today only because it's a special, we've got the, the, the instructions. Oh, there you go. I can, I can show you them. I'll hold them up. I can show you them. They are the FPP charts that you need to photocopy and do your FPP charts. Right? We are... Let's put the graphics in. They should be 9 99 Look, 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 look. 7 99 for today and today only. 7 99 for today and today only make yourself some lovely cushions i mean we've called them union jack memory cushions memorial cushions jubilee cushions anything you want them to be i've seen so many of you make these up on the facebook fan page and in different colors as well 
You've um, you done a Tweedy one. I've done yeah, I've done like a be in a beigey colour one. I said it'd be really nice doing it in like bright tweeds that I would look. Yeah, really nice. beautiful. Yeah. Or if you're doing if you're doing like in our village, we're doing all the um, um, bunting for the village and everything. Um, I'll have to, oh, actually, um, Anna from Alice Caroline said she was going to send me some fabrics and to go to because we, you know, my village is the longest, longest yeah, street yeah. through, isn't it? We're going to put them all the way down both sides. That's of the street. a lot of bunting. Yeah, and guess who's been put in charge? <laughs> yeah, thank. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, there's only ten of those left. Okay, and there's ten left, but seventeen people got it in the baskets. Please, oh, now, 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 check out on this. Your name goes in the hat for this. So you could buy that for seven ninety nine, and you and you could you could be winning this. I could be shouting your name out tomorrow to say you've won that. Oh no! But oh, it's way too many, way too many, way too many, way too many. Have we sorted that other thing out yet? Oh, we're doing it now. So should we start? Just start. We'll just start. We'll just start. We'll sort the graphics out in a second. Basically, what we're oh, what we're saying, <laughs> what we're saying is. Uh, we've got a deal, you buy the machine and you get five of Delphine's patterns worth 49 95 as a gift from us, right? But in the meantime, oh, and if you've got any questions about the machine or about anything, get them in, because Delphine and I are both here, just the two of us, just to chat and to um, answer your questions. So either send them in on the Facebook Live, I've got it plugged in again now, or you can send it in the normal ways to, to, through Cat. Right, why did you buy this machine? Oh, oh, I've also got to say, sorry, I'm doing this on the other day. I've also got to say, uh, Delphine bought this machine. This is the one she chose to buy. Like I chose to buy my 680. We're not paid by Elna. We're not paid by, we're not, um, we're ambassadors because we both own them. But, but basically, this is a machine like Becky Alexander Frost, like Rachel Lilsley. We all bought this machine, at that machine, and I bought my machine. We're not paid to do this, apart from get, I get my wages and everything. We're not paid by Elna to, to advertise this machine. Why did you choose this machine then? I'm coming well, in now, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm first coming of in. all, it's, <laughs> well, it's the fastest in its category. Yeah. Uh, so, and also for endurance and the power, the, sh the sheer power of this machine is incredible. So uh, it is, it's quite a weighty machine because sem it is semi-industrial. So all of this, this is rock solid, this is all metal, only this bit's plastic. It's just so, it's because it's just so quick. So up to 1200 stitches per minute, which is, it was faster than mine. It's faster yeah. than mine, 680. Yeah. yeah, so really, really quick. And because a lot of the sewing that I do is very, you know, straight stitching, I can, I can just, I'm a busy mama. I mm -hmm. haven't got time to hang around with a slow machine. So I've always got it on the hair position and it's really, really quick. Uh, another reason why is this. Knee lift. Knee lift. This is a game changer, especially if you do a lot of my patterns. Have you never had a machine with a knee never, lifter before? Never. When I opened the box, I'd, so, I'd seen them before, but I, I, I'm. I was like, okay, so that was one of the first things I used actually, it was yeah. a knee lifter. I've, I will never be able to have a machine that does not have a knee lifter it, ever It's again. really weird because yeah. they, uh, my, I got my first knee lifter when I bought an industrial machine when I was at uh, Mercury Theatre in Colchester and it comes on an industrial machine yeah. automatically and I was like, oh, I'll never use this, I'll never use this. It's such a simple device, mm. right? And it's never changed in 40 years. It hasn't changed in design. So no matter what machine you buy, if it's got one of these, it's going to look like this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And basically, I'll just explain this. We can't do it here because we're standing no. up. But this is not mechanical or anything like that. Literally, you plug that into the front of your machine, That's don't you? It. And it hangs down the side of your table. And each time you want so to you lift the foot... You just... Yeah. Like that. <laughs> do what? I, I have to hold on. Cause yeah, but you like just, send your ballet dancer. Like yeah. You literally take your knee and you just push it like that and it lifts the foot up. And so if you're pivoting, if you're quilting or doing anything like that, and you're having to pivot, you literally just push it with your knee, lift the foot up, make sure your needle's down, pivot, let it go, push it. It doesn't hold it up. as You have to keep your hand, your knee against it like that. It's the most, and it's such a simple it's little a thing, It's really, it? really easy. And also, the beauty thing about the machine is that the needle will always stay down anyway. Oh, well, there you go So then. you haven't got to worry about putting, keeping the needle down. And, you know, you can adjust it as well. There's this little screw here. Uh, you can just adjust that. So say, depending on your shape and size, you might want it a little bit closer. You just do adjust that, and then okay. it, it can Brilliant. be a I've little bit I've just got to say something. That's your price, £1,799. The graphics were wrong before. So if you bought it at that price, someone will be contacting you. Um, split pay, £359, 85 times. And you get the five patterns that are worth £49.95 with it. Right. So when oh. you got yours... Yeah. Sorry, were you going to say something then? No, no, nothing. I was just... What are you looking at? Nothing. I'm just looking at all the different all cameras just trying to work out which one. They're all like, we get all five. I can't see it from here. Yeah. It's too small for me. What's on there? 
Cat toy, fighting hares, oh, the elf, Christmas, oh, it's tree of life, and Tara the Tiger. Wow, some big patterns and, there. And they are the five that you're going to get. They're not random. They are the five you're going to get. Right, so you decided to buy this machine. You bought it. You paid for it. That was delivered in the box. Yeah. What was the first thing you did? Well, first, we, it was it was almost like a, a grand um, reveal because we had all had the kids there as well. Right. It, it was a huge. It's a huge box, mm -hmm. isn't it? And just take it, at first, I was just I just admired it because I had my old machine next to it, yeah. and, and in comparison, I felt quite sorry for my old machine. But I've not used it since. Oh. Bless it. So um, so I got it all out. Just had a check of all the pieces. So you do get a couple of different covers with it. So you have just like the normal dust cover, which I tend to use quite a lot. Mm -hmm. You don't have a hard case with it, uh, but then it's not really one that you're going to be taking to workshops anyway. So she used to me that I bring it every <laughs> single time that I come in. So it is, it, you can, it is possible. But also, sewing machines don't like the vibrations of a car. No. No matter what machine it is, they don't like them. And the amount of people I know who've bought a machine gone, well, all I've done is put my boot drive around. Something about the vibration of a car. Not if you're going to just drive here and there once a week or something like that, but if, it, if it's in your car all the time, there's something about mm. the vibrations which just, and I'm not saying what make or anything, it's machines in general don't like the vibrations Because if you car. think underneath all of this, there's a lot of components. My husband's an engineer and he's actually taken my old one apart, so I've actually seen one of these, not mm -hmm. this machine, my old machine, actually it, without any of the covers on, so that, like you say, it's, yeah. but this is so sturdy yeah it, if you're going to put it in a car this is the one that you oh, need yeah, to put exactly. in a car uh, Lisa yeah. says I've got this machine yeah. it's the best purchase I've ever made from Lisa mm -hmm. in Leicestershire right talk to me then I know yeah. we're going to go back to the big yeah. reveal no no go to the reveal and ask you that question as we're going along yeah so that's so it you get the dust cover you also have the, the red cover as well but you mm -hmm. also get a really really large plate which again I, I forgot to bring it with me plate uh, yeah, the extension oh, table extension table gets and massive it is huge yeah. it is huge so that quilt that we just demoed yeah, you'll be able be easy, to. Yeah. It really makes it so much easier. And you've also got, you can't see it on um, where my hand is now, but a much bigger throat space as well. There it is. There's the table. There's the table. It is because remember, you don't have a free arm on this. So normally you slide your gubbins box off and slide the table on. Yeah. Whereas the cutout on that table. So, sorry, can we just show it again, Bruce? Sorry. No, no. What I'm saying is, normally you take your, your free arm, you, you make it a free arm and then slide it on. So if you think that central bit there isn't the width of a free arm, it's the width of the whole of the base of your machine. So it sort of puts in proportion how big the table actually is, because it's massive, That's isn't it? That's it. And even though it doesn't have a free arm, I've, it's, I've never struggled with it. I do a lot of toy making as mm -hmm. well. And sometimes I have to take it off to, to do with certain parts, like the legs and things like that. You just do it the other way, it's mm -hmm. a lot easier. And because you've got so much room and you haven't got loads of bulky plastic in the way it's you, you won't even notice you yeah. haven't got it uh, it is yeah. a heavier machine like i'm saying don't yeah. think you uh, jane from elna she has got the version before this which was called the quilting queen it must be about 20 years old now and she said it's the machine her go-to machine she doesn't move it it mm. sits on the same table in her workroom and literally she it's the one the first one she yeah. goes to every single time but she doesn't move it anywhere because it is a it is a because like you're saying that base is it's proper metal isn't it yeah, it's, it's solid thick, solid yeah. and it's really really sturdy when you're sewing with it so that's what i mean when you get it out and you lift it out you just know you're going to get a quality machine mm. so uh yeah and then it's, it's also really straightforward as well really straightforward to follow so i'll go through all of the, the the stitches as well in the moment but also the way it's been built you don't you have all this bit a big bit of lump of plastic at the front either and that's the stopping all the lint to go through the machine so it's just going to drop out so it's, it's so really so if you see on the picture there on the left hand side where that dial is there's no normally you have a great big it looks like the front of a ship at the front there it's mm. all co covered yeah. this has been built it's not an industrial machine but it's been built to sew yeah. it's, it's it's not there for beauty no. it's not an aesthetic i mean it is beautiful but it's I not think she's beautiful no 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 yeah. she, but, but she, they've not done big curved lines and no. sweeping they've this, literally got it a yeah. no-nonsense machine yeah. you know if you want to do a lot of work quick and you just want a robust machine this is the one to do it so yeah that's why it was a very easy sell for yeah me. uh becky yeah. and frost got this as well as the 780 and she's it's a beast of a machine go through everything mm. but a lot of people say to me oh but i don't do have i don't do bag making Rachel's got this and she makes wedding dresses on it. So it, it, don't be thinking, oh, it's a great big heavy machine and I'll, and I'll only use it for bag making or suit making or curtain making. You can do, can't you? Well, you've done organza well, and chiffons on it, haven't well, you? All sorts. And again, like you said, Becky Alexander Foss has had this machine as well. And she is a completely different sewer to me. We're completely different. So mm. I'm not going to 
she will probably use it uses it for other things that I would never use it yes, for, and yes. vice versa. Mm. So, um, like you said, and, and it's, it fits both of our categories. Yes, exactly. So, so if, you, if yeah. you're a general sewer and you're going to go through uh, chiffons and wool worsteds and PU and chiffon. It, it does the gamut. All you need to do is change your needle. Have a sharp needle each time you start a project. Yeah. Right, so you open the box, you've got it so, out. So I've got it all out, I've plugged it in. Uh, you've, got, you've got a nice large um, foot, foot plate with it as well. Foot, foot pedal. pedal. So <laughs> one, one little tip, when you do take it out of the machine, I, was, I couldn't find the wire. Right. So I was saying to Nick, I was like, I haven't got a wire, I can't plug it in. I was really excited. It's in here. Yeah. <laughs> She's obviously not watched one of my demos. <laughs> I hadn't watched one of his demos, so I don't want to do that because I've broken my nail. Oh no! Oh no, look! It's broken Ooh. it right in half. So, yeah, it, it, your eye is in there. Yes. So, don't do what I did. And so oh, hold it still, hold it still. So, yeah. should, come, come, turn it up the other way. There you go. There you go. So, in your the, wire's in, in there, there underneath. Yeah. So, you don't need to worry about it. That means also you can't lose it around the house. That's it. Because yeah. yesterday, when I went <laughs> to sew my, do my block, whenever I did my block a few days ago, um, I'd taken my machine to be serviced. You don't have to take the foot pedal with you when you have it serviced. Yeah. So I put my foot pedal in one cupboard, put my machine away, went to him and said, couldn't find my foot pedal because I put it somewhere else. Whereas this, the, the wire and everything will always be with you. Yeah, so mm -hmm. make sure you do that. Not, otherwise, I would have been shut on the phone to Ellen. They're going, I haven't got my wire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but they would, yeah. that's the other thing. If you get this, it's got a two year warranty from Elna. It will be directed, uh, delivered direct from Elna, waiting for in the workroom, right? But they have a customer service team that you can ring and they're so helpful yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, I've, my old machine was an elna and i've not had to speak to them with this one but i had to speak to it oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. so do you want me to turn it around to yeah can you manage i can just about tell me where you want yeah, and then to if you turn it a tiny bit that's it then that'll is be that right. right is that right bruce where it is there yeah, there we go. Right, so that's okay. the front of your machine. So, and also going up from the foot pedal, actually, it doesn't have necessarily have to be a foot pedal to, to actually use it. Cause you actually do have the start and stop button here, which is I, I don't really use that. But you know, if you if you don't want to use it for the, the foot pedal, or if you're doing it a lot of standing sewing, it's quite handy to use mm -hmm. that. So, but also if you want to use that and the foot pedal's in, it will beep and it will tell you. Well, you can't do you, you can't, can't use either or. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there really so, on mine? It's got a little. Oh, Dave, it's good to know yours. It, on the on my screen, mm. it tells me that the foot pedal's in. When you yes. unplug it, the foot pedal disappears. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go through all the basic stitches. Sorry, the basic switches you've got here now. So obviously you've got your normal back stitch, your locking stitch, and your needle down. But whenever you are sewing, it will always stop with the needle down anyway. So that's just if you need the needle to if go. You need so it if to you're go using up. the needle threader. I use that to thread it with, and then after that, I never have to go okay, near it. Yeah, because yeah. because when you use your needle threader, your needle has to be at its highest possible point. Yeah, because I was trying to, because I don't like needle threaders, but on mine, I found out now the 681, it's brilliant. I'm sure it's the same on this one, but your needle has to be at its highest point. So if you just press that button and take it up, it's automatically it sitting there. there. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, with the, your scissors, which on my old machine, that's why I bought my old machine, is uh, for the for the the thread cutter and mm -hmm. again I would never go back to a machine that doesn't have that something so simple but I would never be without it and then obviously your speed remember this machine is super quick so if you want to uh, adjust your speed obviously then just take it down a little bit but the reason why I bought it is because it's like a Ferrari of sewing machines I like it to be as fast as possible yeah yeah but yeah. please don't feel that you have, you have to use to, it no. at its fastest yeah but but have a bit of a play with it though just put on a straight stitch and just yeah, feel yeah, it yeah. Go. and it won't vibrate the table either it's solid and it also it's one of those where if you put two pieces of calico in put it in put the foot down put your foot down you don't even have to hold it. It no. just sews immediately in a straight. I'm not saying do that on all your patchwork <laughs> and quilting and everything, but you can just see it doesn't, you'd think going that fast, it would start yeah. veering off to the no. left or right, doesn't it? It still sews in a no, straight No, it's like, line. gimme, gimme. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, keep giving me fabric. Yeah. Uh, and then we come over here to the, the mode button. So I'll go through that, but that's more when you come to like selecting your stitches. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll come back to that. Uh, this one here is like depending on what stitch you've selected if you press that it will go to the the stitches either side of it on the screen so you can see what all the oh, that that when I'm do the decorative stitches that will be easier to demonstrate. yeah 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 it. that's fine obviously your twin needle down obviously I'm not much of a bag maker but that that's uh, quite handy if you do a lot of bag well making. and also also if you're doing um, like I had earlier the stained glass window yeah that's nice to do twin to needling twin, top stitching yeah. and things like that so that's quite nice yeah so I, I'm, I don't really use that no. one but um, I might have to actually have a play with that because I do do that two needle echo quilting but I just do it twice yeah yeah so that or, will make it a lot or, easier um, dressmaking 
thing. Sometimes on yeah. a hem, it's nice to have that double line of stitches so around the calf or yeah. around the hem, yeah. isn't it? You know what I mean? So that's your mirror, imi Im mirror image. So someone that's more for your decorative stitches. Which so we'll show in a second, which we can they, yeah? come to that in a second. And that's your elongated stitch. Oh, I stitch. love this one. Do you? Yeah, I, I showed it the other day when I was showing so the 680, and you can do like uh, oh, there you go, I've there done you go. It, yeah. But bang it down on the table down there, so Bruce can see it from the upstairs camera. There we go. Can you see that? Right, OK, yeah. just explain what that what you've done there. Then. So this is just that one stitch. So on its normal setting, it will be um, th this, sorry, this stitch length is its normal setting. But you can elongate the stitch up to five times yeah. over. So by pressing that button on the machine, you can extend the stitch. So that's, that's two, that's three, three, that's four, that's, that's five. five. So it's the same yeah. stitch setting on, your, no, it's the same stitch you choose on your machine. Yeah. But then you can elongate it. So basically, you can go from that to that and it will, it will automatically elongate it by the amount of times you press that button. You're so good at explaining things. Exactly no, no, that, no, yeah. in a nutshell. That's what I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah no, 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 that's what I'm here for. So that's what that yeah. is for. Uh, this is your bobbin winder, and the good thing about this is that the bobbin is actually runs on a separate motor, so you can carry on sewing and actually fill your bobbin up at the same time. Brilliant. So again, it's it's saving time. Well, also, when you're doing a project like your, like your uh, um, core or something like that, and if you're doing all different colours, thing you can be sewing one thing you don't have to stop mm. you can literally be winding the red yeah. one up while you're sewing the yellow one if you yeah. wanted to couldn't because you? you've got the two different spool yeah. holders so you could have your spool holder for your main sewing thread on this one and then this one you could have it for your bobbin mm -hmm. uh, we've also got the, this as well which uh, which makes it look more of an industrial machine but it means you can have the big cones of fabric on yeah. here so you haven't got to change your uh, it also your means that the ten your tension will be better yeah when it comes from not rather than coming straight from the spool to the machine when it goes up and around like that it's got a special I can't remember what it is but it literally will make your tension even better on your machine. Yeah and there's even all there's all sorts of little gubbins in this box mm. that you can use to to um, put on top of the cone. Yeah all your well. twin needle thread could go on there yeah. as well. So where were we? So back from bobbins. So then it's your folder so any of your save stitches you can put in there mm -hmm. and that is I can't remember because I've not used it, but I can tell you. <laughs> you have, you can go talking now, fine. And obviously your settings. So your settings button. So if you just press that, you can change the brightness of the LEDs. It's got three LED lights in this one as well. So it's so it's really really bright. So you haven't got to worry about buying extra lamps or anything like that for when you're sewing. And then if you just turn it down, you can even if you wanted to, you can turn off the sound of the little beeps. Not that you'd want to do that because I actually quite like having that function mm -hmm. on there. And you can you can turn off the scissors again. Why would you turn off the scissors? I just wouldn't do it. And as I said earlier on, it's always going to start um, when you're sewing. It's always going to stop with a needle down, which because I do so much applique and a lot of quilting, I really like that function. Okay. But again, if you didn't want to, you can actually have the option to turn that off. The B with the arrow back, right? Is that what you were asking? Yeah. Right. So the B with the arrow back says it's a start over key. You press this key to sew a pattern combination from the beginning again. So oh, if yes. you've set, yeah, if yeah, you've yeah. set decorative stitches, you can just go yeah. back to the beginning and start it again. Yeah. So, and then again, the start and uh, stop off. So there's all of your settings there. Look, and it just keeps going. So all the way down. Yeah, and then it just comes back to the beginning as well. But again, I've just kept it as the factory settings. I wouldn't really mess with the brightness or, and like I said, I quite like having the sound on there anyway. Yeah. So that's the settings. So just um, come Kat, out of that. Just Kat says, when button. you've set your settings, does yeah. it stay there then forever until they you unset it? They are stay there and then you can change them. Right, you can go okay. back in and change them. So if you're doing a stitch, right? If you're yeah. doing a decorative stitch and you switch it off, when you get, well, I don't know, you might not know this yet. If you switch it off, and go back to it does it go back to the you last stitch you did or does it go back to default well setting? i just keep it it just goes back to the default setting right. on the stitches but they are you can put the put them in a file as a memory right. okay perfect and then you've just got the key but the key button there is just basically if you've got little kids around and you just you don't want them messing with it yeah but what's the first thing they're going to do to come and mess is yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. They? but it's also a safety yeah. thing so that you can yeah. put it on if you if you've taken because nothing will work if you put the lock that, will it? So if you're no. doing something else in the room, put the lock in so you don't then get your stuff caught under the needle. It doesn't yeah. start without you wanting but to. But again, I've not had to use it. My kids know not to touch my machine. They're anyway. not interested in sewing They're yet, not bothered. are they? They're no. really not bothered. Hopefully, Louis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously, your normal forward and back stitches, uh, forward and back uh, programmers, but you can actually also use 
these little knobbly bits. Right, I like that because it's an old, it's fun, old fashioned to me. Yeah, but I like that. But it's, it's just quicker because mm. you're not having to just constantly press the button. But it's also, if you have an industrial machine, that's what it would be like. You need the stitch longer, you turn it longer. If you need it shorter, yep. you turn it back. You need your zigzag winder, you just turn it. So, it, and again, if, it, if you have a certain stitch and you're trying to wind it up to see if you wanted the, um, the stitch to go bigger, I don't know if it's going to do it on there. So you hear, see that starting to beep. Yeah. That's as long as that's, that, that stitch is going to go, which is at five. Right. So if you hear that little beep, it means it's not going to do something. Yeah. So that beep is saying, no, have a look at my screen and, you know, what am I doing wrong? Or, um, you know, because it will also even show you on the screen here what foot you've got attached mm -hmm. and what foot you should need for that specific specific stitch. Yeah. So always have a look at the, uh, the, the uh, screen for that. So then... Oh, that's all those. But it's also got your automatic needle threader, which again I wouldn't be without now. Do you say you don't use yours needle threader? I do now on mine. I did. I've never liked them before. And then I was demoing the, the 680 on air the other day. I thought, oh, I've really got to conquer mm. this. And then realised how e I didn't have my needle. I've never had my needle at the top, yeah, you see, so yeah. it just never worked for me. But now, have the needle thing, then I think the needle thread is brilliant. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be without that. Yeah. So that I'll, before I actually do a little bit of sewing, I can show you just how to actually program in a certain s selection of stitches. Mm -hmm. So you've got your stitches. You've, you've, you have got this, by the way, that you can actually attach to the machine, which does hold... You not put yours on? I've not put mine on, only because... I have to keep putting it in the car, and I don't want to break oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, but at home, if yeah. going to be, if it's going to be up permanently, then by yeah. all means. So you've got your your plate of stitches. I think. Can I just explain what this is? This is something you just screw on the back of your machine, and you, sit, and you can in. either sit it in with the stitch. Um, Di di directory standing up like that but if you want to stash it away you put it down the other one and it folds down so behind your machine. So it folds down behind the machine yeah. like so that. It's a, so you never yeah. have to lose it, that's the main thing. So first of all you've got all your, your different modes, so you've got mode one which is your basic stitches and uh, then if you want to go on to the more decorative stitches you go on to mode two. So it's just that button that we uh, said earlier on, you just press that and then it will swi automatically swi switch you to the next mode. Mm -hmm. So you've got just over 200 stitches which that's a lot. How many have you used? Four. But, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah I, I, although I wasn't, I never really used decorative stitches, but now I've started having a bit of a play with yeah. them. I'm really quite enjoying them. But actually. also, some of them aren't decorative. Some of them are like your, your, your um. I use a lot blanket of blanket stitch. That's, yeah. So yeah. I've got. A, I use a lot of blanket stitches. Anyone that's read my patterns, I tend to do it mo pretty much eighty percent of the time. Mm -hmm. And you've got loads of them. Yeah, exactly. But also, yeah. there's all. It's not just decorative. The stretch stitches, utility yeah. stitches. Just read your manual for what they're all for and everything. So, and you've also got your straight stitch needle plate. I'm just going to do so. this here like that. There you go. So, so you see these here. These are all. This is your mode one stitches here. Then all these are mode two. Now these here, we'll come to those in a minute because you get two needle plates and they're to go with your other needle plates. They're straight stitch and professional stitch. On the back there are all your alphabets and everything and all your, uh, your alphabet and your numbers and your other signs like your anthesan and your percentage and things like that. So here's your straight stitch needle plate and you'll know it's the straight stitch. That's a lot of... So straight stitch needle plate yeah so you know it's the straight stitch needle plate because it was got that single hole there so that's the one it you hang on you need to go oh no which way are you going go to that camera too oh, there, there you we go. go so it's got that single hole there and to fit these as well i'm always always a bit put off by changing plates but to change the plates on these machines all you actually have to do there's a little button on the side of the machine oh uh, there you yeah. go yeah press that Press that little button there. Yeah, and it pops up. And it pops up. So no screwdriver, no nothing. Now, you know, to push it down... It's just the button on the side. You must only press on the, on side, the side, on the little yeah. target sign on the side. But I can't do it from here. There, there we go. go. It's just a bit awkward. Yeah, you're a bit awkward angle. Yeah, so you've got your straight stitch needle plate, and you've also got your high performance. So you can just use a normal, st uh, normal needle with your straight stitch plate, but with your high performance plate... So this is where the red stitches yeah. are. So your high performance plate, you must only use the high performance foot though. Yes. But it, again, the beauty about this machine, it will, it will tell you yes. if you have. If you put that plate on, it will, it won't let you do anything until, until you've got the right. Until you put yeah. that foot yeah. on. So exactly. if you put that on and it keeps beeping at you, make sure you've got the correct foot to go with it. So it's just this tiny little foot here. There we go. You get and you get loads of different feet. So what? I mean, I, I don't know. You might know this. Have you, uh, what's the difference between a straight stitch needle plate and a professional grade needle plate? Because it's the same sort of stitches, isn't it? But um, I'm sure it's just to give you an even more professional finish. Yeah, and you, especially if you use it, if you've also got, um, you can change the uh, height of the foot. 
right. on the side here, so you can change the foot pressure. Right. So I think that's used more with the high performance. Mode. Okay, brilliant. It's just going to give you a more accurate stitch. Yeah. And that's when you are going to be pedal to the metal and get in your money's worth mm. of, out of the machine. Yeah, a lot of people who just, just do patchwork and do nothing else, they just set their machine to that full time. Yeah. And it, if you suddenly think, oh, I'm going to do a zigzag, it won't let you do a zigzag. No. It's not going to mess up your machine, it won't just physically won't let you do that. Okay. So that's that one. So, so now, should we go through the feet that you get? It might be easier for of loads of people. We've got a list, but hang on, I can show. Look, I'll just show you this first of all. Let me put that in Bruce's picture there these are all the feet oh, there you there. go Let these are all the feet that you get right that comes as standard that's not something special we've done so many different feet so zigzag foot over edge foot satin stitch blind hem zipper foot automatic buttonhole stabilizer plate rolled hem foot open toe button so so the button sewing tool quarter inch seam foot professional grade foot darning foot which i use all the time uh, free motion quilt, look, again, I use that a lot. Close toe foot, open toe foot, clear view foot. Yeah. There's so, so and many, have, and so I many. Stopped. There's, there's so many. There's so many foots. And can I just also say, because there's no gubbins box, because it's a, it's a solid, solid. You get you, this. You, get, the, you yeah. get this with all of your feet, all of your, uh, the walking foot comes in there, the needle plates come in there, everything comes in there, doesn't you, it? You beat me to it. Sorry. Like, you can even get the walking foot. You haven't got it by, by the walking foot separately, which I've had to do twice on both of my old yeah. machines. Well, so a walking foot's 50 quid you. these days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think I paid even more than that. Oh, okay. Mine. So, yeah, and the walking foot, if I haven't got a free motion foot or a quarter inch foot, I tend to have that on there mm -hmm. permanently. So there you get, you get loads of feet. You get also... Oh, you get all sorts in here. And you've also got all your buttonholes. You've also got your little cone things to go on top of you. Oh, and Becky Alexander Frost's favourite ever thing. Did I just see it there? Here it is. The, oh, the wedge. The, what's she call it? The something jumper. Humper jumper. Uh, she showed you how to use this last week. If you're using something very... Oh, sorry. If you're using something... Sorry, Kat. If you're using something very, very thick, you put this down. So it doesn't mean means your, your foot doesn't have to jump up. It e eases way up. Um, Hi, John Delphine, Love Sewing Street. How does the machine perform with different thicknesses of fabric and multiple fabric layers from Mary? So the fabric layers, obviously, so we just uh, hit on that. You have actually got the free, uh, the walking foot. So it's, that's great if you're working with lots of layers of fabric. So great for quilting. So say if you've got a whole quilt sandwich, it, with a normal foot, you might not get it. They'll feed through evenly, but this will make sure that everything feeds through the machine at a nice even speed. But also, like I said, again, you, on the side of the machine, you've also got a, uh, you can adjust the height. So say if you've got something really, really thick, you can make that a little bit higher. And again, if you're working with really thin fabric, mm -hmm. you, can, you can drop the pressure of the foot. Also, walking foot, not just, just for um, quilt sandwiches and heavy fabrics like that. If you've got two, two pieces of rayon or two pieces of crepe that are kind of moving like this or, or um, viscose or something like that, put your walking foot on because it means that your machine will take the fabric through the bottom as it normally does with the feed dogs, but the feet at uh, the walking foot will actually walk the top fabric through until stop it sliding all over the place. Baffa says she calls it the bulky sea maid. That's not what you called it. Right, okay. Okay, so I'll show you how to demo how to do one of the stitches. Please. How to program them in. Uh -huh. So first of all, you go to your, let me, let me pick a stitch. Yeah. So you'll go to, oh, and also you've got all those letters. Mm. So if you do a lot of, uh, want to do a lot of handmade things or personalise your work, again, you've got loads of different, um, I think you've got two different alphabets, actually, you can use on there. Okay, so we're going to go and do a decorative stitch. So if you just go on to mode two. Go to a nine millimetre stitch width so you can do bigger letters. Cat just reminded me of that. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a good memory. Yeah, no, no, because mine does it as well. Mine goes to nine millimetres, okay. sorry. So you go into mode two, and so for example, if we wanted to pick the, the spool, all you do is press your mode button, and then you go one, one, nine, two. And if you wanted those to have a continuous stitch, you just put your foot down and go, we will actually come and do that in a minute. It just saves me keep turning it yeah, around. Yeah. And then you will have a row of, oh, I didn't do that one. <laughs> so what you've done is you've chosen the scissors, say, from this so, one here. Yeah. And you put the scissor thing in, yeah. put your foot down, and it just keeps repeating, keeps a repeating. A continuous row. Right. But if you only wanted to do one, as you're sewing, if you press the lock stitch, it will actually stop at one. Oh, okay. So can I'll you program it in to do one? Yes. On, like, memory so you can or just something do like one, that. but you press the lock stitch. Right. So, but then if you wanted to do a whole row of different stitches, so for the example here, I've done the spool, the um, the mannequin and then the word the handmade to do that to program that one in 
So you press, so you choose which, um, what you're going to mode to. So then let's choose some stitches here. So we'll have the spool, I'll actually sew this one in a second. So we'll okay. have one, nine, two, and then you press the memory, the memory button. And then it automatically jumps across waiting for you to put something else in. So then if I wanted, say, the scissors, I'll go one, nine, three, mem memory. But if I change my mind, or I put the wrong code in, you just press cancel and it will take that one off. So only cancel the one before, it doesn't cancel the whole it lot. Just cancel the one before. And then if we wanted to uh, put in handmade, or we'll have love, let's feed in the love this morning. Oof. Oh. Nothing. Oh, well then we'll have handmade after all. We'll have love handmade, love stitch. Love do handmade. whatever you want, it's your oh, machine. Oh. Lovely. And if I wanted it to stop there, then you do actually have a lock stitch selection. So you don't press the lock stitch on here, you actually select it on the machine. Oh, OK. And then it's 202 memory. And then it will sew that whole row. OK, so you've now got in there cotton reel, pair of scissors, love. And handmade. And handmade. Followed by the lock stitch. OK. So and then I'll give it a whirl. All right, so you need to turn, we need to turn the machine round for this, so that Delphine can do it. There we go. I'm making sure I've got the right foot on, which I believe I have. I can tell you, won't I? So you've got F on. I think I've got F on. Okay. All the all the all the feet have got it engraved on the letter. You're never left thinking, oh, what's this foot? There's nothing worse than having a whole load of feet and then wondering what they're for. And they do them so beautifully. They're big, aren't they? They are big. Again, now. Can we change the size of that by changing the uh, yes. length and the stitch width and everything? Yes, you can. So my foot is still full on down. Even now, it kn it knew exactly when to stop. Okay. There's no handmade though. Oh, it's. Oh, I stopped. Why did it stop there? Did you set your foot. Oh, is your foot on the pedal? Yeah. No, then you've missed out a handmade look. I have. I've missed it out now. But if I press that, it will stop it. There we go. Shall I try that again? Yeah. Although it looks pretty, look. That's lovely. Oh, I didn't put handmade on, that's why. Oh, that'll be why look, I didn't look, do it. Look, I've done spool, scissors. Oh, love, use and then error, stopped. not machine, use error. Use error, I'll do the handmade in a minute. So, okay. so that yeah, I did that right, I just started with myself. I did it right, look, look, see? Yeah. Yeah, right. Now, has it got a switch, you might not know this, but this has got a switch where if you don't, would like, that stopped halfway through love, it didn't, I stopped. I was, it, oh, I OK, so you yeah. stop when you get to end of love, you can just it press the stop. button. So I'll show you that one now. Yeah. So if we go back to that stitch, so we want to press, sorry, what was love again? One, nine, eight. So one, nine, eight. And you that, cleared that last lot then? I've cleared that okay, last right. lot, so I've started right from the beginning Yeah, you got now. love, yeah. So if I, so I'm going to do a continuous row of, of love. love. <laughs> So if I wanted to just put the one on, if I press the lock stitch, oh. see it stopped. Yeah. And it, the machine knew how to, when to stop that. I didn't stop it, the machine knew yeah. when to stop it. And then you've got your two. Love but one, if I love. so if I just want one love, yeah. I set in one nine six or whatever it is. Yeah. Then I set in two oh two, whatever the and lock it will stitch stop, in. So it'll it'll do love, it'll do lock stitch and, and then it just will stop. stop. But you can just, if you forget to put the lock stitch in, as you're doing it. Yeah. So, for example, I'll do another one. Yeah. But I wanted it to stop after this one. I'll press the lock stitch. Oh, so the lock stitch means it'll, it'll finish what it's doing. It's not just going to go, oh, she wants me to stop and get to LO and then no, no, stop. No, no, no. It will finish the whole word. Brilliant. But, well, with, apart from the little yeah, yeah, part yeah, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. end. So, this is really good for not just the decorative stitches when I've done it on this, but when I've made some of my applique work. Can and you show it to camera too? Oh. There we go. The new techniques you've got to learn. There you go. It Hold it still. In. There we go. There you go. Really? So, and also, it's even really neat from the back. Really tidy. There's oh, no yeah. Or yeah. anything like that. So, when so what were you saying? You were asking. When I've done some of my applique animals and things like that, I use the decorative stitches for the eyes and the features. So, that's a really good one to use for that. Mm. So, you'll, you'll start it, press the locking stitch, it will only do one. So, don't just, use a, don't just think of these stitches like, oh, I've got to use it for like a continuous row. 
of lines, yeah. for example, or, or some of these little shapes. Use those in, the, in your applique. Okay. Work as well. uh, while we're going through the tick the buttons on the front, you talked about the mirroring. Mirroring. Yeah. So say I've if got, you've got your wording thing today, the mir mirror. So I'll turn it back thing. around. Shall yeah. I? So I don't think a word's the best way to... No, 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 no. So if we cancel that one. So if we'll go back to... Let's choose the shoe. One, nine, six. So if we choose the shoe, but I wanted it to go the other way around. So oh, press the you see that? That's it. You see that, Bruce? Yeah, you saw that? Yeah. But it goes, it go, so hang on, can you do it? Press again. So it's just backwards and forwards, yeah. it's not quarterly. Can you turn it on its side upside down? You can't, can you, no, because of the way the needle just, goes? it's just yeah. one way yeah. or the other way. Yeah. So and that's quite handy with the, some of the writing as well, isn't it? So yeah, but also, also if, you're doing a, if you're doing a coaster or something like that and you're doing scallops going down that side, you want them to go back up. You could mirror side. it and go back up. Yeah. It would do it, because otherwise yeah. you can have two going like that, aren't yeah. you? So you can turn it round and you do kind of like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're funny. But do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? I do know what you're okay. saying. Yeah. So, and again, you, that's that's just just something just so simple, but it just yeah. makes life so much easier. But another one of the beautiful things I love about this machine is the free motion. Right. Side and how quickly you can change it all. Okay. And out. So I can quickly. Yes, turn please. That we've got we've got 15 or oh, 10 minutes. We're fine. So. To take right. it off. Uh, five people got in their baskets. One person, I think one person might have made the mistake because they put it in twice. So just check if you've got it in your basket and you only want one, unless you want two, of course, you could buy two. Uh, £71,799, that's the price. And you do get five, if you use this code, you get five free Delphine patterns. Now, is that forever or is that just for today? Just for today. And also, don't forget, you could, because if you think, right, if you think, if five people buy a machine, and I don't know how many, of the, how many of the patterns went, but say 20 of the patterns went, um, think how many people are just going to be in that pot for the price. Do you know what I mean? Like, not like in hour one, hour two, hour three, where there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. In this one, there could be like 10 people or 20 people in the pot. And one of you will win that quilt kit. Right, so what are you doing? So I've just, I've changed the foot already. It's already done. Oh, we did it all without seeing. <laughs> I just unscrewed it and put it on. Yeah, perfect. Really, really easy. Yeah. So while I've uh, just purposely taken out the needle thread now, so all you do to is an automatic needle thread threader. You want quite a short tail, nothing too big. Yeah. And then you've got this little lever on the side here. Press that down, and there you go. So no faffing around, trying to find the eye of the needle. It's Brilliant. already done. And then you just pull it through. Brilliant. So the only time I use the needle down... I was going to say, because it's not like the old days where we used to have to bring the thread up from the bottom for normal sewing. You could just start. I mean, obviously, for, for free motion, you do need the you thread. You do need the thread up, yeah. You haven't got much thread on that, Bob. No, it's because... I, I know, that's what I'm worried about. I might change... I have got one in here that's... Actually, no. No. Go on, do it. It's I fine. We just won't sew much. You sure? Let me just redo that one, then. Um, I can't give you any. Uh, 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 I can't give you any price comparisons at the moment because we can't find it anywhere else. I know when we launched this machine, it was exclusive to Sewing Street, but I uh, can't find it anywhere at the moment. Yeah, I haven't got much. I'll tell you why afterwards, Kat. I haven't got much thread on this one. Let me just. Oh, there we go. There you go. I got you now. Okay. So I haven't got much fabric anyway. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a tiny little bit. Use the end. You got Hang on, do you want some fabric? Oh yeah, if you got some. Uh, where's that uh, bundle of here? Uh, oh, where's the bundle of five fat quarters gone from here, Elliot? You moved it. <laughs> so yeah, it's really really simple to just um, make sure you've got the thread of the uh, needle underneath. It's in this hour. Underneath the hole, so it's a lot easier for you to start your free motion. And then also another thing is you're going to, just down here, you can't see it because my hand's just over here, but just make sure that you drop your feed dogs. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. And again, it will beep at you if it's telling you you've got the wrong... Um, but you can, you can use the three different free motion feet, aren't, feet in there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, but this is, the, this is my go-to one, the, the one I do all of my work on. Yeah. So again, you can't see it because I've just already changed the screen, but it will automatically tell you that with the needle, the uh, 
feed dogs down of exactly which foot to be using and I just double check that cross cross reference that with the foot that I've got on there so I know I've got the right one okay on. so it's I'll great it was try green it was just a, a bunch of mystery, a package, ma mystery package so it's out we got it out but I don't know what it is don't worry because this is I haven't got a stabilizer on it or anything let me just chop it no of course so this is going to be a very tiny little bit of uh, free motion uh-huh but all I'm doing is just moving it around Nice and easy, and it's not puckering or anything like that. They're all switching around. That, that. So I'll just go around some of the writing that I've done here. So I haven't got much in that bobbin anyway, so. And as you can see here, that, I'll just that, put that. it, I don't know where the best place you want me to put this actually. So you've got, I've done a really, really just a tiny amount of um, stitches. I am listening, and don't worry, I'm fancy more fabric. I've, I've, I've already done it, I've done a tiny oh, okay. little bit. So I've done a tiny little bit of free motion here, and sometimes when you, on, uh, depending on what machine you've got, you'll turn it over and it's a bit messy on the back and it's all pulled and then the stitches have come a bit loose. You will never get that with this machine. You will get 100% perfect stitch on your free motion every single time. Right. There's never any problems with any of the... the and so, yeah, that's really, really simple. So I use that, let me just... Yeah, so that's that. And when you, do, when you do your, I know we haven't got any applique here, but when you do your applique, yeah. just talk me through the, uh, somebody asked earlier, didn't they, what size blanket stitch you use? Blanket stitch. How do you choose which blanket stitch so you want? So my favourite blanket stitch that I use on here, let me just find the number, is 41. That's my favourite one because there's not many stitches on it. Right. And because you, you don't need to, even though it's okay, it's applique where we're trying to attach another piece of fabric on top of another one and there's going to be raw edges, etc. It doesn't mean you need to sew the hell out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You only need just the, uh, the odd couple. And if anything, it depends on what look you're going for. If you wanted quite the handmade look, then you would go for a thicker yeah, stitch. Yeah, yeah, because Mandy Shaw, um, on hers, wants you to see the dark yeah. red, the thicker, so she chooses the thicker, heavier one. Yeah. Whereas on yours, you're just you're just kind of creating a much lighter featherweight exactly. look. Exactly, so you? I tend to want to go for one that's barely, barely visible. Yeah. So, yeah, there's and there's, so many to choose from there's one two there's there's nearly 10 blanket stitches to choose from yeah exactly there's so, there's so what many. we suggest you do is get a little scrap of fabric like this before you do and like do all of your stitches well so do you all your choose. stitches but also if you're doing your applique so say you're doing cora or what did that yeah. lady say she was doing earlier the dog the, the lion or bailey bailey yeah. somebody yeah. said you're actually bailey and they were just kind of looking at it when they get a piece of spare fabric put attach a piece of like other fabric to it and then just go around the edge and try each of them and what you can do is if you like find the one you like you can still change it by using the stitch yeah. length and the stitch width to make to make the blanket stitch slightly wider or slightly narrower and things like that can't you yeah so if i just selected 40 so i need to be in mode two so so that's so four to two so it will tell me that's the exact blanket stitch that I want to use. And also it tells you if you're doing it to the right or to the left as well, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And then again, you can, because oh, oh. I haven't got my feet dogs up on. Oh, okay, yeah. I've still got the wrong foot on, so that's yeah. why it's beeping at me. Yeah. And it's also telling me which foot that I should be putting on. And then, like I said, you can. I, that, yeah. I never increase the size of my blanket stitches. And anyway, I think that you can anyway. But yeah, I tend to go quite low. Yeah, but if you look, how really you're small. only going down in tiny, tiny increments. Yeah. It's not like you're jumping down from one side. And you can just set it. And then once you found, if you find your perfect, perfect stitch mm. for do things like that, put it in the folder. You've yeah. got a folder to put your favourite stitches in. So you know each time you do a Delphine project, think, oh, I want to do exactly that blanket stitching that I did on the owl or I did on whatever, whatever projects I've done before. It's there in your favourite stitches. Just go straight to it, can't you? Yeah, that's what I tend to use on my... But it's absolutely, yeah. it is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic machine. Also, don't be thinking, like I said earlier, I think, well, I'm not a bag maker, it looks, because it, it looks like an industrial machine. It's designed, it's not an industrial machine, but like I say, Jane from Elna, she uses it, and she's had hers for 20 years now, and she said it just, it's a power horse of a, of a, a sewing machine, isn't yeah, it? It's just, yeah. it, will, it will sort everything out. You, whether you're sewing chiffons, whether you're sewing cottons, whether you're doing uh, piecing, whether you're doing applique, whether you're doing bag making, tailoring, dressmaking, anything. It is, a, and like Delphi was saying earlier, the, the throat space is enormous. And yeah. we often think Ooh. about the throat space just for um, 
uh, when you're quilting but actually any form of dressmaking curtain making the more space you've got in there the better also it does have really good lighting on it as really well good. it's it? got three led lights on it uh -huh. so it's really really bright so you don't need to worry about getting an extra light over no it, but also if it's too mm -hmm. light for you if you want to change you it, can turn it down. you can go to settings can't yeah, you, you can every single thing about it what you do is when you get yours home don't i mean get the machine out and go ooh coo at it but then sit and look at this i mean you can just switch on and start stitching i, I just switched it on and started playing with it yeah. and i work out rather than just sit down and read through the whole booklet i just see what the buttons do and go and just work it out for myself because yeah. i feel like i learn more yeah, yeah 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 I, but i also think there'll be things this machine does that you don't know yet then. oh god loads you know what i mean so <laughs> loads, so yeah. it, it's all very well yeah. oh some of your notes in here oh yeah no, you won't be able to read my writing anyway. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> so, so you can't, you can't. As long as you've got some thread and some fabric at home, yeah. you could literally just start sewing with it straight away and playing with it. But if you're more like me and thinking, I wonder what it does. I mean, I'm not going to sit and read all about corded buttonholes on my first day. <laughs> oh, look, everyone's waving. Vix and <laughs> Elliot are having a hug. She's so lovely to be here. Get on, are you on? Go on, get on. <laughs> she should be learning about paper crafting, not coming in here hugging Elliot. Um, but you know what I mean? Like it's it's sort of it gives you everything. And if there's anything you don't understand, just ring Elna, right? And they they are so helpful. You might get a lady called Lucy. Oh, you get a DVD with it as well. Who's what? You get a DVD with it. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You get Where a is it? You get in my computer <laughs> so you, yeah you get and what's on the dvd then oh everything from set up it will talk talks you through everything oh i didn't even yeah, know yeah you've got a whole dvd so if you're like me like a visual learner then uh, by all means you, you know i tend to go to the dvd if i've, if I've got any questions while yeah. we go straight to that yeah obviously yeah. uh really enjoyable morning well done for dealing with the gremlins true professionals from kate thank you ever so much it's been it's been our pleasure it's a bit hectic first thing but it's i mean it's the team isn't it uh when are you in next 22nd 22nd. Am I in that day? I have no idea. Are you in that day? I don't can, know. Can Am I in that day, Kat? In that day? I'm, in, I'm in a lot of the ends of the weeks this, this month. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. No, that won't be me. Oh, yes. Oh, it is, because that night I'm doing yeah. a talk at the WI that night. Oh, fancy. In Itch, it, 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 Bishop's Itchington. Bitch, Bishop's Itchington. Not Bitching, no, not Bitching. Bishop's Itchington. Bishop, I think. Oh, nice pub. Nice pub there. It's what? Nice pub there. I'm going to the WI, I'm not going oh, drinking. Yeah. Right, uh, so you'll see her on the 22nd. Come with <laughs> me though to the other set because I've got to recap and everything. Let's push about that there. Right, I've just got to throw three owl products to you very quickly. Um, if you want that machine, please check out. Remember, check out before midnight to get the special deal and check out before midnight. No, check out this hour if you want to go into this because one of you will win. I'll do this first. One of you will win this. Somebody who's bought something in this hour will win this. Now, the box is a bit bashed. A bit like me. It's a bit bashed on the outside, but inside it's pure gold. Oh, well, it's just been sick. Right, there we go. Rainbow kit and everything. Beautiful. Right, we've got an owl storage box here. This is to keep your bobbins in. The thing is, right, the thing is, what I would do, I'll show you the front first. There's the front. Oh, you can check from the still. There you go. Right, inside there's that bobbin tray, right? I'd get rid of that. I'd keep all sorts of, like, hexes in here, nice little trinkets in here, anything like that, 14 99 What are you saying, Kat? Oh, there's only two left now. Two left. Remember, everybody who buys something today, you will go in the kit. And the what? We have to sort this out before tomorrow. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, not you, no. They, 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 your talk back. What's next? Right, now, um, we're not in the old studio. I can't get the old one off the shelf. This is brilliant, this is, right? This is uh, 19.99. Matches in with the owl design. You literally got, this is a pressing mat. Oh, I have to do it this way, don't I? This is a pressing mat. Then in here, you've got your sandpaper when you're drawing up your lines on your block, then it's not going to move. You've got a placement sheet there so you can beat your block keeper. That's a little cutting mat. That's a pressing mat, so it does four different jobs all in one. 19.99 if you're going back to classes. That's that one. And then this, I've got this. I've got this. If you watch the John Scott show, I've got this one. Uh, right, you ready? So this is a lovely, you can carry it like a portfolio, right? And then inside, You've got a pressing mat. Oh, I keep forgetting. A pressing mat and a cutting mat. This is your pressing mat. Don't get them confused. That's your cutting mat. You can fold it open like that if you want to. Use your cutting mat like that. Use your pressing mat like that. Not for two ninety nine. Last auction of the day. 
26.99 but we've only got 10 left and remember if you buy this your name will go into the draw to win that gorgeous moda ombre wovens uh, northern lights northern lights Oh, she's just, I'm just letting her, I'm just letting her, she's still so full of air, I'm just letting her kind of stick, wear, wear out for the end. Uh, please check out on everything. Now, if you check out in this hour, you go the 12 o'clock. So go to the website, have a look, right? You've got two minutes to check out, right? And you'll be in with a chance of winning that thing. I'll be back tomorrow. I've, I'll have the five, five winners' names tomorrow. Uh, I can't tell you the golden tickets are because you won't know that until... Oh, and if you've bought today, when your parcel arrives, please, please, please go through your package thoroughly and see if it's a physical golden ticket with, the, with a, an, an email address and a, a number, a code on it. Um, thanks ever so much. Uh, oh, yeah, good to you tomorrow's menu, you have nine. There you go, William Morris. Oh, now, Kate, 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 Kate. I'm not just saying Kate, but Kate, Kate, Kate. We've got brand new, they weren't supposed to be in tomorrow. The hour that we were doing eight o'clock tomorrow is gone. And we've got these, they're brand new in William Morris fabrics. They are beautiful. We've got what? I thought you said world. I thought Katzen, we've got world exclusivity on them. We've got one week UK exclusivity on them. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Charming Shadows Quilt with Catherine Wright. 10 o'clock, we've got Sewing Room Tools. Uh, 11 o'clock, we've got a flower wall hanging. Catherine with Catherine Wright, obviously. And then 12 o'clock, uh, sewing machines that were. Oh, I hope the th they, has my, uh, my uh, threader overlocker arrived safely. Better add to. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for putting up with us today. Sorry about Kat wittering on as much as she has said. I'll have to have, go and have words with her. Um, we will have sorted this out by tomorrow as well. Uh, thanks for your company. Make sure you check out. I'll see you Thank you, Delphine. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Don't be late.